I, I know all about YouTube analytics. Do you want me to help you with that? I could use the help. Jesse, yeah, are, yeah. You, are you logged into the show's channel? Here. Oh, shit. Probably. He's really yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are we... Where did you meet your girlfriend? Uh, oh, God. That one was... Uh, so... <laughs> No, the mile high is I was going to Antarctica. Mile high? Oh, hey, yo. A billion dollars if we could own the channel and the companies and stuff like that. Like, that sounds enticing, but... <laughs> but sure. you've been offered a billion dollars for your YouTube channel. With all the companies, yeah. What was different about the Squid Game video? Yeah. What did you tap into? I, at most, spent like $2 million on a video up to that point. That one, we spent $4.2 million. That sky up there is not real. Oh, Starting wow. at the end of the blue is all CGI? Yeah, all CGI. And I yeah. swear to God, I thought this guy should be president. Is that something you thought about? CGI. It is appealing, yeah, when I'm like 40 or 50. Really? Like, if I was a billionaire and I just gave away all my money, and I was like, I can't be bought, I just gave away every penny. I have literally zero dollars in my bank account. Vote for me. I feel like that's a pretty good campaign thing. And then I just do what's best for people. I like this. Yeah. We're, we're checking out. Bro, you got 2.3? Look at you. Yo, son. <laughs> Yo, son. This guy's crazy, bro. He's a good job. Man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you little rascal. Yeah, no. You just called me a little rascal. I keep up the good work. You know what? And I you're gonna don't give think your advice. parents loved you when you were younger. <laughs> you don't take your as well. Okay, you don't. <laughs> no one's an elf. Did you just call me an elf? He's uh, an elf. What do you mean by that? It means if we gave you a bow and arrow, you'd be nice with yeah. that. What does that mean? Should we fake your death? He's trying to tear this whole thing apart. <laughs> like, I had one for you, if I can pitch you. Hit me. Okay, I played uh, Michael J. Fox in Jenga. <laughs> um, like, is there any steaks? Um, is it shakes or steaks? steaks. Uh, <laughs> I just... What's up, everybody? And welcome to Flagrant. And today we are joined by Mr. B6000. Yay! Mr. B6000. Oh, my old name it's is funny. In the building. It's funny because I don't have that name anymore. Wait, why don't you have it? Did you abort it or something? Oh, no. my God. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> this is a family All friendly right, we're program. Started, we're starting off on a great one. Uh, yes, welcome to Flagrant. I'm here because I had nothing better to do. <laughs> That's the uh, best reason to be here. And, and, uh, and we're happy about and that. We're yeah. just hoping that by the end of this episode, I make the same amount of money as I did coming into the episode. Oh, that's yeah. that's what about the objective here. Yeah. I mean, ideally. But I I'll just take the it. same. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair you know, right. we just don't lose a brand. I mean, good. you actually operate at a loss, though, based on your Rogan, so we can do yeah. that. Oh, yeah. We yeah. can do that, no problem. That's true. Well, yeah, but that's losing. why if it dips, it's a bigger loss. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. You have the most brilliant way of saying that you make lots of money. I agree. <laughs> but how? How, <laughs> wait, wait, how do I, I do like it? it. <laughs> He's like, anyway, <laughs> go on. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, you say, I make all this money, and then you're like, but I spend it all. Yeah. But you still get to say that you make it. Yeah, yeah. So Agreed. no one can really fuck with you when it comes to making the money. Well, I don't spend the money that's to, you know, for that mm -hmm. reason, but mm -hmm. I guess that is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does make it easier when people are like, do you make a couple million a month? I can be like, yeah, because I just spend it all. So it does make it exactly, easier. Whereas if bragging. I did it, if I was like, oh, yeah, I just make a couple million, and that was the end, then I'd just seem like a douchebag. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, so I do agree. But I never really thought about it that way. I did. Thank you. You're like Adam Sandler in that way. <laughs> well, no, you're like a multi-millionaire, but you're good. like one of the guys still. Oh. Uh, you know I like what I'm saying? It. Like, okay. Usually, like, really rich people, you know, we want to eat them. Yeah, yeah. They, they buy speedsters and uh, you yeah. know and mansions and, and go stuff. on vacations to Amalfi twice, like, twice, watches, twice. Yeah. Twice. And watches. Yeah, yeah. and watches, yeah, and watches, yeah, big into the watches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, not, we're not gambling degenerates <laughs> like some people. Wait, yeah. so are you one of the rich people they want to eat? Or are you? I, I'm not that boat? rich. Not yet. You, I, you are way more rich than me. Uh, but I, I give my money away. I'm poor. Yeah, <laughs> I give my money to my wife. <laughs> so once you're married, uh, you're gonna, I, mean, I feel like everyone bro, your commits. fiscal policy is going to completely change once you get married. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just giving away stuff all the time, <laughs> no, like yeah. Not gonna let me. Do more reaction videos. That's what she's going to be screaming from the kitchen. Yeah, that's going to be. Interesting. Is there a uh, Mrs. Beast? There is. We've only been dating like six months. So okay, my we'll boy. See. We'll see. Okay, my boy. But how long have you been married? Uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. No, but wait. Don't do that. <laughs> it's media trade. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was very good. Uh, I've been oh, married gosh. since the 18th uh, of December. You still I just said one <laughs> random. <laughs> that was like 18th. <laughs> I want to yeah. get back on. Yeah. No, no, December 18th, I got married. Really? Great decision. Really? Yes, I recommend you do it. And you don't need a prenup you get because you don't make any money. Okay, exactly. exactly. Did you get one? Mm. Did I get a prenup? Yeah. No, she got me. Really? <laughs> got me for everything. Wait, you really didn't give No one? prenup. Got me for everything. <laughs> he's so right. Why are you so I'm concerned gonna, about hey, that? Hey, he's, he's on like, this camera. Yeah, so yeah. He's, go he's this really? one. You're right here. Oh, go this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 
Gonna regret that. Play that clip, whatever, whatever something <laughs> happens, play that <laughs> I know. Like, my, my wife used to like you. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. I'll, I'll leave you. I know at least like three people who got one, and I was friends with them when they got married, uh-huh. and then like two of them, you know, didn't work out. And every single one, it's just interesting to see it go from like, yeah, we'll be together forever, to yes. like, fuck, this is the worst decision of my life. Did you did you think about giving them some money? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that'd be a great video. All this money, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Maybe just helping help my out. friend who just got right, divorced. You know, I'll tell you know the people at our food banks like less money this month. <laughs> Got to help yeah. my divorced friend. They would actually get it. They'd be yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, they yeah, probably he would. It. He needs it. He's probably <laughs> waiting in line next to them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is one of your friends that got divorced here? Uh, no. No. Definitely not. These uh, eighteen-year-olds. Fucking <laughs> 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 <He's got> <laughs> children. Tara could have a child bride or something like that. <laughs> no. I'm not exactly oh sure what the Come rules on. are. I don't know how it goes down yeah. in the homeland. Okay. No. no. <laughs> um, now you brought your son here. <laughs> Bring your kids to work day. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. is that uncomfortable at all for you? What to have my kids here? Yeah. No. <laughs> I bring them everywhere. <laughs> this is getting so uncomfortable. <laughs> For you guys. <laughs> we just wanted to give Carl a shout out. We love Carl. <laughs> We're big Carl fans here. Okay, so you make millions and millions and millions of dollars. Who cares, right? Yeah, sure. I make money. Because it's so much money you make. Just tons. I don't know what to do with it. You don't even know what to do with it. No greed. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where you're coming from. We don't, I don't know. Okay. But that's the fun thing, right? Yeah. So it's just so much fucking money, okay? And then you're giving it away constantly. Yep. Right? And then more's coming in. Yep. And giving it away. It's basically what I did. Like, we, I just had this theory Bernie like- Adolf. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, illegal. hopefully the Ponzi scheme never implodes. Gotcha. Like, okay. you know, Ponzi schemes are great up until they just go bust. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but no, I had this idea when I was like 18. I was like, when I made a couple thousand dollars in a month, I was like, well, what if I just give it away and just try to make a little bit more than a couple thousand? And then I just was like, oh, that worked. And then I did it again. Yeah. And I've done it every month ever yeah. since. And I'm just like, oh, well. And it just works. And <laughs> like a couple grand turned into 10, turned into 100, turned into a million. It just keeps going up. And I'm like, oh. Now, when, when you ever did like the challenges where you're giving away to your guys if they win, yeah. were you ever worried that you would make them not really want to work? <laughs> yeah. Be like, stimulus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, uh, no. Especially when we were doing a lot. Do they of act them. different when they make like 150 grand? Well, we like, were doing a lot of them. Hey, they were like 10 grand or 20 grand, and this was like Chris just left his job at Best Buy. Tariq literally got. I tried to hire Tariq, and yeah. then he said no, and then he went to work at a hospital. And a year later, he's like, "I'm depressed." And I was like, "Come on over." Most of them though, like, were just new and had like no money. So like mm. back then. When they were fighting those challenges, like that was like basically their that savings was- at the time. So that's why. Uh, but yeah, you do see as time went on, they didn't go as long in the challenges. There's a big difference too. You have a couple thousand. Uh, and that's when obviously we transitioned to people, like random people. Yeah. Like at the start, I wanted to hook the boys up, and then once they were good, we're like, okay, we let's can start doing. We can just start doing other people. Okay, talking about hooking up. Uh, when oh, you're on Rogan, no. Oh, you no no no, no. You, oh, no. you you brought up. The fact that when you posted your first video, it was when you got hacked playing uh, Pirates. Battle, Battle Pirates, Pirates, yeah. Battle Pirates, Facebook whatever. Okay. Yeah. Have you found out who did it? <laughs> no, I didn't, but I should. Have they not reached out? I mean, how would they? Mr. B6000 is what, your I, username, right? <laughs> yeah. I've, what, are they going to tweet me on Twitter? Like, well, yeah. yeah. Be like, yeah. Oh, I got you over on Mr. B. Everyone's yeah. going to tweet he at me. He could do a YouTube so, video about it. I mean, it'll yeah. be his highest viewed video. <laughs> okay, hold on. Because the story. I you love tell, how this you is tell, so you tell niche the story that like all five people listening are going to get <laughs> it. <laughs> we're, did we're we in, fuck the algorithm up already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, God you damn did it. fuck your attention. You know what? Um, it's fine. You know, if you don't want this to get views, that's up to you. I'll tell the story. I'm just getting bullied. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You're his son. Who starts the rope? Now, bitch. He starts this off with like, oh, by the way, Joe Rogan got 10 million views. And, you know, what goes through my head when he says that is like, well, it's completely up to the topics you bring up on whether or not we do it. Like, yeah, if this, nothing to do and, with the guests. No. I mean, if this, if this gets like a 40-minute retention, we're passing that. If this is like 25 minutes, we're screwed. Yeah, yeah. So now we're, we're down there. Okay. So I, make, make this story go. No, I, I'm changing the topic. I'm trying to save you. Now, I guarantee you no one gives a fuck about yeah. a guy that hacked me when I was 11 years old on a Facebook page. I case. care because that's the well, first they video don't. you ever posted. They don't fucking care. Fuck them. <laughs> retention. No, hey, hey. Hey, Beast, our audience it. is actually uh, older than 17, so why don't you go ahead and tell yeah, the story? Yeah, they have, they have and the I'm change. Sure oh, they have the change. Yeah, they're at their job right now. They're insistent. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so <laughs> when I was 11, I was playing a game. 
a guy just started just destroying me, absolutely crushing yeah. me. Every day he'd come through and attack my base, and I got pissed. Yeah. So I made a video saying, fuck this guy. Although well, I, There was no words. I didn't know how to record audio. I was right. stupid. But it was just like him. I just sent it to the devs, yeah. and I uploaded it to YouTube. And then it somehow got 20,000 views. First video ever gets 20,000 views. That's crazy. Because people who played the game would just watch it. But they were trying to figure out how to hack. And then like all the comments were like, oh. So uh, there's a guy out there that's responsible for you posting on YouTube. Yeah. For making, pissing me off when I was 11 and then inadvertently making me make a video. And he could be listening right now. What do you want to say to that guy? Um, Thanks for making me rich. (laughs) (laughs) He needs a royalty. You you owe him something. If you found out who he is, would you... Break them off with a little something. Yeah, of course. I'd give them a couple thousand dollars or something. Couple, like couple thousand dollars? <laughs> <laughs> you have a fucking island or something like that. What do you mean, couple thousand? That's at least a million, right? Yeah, yeah no, get him an island no, and uh, bury him on it, dude. Fuck you know that what? guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah, oh, you want to play pirates uh, yeah. now? Watch this. Dude, that's a great question. When, when you're buried alive, like... Do you guys ever think about like him being mean as a boss? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, tell him your plan for if you die. Oh, yeah. They want me to die. Oh, yeah, 100%. Great video. Big time. They do. Because the second I die, um, Carl, Chandler, Chris, the three guys, Nolan, maybe. He's a little newer. We we haven't decided (laughs) if he partakes yet or not. Yeah. yeah, Uh, yeah, They all put their hand on my tombstone, last take it off, gets the channel. Everything. 100% everything. Wow. What about uh, Thotic, dude? You just left the brown guy out of this. Well, (laughs) he's not on camera. He's the camera guy. So, like, most people haven't seen him. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Tariq gets to put his hand on the tombstone? Yes. I think so. As I mean, of right now, yeah. it's just yeah, written yeah, 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 yeah. in the like little plan. It's just those three. We have to update it and put Nolan and maybe Tariq in it. Yes. It's like, because we have a little I game plan for a fight. I say we keep it as is. I like, the, I like <laughs> the three. No, no, no. I like three. Maybe we should change it up. Yeah. No, no. And last I take like it this. off gets it. You're I'll not give Barry. In Egypt. Forever. I would definitely win that one. I would private so, you know, they can film the video. Yeah. That is happening. Mark my words. I don't even know if I've really said it publicly. I tweeted it one time, but I'm serious. I don't give a fuck how much you guys are crying. Put their fucking hands on the tombstone and give the channel to whoever wins, okay? That's and don't bully them for it. They're just doing what I want. <laughs> and and you guys think you could do without him, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll be, it'll be an interesting experiment. <laughs> I'm down. Should we fake your death, dude? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> it's like, I want to do this the next 10 years. And if I do that, then, like, if I fake that, did I fake count to 100,000? Good point, or, good point. You, you can't know. fake anything. Okay. Uh, Hold on, mo- sorry. Well, real quick, real quick. Most illegal... No, no, go, vid- go for it. Shut the <laughs> fuck up, dude. No, no. I love this guy. Oh, he's trying to tear this whole thing apart, dude. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Come to my castle. Yeah. With my- <laughs> no, uh, most illegal video. Honestly, I, I try to brainstorm legal videos, so... Yeah, that's probably uh, better. Use yeah. of your time. Okay. Um, <laughs> what about what about like a competition? Like I had one for you, if I can pitch you. Hit me. Okay. Is uh, that the notepad you're flipping? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go I ahead, have, rip have, it out. I have three that Before I want. Before the it. podcast, he's just <laughs> slide through them. Okay. Um, this is a good, tell me if you think this has good, <laughs> one, retention yeah. and good like uh, click through. Okay. okay. I played uh, Michael J. Fox in Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. Um, like, is there any stakes? Say again? Like anything on the line. Um, you said shakes or steaks? Steaks. Oh. <laughs> I just got Invisalign, all right? My S's are not going to come off correctly. Like okay. maybe if it's like loser's car gets hit by a meteor or something. That's a good one. That's good. I like that. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, 100 kids go to an island. Last one leaves gets an internship with Jeffrey Epstein. Thoughts? Right He's dead. <laughs> or is he? Uh, true. Uh, true. I haven't seen the body. Um. Yeah, that's a banger. That's a good, <laughs> I don't know if I would use the word banger, yeah, but yeah. yeah. That's a poor choice uh, of words. I don't words. know for the right reasons, but <laughs> yeah. it'll get clicked. It's probably by the FBI. Okay. <laughs> you were investigated by the FBI. Was I? Well, that's what we were wondering. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> no. I was hunted by them for a video. Mm. Were they really hunting someone else in your crew? Mm. <laughs> you want to inform me? <laughs> Do you know something I don't? I think we know who he's looking at. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't know. <laughs> I was looking at Carl. I was looking at Carl. I was looking at Carl hey. and nobody else. Hey, hey bro. I'm going to need you to respect Tariq. Yeah, I do respect okay, him. Or yeah. I'm going to have to walk off. his name right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you respect Tariq. We'll respect Dottic. <laughs> uh, okay. One trillion dollars I give you right now. Uh, okay. Thank you. You have to spend it on the video. Okay. What is it? Uh, I bought everything I wanted in life. 
and then I just buy everything. Everything? I don't think that gets you to a trillion, dog. I'm going to be honest. Well, no, humans are expensive, bro. Like, <laughs> oh, I can figure it out. People are like, you couldn't spend a billion a day if you wanted to. Fucking 10 super yachts. Problem solved. I could, uh, I could yeah. spend a trillion. Ooh, okay. Bro, I'm just calling up like people who own neighborhoods, buying entire neighborhoods. You know? Wow. I could figure it out. One trillion. You oh, buy easily. everything you want in life. Yeah, I would just literally buy like half of America. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Have you looked into buying a planet? Uh uh, no. I mean, like, they're, they're so far away. That's you know how much point. cooler it'd be if planets weren't, like, 500,000 light years away? There's, like, a realistic way we could visit them in our life. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we'd all be way happier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, just you, get out of here for a little bit. It will just it'd stretch our life legs. more fun. Yeah, you know? yeah. But it's like, you have to, like, build a ship and send it off, and people have to have kids on it, and kids and their kids will maybe see that planet. It's kind of yeah. lame. Yeah, yeah. Whole thing, huh? I mean, that's yeah. what your boy's trying to do, at least. Yeah, Elon? Yeah. Yeah, my boy. Did you believe him when he made that offer? What offer? If something bad happens to him. Oh, on Twitter. I love, dude, you did your research. You think that you're going to come on this <laughs> Bro, I, I, I told and you And I'm two not going to maintain ago. my journalistic integrity? Oh, yeah. Well, he, he thinks he's a journalist, by the way. I'm oh, a journalist, bro. Really? Yeah. Well, then you need to make up some lies. <laughs> 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 Ooh, that's good. We go political? <laughs> <laughs> Headline on Breitbart. <laughs> Mr. Beast calls the news fake. He's one of us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, first he has to buy it. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm very confident if he bought it and died, he'd give it to me. Totally. And not the investors that have tens of billions of dollars in it. Hmm. That's a bad enemy to make, though. I wouldn't have made that deal with you. What? That, oh, if I, I own Twitter, if I die... If I die, then yeah. you get it. The guy that is making videos and doing crazy stuff. Could you imagine someone assassinates him? Yeah. But then, like, someone, their only motive someone, is someone, to someone, <laughs> someone. I wonder who it could be. Okay. Yeah. And then they they want to assassinate him. Yeah, yeah. they got a fucking YouTube channel. <laughs> but, but, but what would you even do with Twitter? I mean, I don't know. Sell it. It's worth a lot of money. Give it away. <laughs> give, it, give it to a subscriber. Bro, give, give, do a video. Give it, it away. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just, just get some money. Oh no, you can stop actually, being poor. <laughs> you can help him, okay? Because he no, doesn't. I need help. He, he doesn't believe in philanthropy. And oh you, no, I do believe in philanthropy. No, no. Right, you don't believe in philanthropy. We've I talked heard. about this all the, the time. The word on the street is you hate philanthropy. What's Thank wrong? I don't that? hate it. I believe in it. No, I'm very that's, philanthropic. That's not what I heard. That's not what, what I do you heard. donate to? Say again. We, we've talked about this a million times. I donate to the Catholic Church. <laughs> no, you don't. I donated sperm for like the first maybe okay, like no, it's not, okay. three years He's of my comedian mode. Like <laughs> we gotta go until we get out of comedian mode. <laughs> no, no, that's no, not no, donated. No, no. What do you mean? That's not donated. No, no, I, I donate. I believe in philanthropy. You've literally I never donated. It. I do believe in it. He believes in it as an idea. He just hasn't gotten around to it. No, yet. I think I believe when you do it, I think you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I believe uh, the, in it. Uh, you believe in film? I believe people do it. Like, wait, what do you mean? Like, I don't know. Do you what think does he it, mean? Can I believe it and also not do it? Mi yeah. Look, I'm saying Jimmy donates millions of dollars every year. He plants trees. I do. Yeah. I do. He helps people. He has we food do. pantries. Yeah. And you also have a, a, a lump of money. Yeah. That you could use to help other people. And why don't you? I, th I feel like you're doing a good job. I don't want to take away from you. Like if, I, if everybody, what if I have a burger and I have chocolate and I'm giving everybody money and I'm giving everybody islands? You know what I mean? <laughs> How many topic. fucking white Oprahs do we need? You know what I mean? like, <laughs> there, we got to the truth. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, I no, should. Wait, wait. I should give more, man. Yeah. Agreed. Why? Why? When did you start giving? Oh, uh, when I was like 15. Oh, you started young. Yeah, that's the problem. The habit yeah. has been built. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're too yeah. old to start. I we think got the money game late. By. Agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To perfectly logical reason. More importantly, yeah. I, everyone always talks about. Obviously, you, yo, you're, yo, yo. Can you stop bullying us on our whole fucking is. show? Like, he really, <laughs> yo, he's a bully, bro. I love it. Bully. This guy's a bully, dude. I don't gotta be the bully. He brought it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, bro, you're a fucking on his side. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I didn't you realize. Son of a bitch. Did you realize he's taller than you too? He's, oh, he's the bully. He's 6'4". Right, everyone, everyone, Did you notice him right now? How yeah. tall are you? 6'3", 6'4". Wow. 6'3", 6'4". I'm going to give my goddamn question. He wants 6'4". He gave away an inch. This guy. He's trying to be nice. All right. Okay, go. So, go. What is your, your question? Your Netflix special that you, you know, sold on your own. Yeah. And you made more than they would have paid you. Yeah. Have I you ever... It was with Netflix, but... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah have yeah. you ever, like, said how much money was publicly or anything like that? No, I haven't. Do you ever plan on it? Just every time I hear it, I'm always curious. Like even on the car right over, I like was thinking about. It. I was like, I just how much did you shit on Netflix? You know. Well, <laughs> this guy's good. It's not. I didn't say it was Netflix. Oh wait, really? Yeah. I thought it, that was the whole thing. He's Everybody thought it was Netflix. I never said which one it is. 
He's really? never revealed. Yeah, Bro, yeah, I was yeah. beyond certain it was Netflix. Why? Why do you think it was Netflix? I don't fucking know. Because he looks at the stock market. I just thought like <laughs> Netflix is like, here's a three million bag. Yeah. Delete some jokes and you're like, fuck you. And then uh-uh. you made like 20 million and you just shat on them. Or I something. didn't make 20 million. Yeah, obviously that was just a number I put on my head. But yeah. yeah. He didn't say obviously. He didn't say obviously. I'm walking out. Sit down. Okay. Sit down. 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 What's happening, bro? Okay, you know what? Arkos, right. help me out, bro. Come on. So stand up if you want to so, find yeah. it. Yeah. Anyway. I can leave my show if I want, bro. <laughs> do, do you plan on telling us how badly you shit on said streaming service? I, I plan on just taking a moment. <laughs> I'm get my confidence yeah. back on my own goddamn podcast. Me too, bro. I, I can't even say the number now because it's less than whatever you threw out. <laughs> Fuck an asshole, dude. You just threw out 20 like it was nothing, bro. I apologize. Yeah. Don't, that's even worse. <laughs> that's even worse. <laughs> I'm sorry for hurting you. So that's how I apologize to my white man empty. God, I'm just not going to talk. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. That's it. Now I'm putting it on YouTube because you said that. What? The number? I'm going to put the whole special on YouTube. There and we he's going to donate his money. And I'm going to uh, donate the money there that we comes go. to Hold his him wife. to it. Hold yeah. him to it. I'm going to donate it. To who you said. <laughs> I'm going to donate it to me and my wife. I'm going to donate it to us. Okay, donate 100%. it all to her. And then when you get a divorce, you'll get half of it. Fuck. <laughs> oh. that, not that you would. Wait, that works that's, the same either way. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's so good. Funny, but if it felt, I know. you guys were so ready for it to be harmful, you, you jumped on board. This is a horrible position to be in. This is oh, a master is it? manipulator. It's almost right? like we're interviewing him. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is good. Any other fucking questions? No, but I want that story we were talking about beforehand. Yes. About the... Yeah. So when he was uh, going through video ideas, it reminded me of someone who just, oh, I can't remember if it was Dubai or somewhere in the Middle East, this guy hired a private investigator in North Carolina. I have no context to find me. Um, and this is just something that oh, happened. Yeah, 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 someone, this happens a lot. So whenever people call local private investigators, they just let us know because a lot of people just want to know where I am for whatever reason. Oh, the private investigators call you directly. Yeah, it's usually, which now I'm giving away my secrets, but oh well, I'm in too deep. But, yeah. um, so he calls us, lets us know. He's like, this time it's someone from like Dubai. We don't really know what he wants, but he's just flying to North Carolina tomorrow. And I'm, he just paid me to find you. And we're like, okay, cool. Um, and so then the next day he gets there. And then with the private, I have security. So my security went with the private investigator to meet him. And my security's just like, why the fuck are you here? Why are you trying to find Jimmy? And the guy's like, I just have video ideas. I really want to give them. And my security's like, fuck you. Why are you actually here? And he's, he just kept saying it like 30 times in a row. He's just like, I just want to give him this sheet of ideas. And it was just a piece of paper with video ideas. Flies across the world, private investigator, everything. And so they're like, we don't believe you. And so they like, he let them, my security, search his hotel room, couldn't find anything, nothing in there, just a suitcase of clothes. Um, and he just literally just did all that to give me a list of ideas. And, and? then... And then well, my security was like, oh, Jimmy's out of town for three months. I was, and I was <laughs> Did like, you ever get the fucking idea? Yeah, well, then, and just get, took it. I was like, I'll give it to Jimmy. And then he gave it to me, and it was just like, it was like, open up a free gas station, like, open yeah, up. That's actually, gas. that's... Yeah. Yeah. That's a very Middle Eastern yeah. idea. Isn't it? Yeah, it's obviously. It's like literally so, like, he's trying to make money off you. <laughs> he was getting a lick uh, off of you. It was like 30 ideas like that. And then I was just like, this is actually a watch women read in public or something like that. Like, is that one of them? Yeah. We, we did get Squid Game out of that. Bullshit. Whoa. No. Oh, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, yeah no. bullshit. You guys stole the guy from Dubai's idea? <laughs> this was before the real Squid Game. That's the Yeah, no, part. he wrote it all out. Yeah, he just all 456 the, the screenplay. And so yeah. This guy just hired private investigators, flew down there, all this money camped out just to give me a list of video ideas. And none of them were good. None of them were good. <laughs> wow. wow. What, a what a fucking idiot, right? <laughs> what a fucking you loser. dumb idiot. You're probably watching right <laughs> I've now. I've never told this story publicly. Now he's going to know that I actually knew he And came. he's coming back because he oh, knows where to find you. Good. He should no. know. You read his ideas and they sucked. They he, were he ought to find you. Ideas. He's got money to get an investigator. If he can find him, he's oh, going to yeah, get you guys. Oh, yeah, this guy's got money, too. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. next time, pitch him on ideas. Pitch me. I got plenty of ideas. Hire the your private investigators. I need ideas. Give me the Dubai ideas. I paid Instagram Bro, influencer for. one million dollars to shit on a glass York. table. <laughs> <laughs> it's much you, easier to fly here than North Carolina. Do you have a lot of people um, doing that? Like, uh, just okay. You hear the stories of people going like, "I risk everything to be here." Like I saw Carl's story of like, "I spent my last dollar," and then yeah. it ended up working out. And that kind of inspires every lunatic to take their last dollar. 
Yeah. To just show up in the North Carolina. The thing is, I just, I live in my studio now. Yeah. And so it's like fenced in and stuff yeah. like that. So, and most people know that, so they don't. But yeah. sometimes, you know, I'll leave. With the gym in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Gym in the bedroom, I still got to lose a little weight. But sometimes I'll go out and they'll just be like, yeah, this guy's just been camping behind a gas station for like a month waiting to see you. And I'm like, lovely. And how do you say... No. I just am like tell him I'm just not interested. Like uh. that's not how you know I like to meet people. But that still like occasionally happens, and it's always like that doesn't ever piss them off because you're not like. I mean, that's not the nicest. I, I'm not. Interested. I don't think anyone expects me to just go meet yeah. people who just camp out and wait for my attention because you don't know. Like they might be trying to kill me. They might be yeah, whatever. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So it used to be. It's weird. It like oscillates. Sometimes it's like a lot, and then sometimes it's not as much. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a dangerous moment, like, with your security where they had to intervene and, like, get someone off you? Um, dangerous? Carl, can you think of one? Uh, not really. No. no. no nobody cares enough. I don't think. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Max, there's ever a crowd of five people. <laughs> Is it ever women waiting to see? Okay, Ooh. Al. But before, Yo, hey, Al. Before Al, your girlfriend. Al, Al. Okay, Al. Al. He's got a girlfriend, bro. Yeah. Say, they can still be I'm waiting. a good Christian boy. It's Tell him why all... they call you Mr. Beast. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him why they call you Mr. Beast. <laughs> no, I usually... Um, no, but we've never had any, like, crazy issues. It's actually kind of weird. Like, with the mall one, like, that went really well, even though, like, the mall was just... crazy. Yeah, like, at one point, there was, like, 20,000 people in there. Yeah. Was, and, yeah. And, and girls showing tits and shit? That's, that was okay, fucking no, nuts. These are children. Did you see that? That's these in are, the video. These are children. Really? Yeah. There's screenshots in the video of, like... <laughs> Of girls like flashing. Well, I hope not. Yo, <laughs> there's younger people. There. Yo, no, that was nuts. It was crazy. Yeah, and they had like the the, the American flag like pasties okay, or whatever like true. that. This is yeah. not true. You didn't see this. So you're making this up. It's on. It's there was a whole Quibi series about they made about it. <laughs> not, you don't watch Quibi. Hey, you don't use you know, <laughs> views. It's Quibi. But is that the one where with the phone thing or whatever? Don't act like you don't know what the fuck Quibi. No, is, <laughs> is that what it was? <laughs> you know, no, because that was the one that turned the phone. That, that, <laughs> that was, you, this that guy's a no Quibi. So I knew Quibi would fail <laughs> because no, no, when within five seconds of using Quibi, I went to watch a show and I, I was like, this is. Is garbage. I went to screenshot it, and the yeah. screenshot was black. Yeah. And that's how I knew it would fail because you can't make memes. They made it where you couldn't take screenshots of anything. Netflix's oh. problem too. Yeah. Well, at least Netflix, like you can watch it on your computer, and it's easier to screenshot. Yeah. Quibi was phone only, and there's zero way to take a screenshot. Okay. So it's like, how the fuck do you expect these shows to go viral? Yeah. Like that was the same time of Baby Yoda and all this stuff. Yeah. And then Quibi's just like, no, no memes. Yeah. And it's like, no one's ripping your fucking shows. Can you explain that a little bit more about how like memes drive the culture? Of oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Like the Mandalorian, you get rid of Baby Yoda memes. It's like nobody nothing. even talks about it. Exactly. I, I never would watch it. Now, when you're creating videos, are you also going like, what do you think will be memeable in this? Uh, I probably should, but no. But no. Yeah, right but now I'm just film trying to... and TV, like film, TV, it's what is memeable. No, not only. It's just, it's just something that happens naturally. If you're just getting it where no one can take screenshots and you're just an idiot, you know what I mean? Because that's how you, you just get attention on Twitter. It's like cutting like one of your legs out from under you. Yeah, if you try to make a meme, then you're cringe. Like memes just happen. Yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You, you mean like if you're the creator of the TV show. If like yeah. House of Dragons is going, this is the memeable moment. Exactly. You're, I don't think you can ever do that. You can't force them. But you can yeah. embrace it though after it like organically pops. Lean in. Yeah. yeah. I think you have to. Yeah, yeah that like, what is that movie? Morbius or whatever? Yeah, the Jerry yeah. Leto oh, movie yeah, that got yeah, absolutely yeah. destroyed. Yeah. Did you see there? But it still did well, right? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure like the destroying it caused it to They crush. put it back out in theaters. Did you see oh, that? Oh, really? It, it went viral as like a meme, and they were like, we're re-releasing it. Oh, that's <laughs> sick. Oh, wow. And Minions as well with the like people. That was genius. Just minions the people theater. actually that was enjoyed, though. Yeah. Yeah. And you did that. You did Yeah, one. we did. We, we bought every ticket in a theater, and then we just flooded with people in suits. Oh, that's amazing. It was great. Oh, and I heard they made that shit illegal. Yeah, in like a, they did. a few places. You yeah, couldn't it seemed wear a suit. crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's like for the first time in three years, I go to a movie theater. And then, like, three <laughs> days later, it's like, no, you can't do that. Also, like, uh, the most mature way to dress. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, it has a very cultish feel to it, though. Just a bunch of young white kids in suits and whatever the fuck. Just like, <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah this is scary. I You're saying that. if this there was, like, scary. a bunch of white people all dressed the same, you would, like, run yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that would make you feel uncomfortable yeah, a little bit. That's past trauma. I'm out of it. I wonder if I walked in and it was just a hundred black people in suits, how I would feel. Yeah, men in black is. What you guys do this? Yeah. I think the new metal black. Work for Schultz Studios. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, that is wild. I don't know why that is concerning. It shouldn't be illegal. 
<laughs> but it does I think make it's you literally because some of them started lighting firecrackers in the movie theater, uh, and one of them like blew up a couple I, seats. I told you, man, it's a dangerous thing. You can't yeah. trust them anyway. People just the same. <laughs> Why we get out of we get out of hand? Just, a little bit? You get yeah, you you get one group think, and it's just a it's just a mob all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. But it is right so now, fun though. See, me and him, we break it up, so it's not too much white boy shit going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so yeah, every yeah. time Mark and I are starting to get hyped yeah, about things, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, you yeah. guys stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that go off. That's so actually really good idea. That's why yeah. Thotic is a part of the team. So that's it. Got gotcha. you. Too much gotcha. white fun. He's not good. We keep his camera off. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Sid Vicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't even use it. Pat him camera. on the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your, your content made it. But just in case you guys start going, you want to go to Charlottesville? <laughs> he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax, Everybody guys. chill out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is very important. That's how you build your team. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's smart. Mm. Tariq's the foundation. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is good. Are they allowed to have girlfriends? Is the team allowed to have girlfriends? I wish not, but you know, yeah. if they want to. Are they just drowning in strange or what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's cut over to them. Boys, check it away. <laughs> <laughs> I love women. <laughs> He's so good at it, too. He's so good at it. <laughs> Oh no! Nah. He's fucking. He's fucking. Yeah. Right? He's fucking. You can tell. Yeah. Dude. Okay, cool. I didn't know yeah. you had it like that, my boy. Yeah. Shit. Better, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Nola's quiet. Nola's dudes. got a little something going on. I know oh, you do. 100. Yeah. percent Right. Put chain out, by the way. Yeah. Put yeah. yeah. the chain back in. I put the chain back in. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Some wild motherfucking boys you got over here. Oh, no, fucking crazy. I can't yeah. tame them. What do you guys do on a Saturday? Like split a six pack of White Claw or something? Like that? Just fucking let uh, loose, dude. I, well, I don't. I just work all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So I usually see them when we're filming, but outside that, I don't see them too much anymore. Okay. How do you split the work balance with your girl? How that's, do you, like, yeah, now okay. you've, you've introduced this relationship in the last six that's what, months. Yeah. That's what us married guys want to know. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, just yeah. out of curiosity. You want relationship uh, advice from yeah. a 24 year old? Yeah. Yeah. I got yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Loser! Yeah. 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 25! Yeah. 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 No, 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 I want it. Right? Do you well, tell her to leave you say it, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right now. Well, she's, <laughs> <laughs> I got you guys the answers you've been needing. She's actually from South Africa, so she can only come here 90 days a year anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so it just naturally works itself out. Got you South African, my boy, you see that? Wait, wow. Stop. Wow. Stop it. Stop it. What? It's South Africa. You going to make her an African-American? Uh, <laughs> I'm working on it. Figure out how we Yo, can. That's I a video. A white woman and African American. Oh, there's your video. Wedding episode. Uh, it, it is a little weird that like like she makes good money. She's like gone to college, multiple degrees, everything you would want. You would want her here, yeah. but I still feel like there's just literally no way to get her in America. Like you, why don't we like reform our immigration process where like. Yeah, well, we, now, should, we should let in the good ones, right? <laughs> oh Who said my that? God. Why are you making it bad? Why are you making it bad? You're twisting you know it. What? <laughs> I don't want my girlfriend here anymore. You You've been doing this to him for an hour. <laughs> yeah, 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 you deserve this. How's that deal, Jenny? <laughs> 20 million was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but you can marry her and then she's in. You're right. I'll just marry her. Yeah. That, that seems like a reasonable way you to spend time. You could actually have Nolan do it. <laughs> True. No one could marry your wife. That. No one could marry your girl. Right, That'd what, be a great video. Is that like a company? Can I just pay someone to marry her? Yeah. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. Is that like it's a not legit? a company, but that Nolan happens. can You're do it. You're giving him no, ideas. I, He's like, genuinely thinking about this. I don't this. want like, no, that genuinely like if she has to yeah. marry someone I see on it, you know, this is a little. Well, but if she it's just like, doing it, no, no, but if it was just like some guy that I'll never see again, and they just like marry so she can move here, like. But he might try something. No, Nolan's an elf. Look at that. Like he's not gonna do anything. Yeah, but the problem is no one will make fun of me. Like I can't like make elf man. But the thing is, I can't make fun of him because he has the perfect life. There's Lord of the Rings. Is he Lord of the Rings? Bro, he's not gonna do anything yeah, with you, bro. That's an yeah. elf. Did you just call me an elf? Yeah. 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 He's an elf. What do you even mean it. by that? Yeah. Son, it means if we gave you a bow and arrow, you'd be nice with yeah. it. Yeah. Don't everybody do What does that yeah. even mean? No, it's no, it's a compliment. You never he's seen saying he made cookies in a tree. That's what huh? he's saying. It's you fucked up. You've never seen Lord of the Rings, bro? I've seen Lord of the Rings. I just don't know what I look like. You know the people that you're like, my family? When they come on the screen? You know those people? He's not let it go. No, not your ears. Your fucking head and your skin and, and your, your yeah, it's the skin. your beauty. Exactly. Yeah, it's the skin. He's a beautiful guy. 
have one I'm green hat, he's Zelda. Right? I know. <laughs> Dude, look, you like made out of oat milk, bro. You're amazing. Look at you. This is a beautiful man. He is handsome. He's got great skin. He's been calling me Harry Potter for about no, the but, first 30 but minutes. Guy is Wait, you're different. not in the movie? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> today, bro. Oh, shit. I got uh, this shit all wrong. All <laughs> is Nolan could marry your wife, and you know he'd be respectful because he's a part of their culture. But the only problem is then if I make fun of him, he's got the perfect clapback. What's the perfect clapback? He's just married to my girlfriend. Yeah, but he's not doing nothing. Yeah. But he's got that over Aaron him. Nolan, nah, but it's like, I, you don't, no, he doesn't win a single argument anymore. That's it. Why? What happens? Because yeah. I'm married to your girlfriend. But then yeah. you can also be like, yeah, but I'm not, sleeping here, with yeah. your wife. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm fucking oh, your shit. wife, dog. Yeah. True, 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 There's a little true. back and forth then. Yo, true. that's a bar. Okay. Now you're getting it? We're looking yeah. at elves. We're getting now it. he realizes yeah, nah, this. We actually just showed him a camera. Because you thought I was talking about the orcs or something, bro? Come on. Let me see it. Yeah, you're like, thank you. Hey, what's the most legal search thing? Oh, that's Orlando Bloom, dog. It's a beautiful man. Look at that. Do you know who that is? Legolas? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, who you, you I'm, I'm fine with that. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what else do we got in here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm surprised you're not grabbing your phone oh, back. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> phone yeah, yeah. Oh, is it Dove's phone? Yeah, it's Dove's phone. Oh, Go no, to the pictures. There's the not going to be anything of interest Go to in the here. pictures. He will get up so quick right now. Yeah. Let's no, see what he's, he's got. Wait, you're going to let him look through your photos? Yeah, 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 yeah. Chill, chill. Come on, Dove. content happened, Dove. We got the content king right here, dog. Oh. Okay, <laughs> you you guys, you guys should trade phones. That'd be fun. Oh, me and you? Yeah. Do you want to do that? Uh, <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like he's just gonna like go through my YouTube analytics and start blurting out numbers. Well, oh. I, maybe. That's a, actually a great I, idea. Actually, probably he wasn't going to. Yeah. 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 Blurt yeah, about it. No more about uh, this. My phone's dead, but I'll take no, yours. No, 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 no. My wife is sending me screenshots. <laughs> so I don't know what that is, but he's never been on YouTube problem. analytics in his life. For the record, I know all about YouTube analytics. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. Oh, yeah, maybe you yeah. could rehab Jimmy's channel. Do you want me to help you with that? I, I could use the help. That'd be great. I mean, Here. we could work on some TNs if you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you the behind the scenes guy? No, it's all it's all. That's short for thumbnail, bro. Is it really? All right, so you're you're the smart one. some TN, bro. Are you logged into the show's channel? Here. Oh, shit. He's really yeah, about yeah. to go. Wait, what are we doing right now? Yeah, Wait, yeah, hold yeah, on, yeah. hold on, hold on. What are we doing here? We're, we're checking out. Bro, you got 2.3. Look at you. Yo, son. <laughs> Yo, son. This guy's crazy, bro. No, Yo, you're this killing it. This crazy guy right yeah. now, bro. <laughs> you Yo, he's like, good job. Yeah, yeah. Good job. I can't. Like, hey, you little rascal. Yeah, no. Did you just call me a little rascal? I keep up the good work. You know what? I will not compliment you the rest yeah, of the podcast. Yeah, cut that shit out, Jimmy. He's going to give you advice, and then I you're going to give him advice. I don't think your parents loved you when you were younger. <laughs> you don't take advice or compliments well. Okay, you don't. <laughs> For someone abuse this man, and he just doesn't know how to take a compliment. I'm like, hey. I'm like, I'm proud yeah. of you for having two million subscribers. Wow. And he's like, what the fuck you just say? And I'm like, I'm proud of you. Wow. That's very astute. That's very wow. astute. Okay. King Anyways, Solomon over Christ, here, bro. bro. Wisdom. God, that, yo, you can tell the accuracy by how fast we both stood up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my dad loved me at least. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Mom still Ooh. stepped it up a little bit. So... His RPM's a little low. How do we get that up? Yeah, yeah. Damn. What do you say? RPM? <laughs> RPMs, yeah. I've been working on those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you definitely... I Love the RPMs, you, So you swear a lot in the videos. Say again? You swear a lot in the videos? I, I wouldn't... No. You do. I can tell you do just by looking at the rest <laughs> I don't swear! You have to. I don't swear. Then it wouldn't be this low if you didn't swear. I'm do... racist a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not cussing. Gotcha. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, a substitute. Like, you know. Oh, you're saying say things that are wrong. Yeah, you you say things that you know advertisers naughty. Don't like. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. advertisers you're, you're don't like guy. it. Mm -hmm. But we have the, great advertisers. The numbers, <laughs> the lower <laughs> <thicker. laughs> yeah. It's just funny that like yeah, yeah. I, I, I could. I'm never... looking for a chocolate bar sponsorship. Actually, yeah. can we? Can we sponsor the next one? Yeah. Okay, how much, I will how do, much it. do you charge an episode? For you? Yeah. Free. Oh, okay. philanthropy. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, thank you. Yeah. See that? Thank you. Philanthropy, bro. Okay. You almost uh, said fellatio. That was I, weird. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he brought it close to me like that. <laughs> so I was like, there's only one other time this is happening. <laughs> can't wait today. edit that. I'll give you a pallet of chocolate. I want it right here next okay. episode. Okay, pallet of chocolate. Right. right Matter of fact, we need to replace the trees. Oh, Perfect. fill the That would actually be sick. We will replace it with a pallet of chocolate. Let's Matter do of it. fact, Matter of fact, I've been wanting to try your burger. Yeah. Can, hey, can, can we order, order some? some right can now? we order hey, some I'll, beast I'll burgers? I'll order some. I'll order some. Okay. I'll be right back. Let How me, fast do the beast burgers let come? Let me uh, message them. Let's see. How fast do the beast burgers usually come? Go, on, Mark. Uh, uh, probably thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Well, we might get them a little quicker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Are, Are they, they already here? 
Is it only hamburgers, or do you have anything for people who aren't going? Uh, out? Yeah, we have a. He doesn't cheese. eat beef. Yeah. We have a grilled cheese. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> I'm working on. Oh no, we have Impossible <laughs> Meat as well. Okay, use the Impossible oh, Meat. Go. I forgot okay. we launched that. It's yeah. just like three okay. percent of our sales. Like no one gives a fuck. <laughs> I, was like, I was like really expecting people to fuck with the plant based. I burger. thought we were friends. You know what I mean? We, I thought we had a thing and we just shit on him together. No, what, this has nothing. It's just in general, America okay. just doesn't give a fuck. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so is he ordering it or are they already here? Yeah. Yeah. Ordering. It's a okay. yeah. But but listen, because I was like really hoping that would like explode and like no one cared. But the Impossible. Meat. Yeah, and we also did like lettuce wraps where yeah. you can substitute the bun for lettuce. That sounds great. I like that. Yeah, that sounds fun. Like 1% well, when sales. people want a burger, they want a burger. That's what I found out the hard way. What's up, guys? Today's episode is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is a modern VPN designed with the user in mind. Their utilities are powered by a robust security mechanism, but designed to be simple and intuitive to use. Enjoy all the freedoms of an open internet safely and anonymously with no device limits. Okay, remember, they've stripped Strictly no logs means that they do not keep your data at all. That is yours and yours alone. You can also unlock the 15 largest Netflix country libraries, including the US and Japan, by merely connecting to a server in the right country. Wherever you are right now might not have all the same movies, documentaries, TV shows on the Netflix so that you can pretend you're in a country that has it using this VPN, okay? You can also reach your favorite sites and services, even in countries that ban them, as Surfshark bypasses censorship and geo-blocking to give you access to Facebook in China or TikTok in the USA. And right now, you can get all that for 83% off a two-year plan and three extra months for free. And all you gotta do is go to surfshark.deal slash Schultz and use the code Schultz, that's S-C-H-U-L-Z, to get 83% off a two-year plan and three extra months for free. Remember, protect yourself online today with Surfshark. Now let's get back to the show. Whoa! Oh, Look at this! Oh, how, hey, how, long these have, how long have these been sitting around? <laughs> Hold on one second. Because if they say these are bad, it's not my fault. No, we got some real Beast Burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go. this is it. Mr. Oh, Beast. God, that old ass packaging. They oh, yet. oh, oh, God. Here we go. Wait a minute. This is weird. That looks awful like a Big Mac. <laughs> Why are you doing that, bro? Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? It's totally not a Big oh, Mac. It's trying to get it you back. Like special sauce. I, it that is, looks like a Big Mac, dude. I, hold you on. I mean, all beef that does like is when you order, we order from McDonald's. And then you sauce, pickles, cheese, lettuce, onions, yeah. on the sesame seed bun. That's what that looks like. Al, what is this? It looks like two all beef patty special sauce, pickles, cheese, lettuce, onions, on the sesame seed bun. So this one hasn't been opened yet. So if this is a Big Mac, then you guys really pulled it off. how are you going to use my card and not get an Impossible Burger? What? You can eat beef? Why not? Oh, God damn it, It's impossible this is a beast burger. This is what happens when you hang out with comedians. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. So these do look like Big Macs, so. That is a Big Mac. Oh, that is? Yeah. Oh, so that's what the Beast Burger is. No. You I can't tell if you're fucking with <laughs> No, tell me what's going on. Let me see this. He Let uses ghost it. kitchens, right? Oh, this one, though. That looks oh, more like our thing. That's a Beast Burger. Hold on, right let me, there. Okay, let that's me see a this. Burger. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They just these motherfuckers, these fucking <laughs> dude. Do you, have like a, do you have like a team that we could call, like an HR? Son, that's crazy, because we didn't do that. You did. No, no we did not. Swear, bro. This, this bro, is not it's not a coincidence that the ones without the stickers are Big Macs and the ones with the stickers not opened aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude. Well, I'm glad the Impossible Burgers yeah. died. Yeah. This is, so this is a Beast Burger. Fuck? Yeah, it looks oh, like it's been- Oh, actually looks bomb, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's been sitting around a little bit, but it looks good. I'm gonna take a bite right now, Go dude. for it. It's oh. not my fault if it's been sitting out for an hour. Mm. If it, Mm. Is there money in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm not gonna lie. That's fire. Let's it's got go. fries on it? Um that's fire. Hey, that's Chandler. So, so whoever's on our marketing team, make an ad of him saying that and just run it all over Instagram. <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> just target everyone within a hundred mile radius of this. Or anyone that goes to a show, just hit him with Instagram ads of him going, that's fire. <laughs> See how this guy thinks? That's fucking fire right there. What do you rate that? One out of ten. Burger burger review. Don't don't do that. No, do hit that. us, hit us. Yes. Honestly? <laughs> don't, 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 don't. <laughs> wait, wait. Honestly, 
Mm-hmm. Now, not honestly, dog. Like, don't be too honest. Look eyes while you're ready. I'm being mm-hmm. honest with you right now. Mm. This needs a little more sauce. Okay. Probably because it's been sitting around a little bit. It's dried up well, a little yeah, bit. Well, yeah, this, this, the version they ordered is the one with no sauce. Well, you don't need to throw it like that. <laughs> I am throwing it. That's the old package. They need to update it. They need to update that fucking yeah, packaging, Yeah, agreed. Right? Fuck that packaging. Agreed. So what's wrong with Angry Birds packaging? <laughs> Patty? Yeah? Excellent. Agreed. Patty is excellent. Dare I say the best you've ever had. For fast Ooh, food? Okay. Dude, I, I'm an in and out enthusiast. I, I feel is- the reten- retention. Is, you know, <laughs> just give us the rating so we can level it. Son, holy shit! <laughs> holy shit! That's a, that's a Mr. This Beast diss right there. Son, oh, it's just hey. not, it's how I'm wired. Retention, retention. Son, I can't son, just let a step video it up, bro. die. Son, <laughs> son, step I, it up, bro. Miles, the single, please. <laughs> One out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? I'll take it if it saves the oh, podcast. Oh, you did get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just hardwired. You can't spend a decade of your life studying how to go viral and how That's to get good. people to watch a video and yeah. then have it firebomb in front of your eyes and not like hurt your soul. Mm. Yeah. So you think about that with everything? Yeah, it would be like the same as if I started doing stand up there and it was just god awful. You would be like, I gotta like. What about during guy. sex? Do you ever be like, oh, the retention is <laughs> 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 Her retention's plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> She's starting to look around the room a little bit. Like, uh, Africa would be nice to be back right now. It's been more than three minutes. The retention is done. I think we got enough RPMs, right? Uh, so is there a collab burger or food product that we, the flagrant beast product? Oh, I want product. to make some money. Yeah, I know. Oh, my <laughs> God. Hey, is he the business guy? Don't do that, dog. Hey, are, are, are you the, the business guy? Yes, he's get, the business guy. Get the chain out. Get the chain out. I'm just thinking of ideas besides your stupid Big Mac joke. <laughs> Let's go. Ten out of ten. What's what the problem? What is the chain, dude? Just look at his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be a little subtle. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm okay. Saying, I don't want to make Tariq uncomfortable. <laughs> We're together now. Okay. Oh, yeah, Tariq was sitting there, and then Dove moved him out of the way. It was really oh. interesting how that happened. How strange. That Dove. is a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> Dove. <laughs> Uh, Sorry about that. Um, do you okay. feel attacked? Stuff? Stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you controlled the TV over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, yeah. so Jimmy gave you some advice on your channel. Yeah. Suck less. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what is uh? What's your advice for his channel? Oh, number one, uh, plane crash video. Very close to 9/11. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we did not upload in September. I was like, <laughs> the editors were like, they were like, you know, we might need more time. I was like, you don't have more time. <laughs> no. like, I was like, this is like, we're a couple days away from September. Like, <laughs> that's so funny. I feel like no one gives you advice on your channel, so this is gonna be a perfect. Oh, I get uh, tons of advice. Every time I upload, I get like forty phone calls from people telling me how it could be better. Is there what. somebody you watch that you still learn a lot from Ooh. on YouTube that you're like, oh, that guy, I could learn from. Uh, I mean everyone. Like even like anybody more than anyone else. Anybody oh, no, in particular. It, it changes. It's just like I just like watching random YouTube videos and like even like a homeless person on the street, you can learn something from like how to be more humble or what what it's like for someone who's struggling. So like if you apply that same mindset to videos, like every video you watch, there's something you can learn. Especially if it has a million views, like there's a reason it got a million views. Okay. I could give you the dumb dick joke answer, no. but like no. that's the answer. Alex didn't believe that you got buried. Oh, you didn't? No. Interesting. And he had a whole reason for why you didn't get buried. I kind of forgot. No, but it was a, it was you a don't cam- just forget your no, conspiracy theories. No, but it was the camera theories. angles like, <laughs> yeah, 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 right don't here. forget your conspiracy hey, look, theories. Look, look at this shit. Softy. This, was, this is the most viewed video. You're questioning my existence. Yeah, exactly. I'm just saying the camera angles made it seem as though <laughs> oh, you could have fixed it. I remember this. Whoa. No, these Whoa. are. And I think you're you're worth too much to take that risk. Uh, yeah, my mom was like crying when I filmed this video. I was like, Mom, I promise we did the math. Um, let me skip to over here to show you. There's a scene where the boys literally dig down and yeah, see that penis sign? Yeah. They literally dug down and put that there. Yeah. Uh, so, so you you could have planned. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, right here. All right. Oh, Carl. Wait, wait for the cut right here. Hold up. Look, you can literally see where they put the sign there and how deep it is underground. Or that could have just been shot at a different okay. time where Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. you just see a sign go there and Whoa. there's not so much Carl, he's on to us. What if like Tariq no, like, ran in here and was like, hey, Jimmy, I need you. And yeah, then like, yeah. like, we started <laughs> getting <laughs> really uncomfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, with this video specifically, okay? Yeah. Um, well, there's two I'm curious about. For the same reason, 
This is the, the one where you're in the the outdoor pool and you're under oh, underwater. Yeah. yeah, the thing. Bro, that was done like five years ago. This. Yeah, the headache. Yeah. Have you figured out what that was about? Yeah, it's because uh, I was an idiot back then, and the like we were pumping air in, but the uh, CO two or whatever the fuck you exhale, wasn't getting pumped out. Yeah, getting pumped out. Yeah. So, so you're just inhaling your own carbon. Monoxide yeah. And so then when that, I started getting yeah. a headache, I was like, oh shit. Dioxide. And then dioxide. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Carbon dioxide. So then we like called someone who knew what they're doing. They're like, yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, okay. And I just got out immediately. Okay. Yeah. And then when you're buried underground. So this is what we learned from it. So we had a pump that was. Pumping in air and pumping out the old air. What was the most catastrophic thought you had while you were completely buried? I uh, tried, there was a camera at my feet. Tariq could also talk about this too. Uh, and I went to like go adjust it and I couldn't. So I like literally turned around and I'm, you know, not super flexible. Oh, so I literally like oh, was going fuck. to turn. And so like I'm laying like this and as I'm like bending, I got caught like halfway. Oh, and I was God. like, fuck. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I was literally like, guys, if I can't get out of this in two seconds, you start digging right the fuck now. Because I was like caught in a super awkward position yeah. like in the thing. And I just was like, I'm going to give it one last try. And I just pushed as hard as I could. And I popped out the other end. Holy and then shit. I adjusted shit. the camera. And, and then, then you I had, had to, to get back. Exactly. Because now my, because it's like the thing got slimmer this way. Yeah. It was so uncomfortable on that side. Yeah. So then I had to do it again. And I almost got stuck again. Like what was going through your head when you were watching it? Mike, this was this was the first time he like panicked during the whole situation. Yeah, and when he I was panicked, my mind, we got really scared. So. And now, okay. did you calculate how much time it. it would take to excavate? Yeah, they knew that because uh, I mean, it was like they could get me out in under five minutes if I really needed to be. I okay. I started practicing with my hand on the tombstone. <laughs> Stretches. <laughs> that was that penis sign. I see you. I see you. <laughs> oh, this feels good. This feels real good. Yeah, so any of these other ones up here you think are fake? No, no I just thought that one. I think that's that's you counting to 100,000. Know, he set his sights on you. He's about to start shitting on you, Al. <laughs> <laughs> when you count I mean, to 100,000, he's like, like, I think your fucking shoes are fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are. I used to on purpose wear fake Yeezys, so subreddits would go crazy <laughs> exposing me, and I just didn't care, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever. That's so smart. And I, then I wore a fake Supreme shirt in a video. Same thing. Reddit just lost their mind. Oh, hilarious. And I just, I just love doing it to piss them off. I mean, it also <laughs> keeps you in the conversation even more, though. Yeah. No, it's just and funny to like watch them there. analyze yeah. the Fox logo and why it's right. not real. You also yeah. save money. You don't have to buy a $500 exactly. t-shirt. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still terrified about this buried alive. Dude, I'm, wow. in, I'm, I'm severely I'm claustrophobic. Wow. Oh, yeah. Severely claustrophobic. Well, so the nights before, I slept in a coffin in my garage to like get used to Oh, you prepared. Used to uh, yeah. yeah you know, this was in his emo phase, too. So you put a little easy. effort yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> so there's just this coffin in my cold-ass garage, and I just lay in it, close it, chill there for a couple hours. Do you like consult with people about this first? That one, David Blaine. Yeah, interesting. Because he did yeah. a week. Yeah. So I, I was going to do twenty four hours buried alive, and then I called David and I was like, "I'm going to bury myself for twenty four hours." And he's like, "That's it." And then I said, "All right, I'm doing it for fifty hours," <laughs> wow. and that's why it's fifty hours instead of twenty four. Yeah, but did you see his uh, dumbass balloon thing? Who is he to judge? I mean, that was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> what Whatever, with the balloon. Oh, he just flew in a balloon. It was yeah. like up. Or he whatever. held on to balloons, flew up, and then popped them, came down. Yeah, it was pretty cool, but. Yeah, that's so I, I had to double it because he just basically shot on my entire existence. I mean, we would have been fine right. if you did 24 hours. Just the, the buried alive thing. Like, if what you, if the, the, the oxygen tank malfunctioned? I couldn't handle being stuck in an yeah. elevator for 24 five seconds. Five minutes. I'm, there's enough oxygen in there for five minutes. Yeah, I guess you're right. We, we had, so we buried that coffin like five separate times. We had, you know, David Blaine consulting and a bunch of other people consulting. I was probably safer under there than I was above ground. I think that's what they told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know if that's true. And then, until <laughs> they start they dumping that. the yeah. dirt on like the glass and you realize right? it's like this much glass between you and just thousands of pounds yeah. of dirt, then it's like, well, fuck. Oh, yeah. that's right. If it even yeah. a little bit of a crack, did you hear any weird sounds that terrified I'm you? I'm sure I heard tons of stuff. Oh. Yeah. But we tried to keep it upbeat and not like I was super scared. So like in the video, I don't think we really put that kind of stuff did in. Did that but. help you get less scared knowing so many people are watching? The, if you get scared, it's kind of embarrassing, whatever. So that kind of blocks out that No, fear. that whole time I was just like, for the love of God, don't crack. Because I, I, all I did was stare up at that dirt. And so I just saw 6,000, 10,000, whatever, 1,000 pounds of dirt the whole time for like 50 hours straight. And it, it hurts like fuck. Like the bottom is just wood. So you're just like, that in and of itself is a challenge. Oh my you're just God. like laying on wood. It, was, wow. it wasn't fun. But, you know, 194 million views. Not that I'd, bad. I would do it again. Yeah. What was the worst one to do? Oh the my one God. you would never do again. Um, That's a great question. Let me flip through these. No, Buried Alive, I'd do again in a heartbeat. That wasn't like, in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't too crazy. 
Uh, 50 hours in solitary confinement don't seem that bad. That's no. Well, After you're no. married, that seems like a kind of a vacation. Yeah, until you have the fucking goofy goobers over here torturing you, and they won't <laughs> let me sleep or do anything. Oh, um, uh, okay. No, Carl, what, what's a hard one? There's one I, I say all the time, but I, I'm just drawing blank. Well, it's not counting. 24 hours in ice, maybe? Yes. I spent 24 hours in ice. That was miserable. I, I, you couldn't pay me to do that anymore. What do you mean? If we just built a house out of ice, and I just spent 24 hours in it. Were you wearing something that would... Like pants like this and like a short sleeve shirt. It was brutal. I was like shivering all night. It was one of those ones like 10 hours in, I was like, I'm too invested to quit. But current me wouldn't do it. That was like peak grind me where I was like, you know, I'll do things as long as, you know, I'm not putting my life in danger. Like, which we had. Many That's the whitest things. thing you've yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. White people really love not being cold. It's like a thing I've noticed with white people. <laughs> Walking yeah. around in the winter Wim with Hoff, shorts baby. on and bragging yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. That that's your whitest right there. <laughs> Sitting in ice for twenty four hours. Yeah, that's yeah. Big. That was brutal. How, how many views did that get? Uh, like hundred million. It kind of flopped. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what is a flop for you now? Um, a if a video doesn't get like fifty million views, it kind of sucks. So, but that's in <laughs> English, and then we dub them in other languages. I love this. Yeah, have you seen the Espanol channel? Yeah, yeah. You should do that. We yeah yeah yeah. 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 So that yeah. one's been crushing. We just yeah. hit 20 million. And it's, you know what's weird is I bet people already were doing that for your videos. Yeah, they were. Especially in like yeah. Japan for some reason. Yeah. People used to upload their videos like crazy and they get millions of views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then that's why we just started doing it. But or, the way that you guys do it is smart where you get the actors that are known. The Exactly. Yeah, well, there's yeah. a huge secondary market for Mr. Beast videos. So like yeah. we'd come up with an original idea. Whatever. Like, I don't know. Press this button, win 100 grand. And then the next day you'd see people on Spanish-speaking communities, Japan, uh, Russia, all over the world do the exact same video. So part of this as well, like everyone would just rip off our videos around the world because uh, and that, yeah, that yeah. was like a huge strategy. Like people in all these countries are just see who can copy our English videos first in their country. And now that we do this, like the rate of that has decreased a mm, lot. Wow. That's, I That's wonder the if fake people, Supreme t-shirt of exactly. YouTube videos. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If people do that with our standup. Oh, I 100% wonder, they do. Guarantee you. There was a comic, I'll leave his name out, but... um. It was like huge in France, and apparently he was just using Seinfeld's material. <laughs> like he, he was just, I, you know, what I'm talking about. Oh, but yeah. uh, I'll tell you after. And I think he was I just might. like using Seinfeld's material, and then they became friends. Really? Yeah. Seinfeld is such a fucking maniac. He was like, this guy's got great taste. <laughs> like if he's gonna, if he's gonna steal something, he steals from the best. And then they get, became buddies. But he was like a huge comic there. We How should, crazy is that? I've never heard Seinfeld. <laughs> I love that's you, Doc. <laughs> no, no, no. I love you, dude. You, that's we? the best thing you've said on this whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who he is even? Well, I know because you got Tariq talks about comedians all the time. Yeah, but si but you but whatever, right? No. He's a non factor, right? Like <laughs> like explain like to me like, <laughs> like a non factor. I'm pretty sure he's in um he has a show. That's that's all I know. Yo, this or no. is great. No, no, so. but no, 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 no he no, does. No. I know you're fucking with me, but no, I no, just no, no, no. you don't know how much he hates Seinfeld. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't hate him, but I just think he's whatever. But the fact that <laughs> the fact that you don't even know, keep going about this, like talk me through this. Like, what are you well, feeling now emotionally? Time. Retention through the roof, right? <laughs> this, 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 <laughs> is this is a This is this is going okay. Go. Yeah, just like yeah. Drake talks about him, and that's about it. But he has a show, or like, what is his thing? Like, what isn't it? I mean, now oh, I'm going to sound dumb. Isn't it like Better Call Saul or something like that? Or no, yes. No, no. yes, 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 yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The show's yeah, called Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah. The show's called Seinfeld. Oh, then yeah, yeah. Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what is, wait, the show is shit. Seinfeld. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. But that's okay. Is that I a want, newer show or is that oh, before my time? Back in the no, day. no, no. His, no, his, his okay. show is actually called Breaking Bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. But go on, go on, go on. But yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop here. I'm making a. No, Andrew, I need you to ask him about movies. He's never seen an entire movie in his. One movie in his entire life. Thank he just you. has them. I grew Thank up you. on I grew up on YouTube. <laughs> this guy's never seen movies either. Let's he he was go. allowed hey, to this see is why movies. He's a guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's fact. You, hey, you want him not to watch movies. No, no, but but it, it was because he was homeschooled. This is different with you, right? Uh yeah. Were you I homeschooled? Just, I, no, I just thought it was a waste. Did time. you have chicken pox as a kid? Chicken oh pox. my gosh. Probably. <laughs> you did. I just had shingles like a couple months ago. So Let's that means you had chicken pox. Chicken pox shingles means you've had chicken pox. It's the same virus, though. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Yes. Mark just had chicken pox at the ripe age of twenty five. You had shingles. Who are you to talk? What are you yeah. talking about? We're I on know. the same team here. I have here. a compromised immune system. I know. Same, same. same. Wait, for oh, what? Oh, really? No. He has Crohn's. Crohn's. Oh, you got Crohn's? Yeah. yeah. Can you eat your burgers? Uh, yeah, yeah, those are fine. It's mostly just, 
I don't know. I'm just so heavily medicated. It's like in remission right now. But if I wasn't on medicine, it would be different. Oh, what type of meds? Uh, Remicade. I Remicade. Mean, not fire. that anyone knows what that fire. is. You ever fire do a Remicade fire. at a party one time? No, but if you ever tried a Tesla ecstasy pill, because okay. that's fucking Jesus. amazing. <laughs> Are you public about doing drugs? Dude, love them. Love yeah. drugs. <laughs> Literally, I was like, yeah, I'm on my way over. He's like, is it like an ex- et- what is it? Ecstasy? Ecstasy. 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 That's where people make like, like, cute drugs. Yeah. I'm a Christian boy. I don't do drugs. He's yeah. like, okay, okay. I, but I didn't know if you were fucking with me or not because, like, you'd also like he's going back and forth with like being very sarcastic and then like very serious in the text. So I have no, no fucking clue. We've yeah, never spoken on the phone before at all. And like, so we're on the phone. With, we're on the group text with Tarek, and he's like, "Listen, we need to kick Tarek out of the room immediately after he comes here." I go, "Okay, that's fine." And then he messaged me on the side. He goes. I would like to talk to you privately. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the joke was that Tariq just loves you guys. And so I was, all that stupid shit I was saying in there was to embarrass him. Because ah. <laughs> so he's like cringing in the back of the car and I could see him in the rear view mirror. So I just say some dumb shit to you like, yeah, I, uh, I don't fucking care or whatever. And then I just look back and he's just like, <laughs> Hey, oh, hey, you you're a good guy, dude. Insane. Tariq, you're a good guy. Hey, thank you. Thank and you. we're going to pronounce your name right every yeah. single time. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Appreciate uh, you guys. Appreciate you. 100%. You, you are a good Christian boy though is it true that your old youtube banner used to be like a bible verse it did i used to go to a christian school back in the day oh yeah but now it's like it's just kind of hard to tell what's right or what's wrong like yeah. religion wise there's so many and i don't know i believe there is some kind of god but yeah. how do you know Tari. damn mark just got so Tari. sad you're not gonna be hindu though you know you what are, I mean? hey hey no. hey you are a good christian boy aren't you <laughs> i know right hey, I'm just hey you, you do we have a lot you of comments he's like i don't believe that stupid <laughs> shit anymore <laughs> 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 yeah. he was devastated because yeah, he's broken, such a dude. fucking catholic yeah. oh really he really <laughs> yeah. oh is that why you donate to a catholic church yeah 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 he bullies you no he calls that my paycheck that's what it is yeah 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 <laughs> he gives me money. Hey, hey I have his revenue up here. I mean, he could probably make some more donations. I think yeah, so. We right? Make some donations, <laughs> right? But for real, so so, have your feelings changed since Tarek's been around, or like, has he, <laughs> are you expanding the caliph? Oh my gosh, no. Jesus! <laughs> it, it is admirable to see how devoted he is, though. So. Yes. Like he doesn't, he doesn't drink, he doesn't do anything. He, he's actually, he's not one of those people that just preach it. He actually follows it. Talk so about my boy. sometimes it does make me go like, damn. Like, there's something there. Like, he really cares a lot, you know? <laughs> it's easier to be like, ah! I'm like this Catholic. Another one bites this dust. Another one bites this We're busy guys, okay? Five yeah. times a day? You're right. not going to do that. Hey, he you know gets I mean? his five in. He gets wow. it in. Wow. I'm just saying. I try. Respect. I try. It's hard. Respect. I respect. I'm just respect. saying. This um, guy. Titanic, have you seen it? No. I haven't seen it at all. Wasn't that before I was born? <laughs> Was it not? Well, it sank before you were born. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but the yeah. movie is. Yeah. It? God, yes, it was. What yeah, was okay. Born? So, like, what? Fucking do I go Transformers back? 3? What do you want me to say? I'm trying <laughs> to go through, like, the big famous movies. Yeah, yeah. You I, never had any interest in, like, understanding they're what? They're just a waste of time. Bro, I, before I was 18, I didn't even listen to music because I was like, this is a waste of time. I should watch more YouTube. What? Because are you I'm, like a, I'm an idiot. Are you like a, I'm not even, are you like on a spectrum of some kind? <laughs> Probably a little bit. I've never gotten tested. But it's just like, if you want to make great YouTube videos, yeah, yeah. you just watch YouTube You got to be a little retarded. So like a two hour movie, you could watch like 20 YouTube videos and you'd get exponentially smarter doing that, you know? Mark just Wikipedia's movies so he knows what happens and then uses oh, quotes yeah, from them. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I actually thought about paying someone to like just give me a synopsis of all the biggest movies because like I have never watched Harry Potter or Star Wars or any of it. And the amount of times in my life people just, you know, are like, what? You've never seen it? Yeah. It, like it's, it used to be funny. Now it's getting to the point where it's like. It's kind of sad. So you didn't even watch annoying. Squid Game? Uh, no, that I did watch before we filmed it. Of course. And then after watching it, were you like, wow, this is fun. Like, <laughs> yeah, we should recreate it. <laughs> but in, in general, we're like, whoa, like TV shows are cool. I, there maybe, is a yeah. feeling you can get from a long form I'm series not, that's really see, good. This is the thing where people misconstrue. I don't think movies are bad. Yeah. I just think I want to be the greatest YouTuber to ever live. And so like, I should just focus on my thing. You I know think you've I mean? achieved that already. Uh, yeah, which is why now I do watch a little bit more movies. Let me ask you that about being the greatest YouTube ever. What's next? Because I was listening to your Rogan, and I yeah. swear to God, I thought this guy should be president. Oh, is that? I know. I'll say that'd be fun. Is that something you've thought about? Yeah, the only thing political is, aspirations. Um, uh, yeah, I I would love to. I just feel like you have to do a lot of politics leading up to it. And mm. I don't know, like if you could just go from. You know, no one ever has done this, just being a celebrity to just being president. <laughs> that would be great. But if I have to, like, work my way up and be, like, a mayor and nah, then, like, a nah. senator. I think we've realized you don't have to. 
Yeah, yeah, well, then it is appealing. Yeah, when I'm like 40 or 50. Really? Like that. Yeah, that'd be, bro. Tell, if I'm I was telling a, you, if I, I was sense a, it. if I was a billionaire and I just gave away all my money, and I was like, I can't be bought. I just gave away every penny. I have well, literally zero dollars in my bank account. Vote for me. I feel like that's a pretty good campaign thing. Like you're voting for me. Yeah. I like I have 10 billion dollars. Give away every penny. Can't be bought because I, you know, I gave away all my money, and then I just do what's best for people. And I like this. Yeah, and just ignore lobbyists or whatever. I like, but you need to keep money in order to ignore the lobbyists because otherwise. No, I give it money. all away, and we're good. Well, there's freedom in Bro, having money. I get money. 400 grand a year as president. I'm good. Oh, yeah, you can live off that yeah, 100%. and the taxpayers. They yeah. Dude, I like this. I think that— oh, I agree. I think if I wanted to, I could— 24 right now? Yeah, so— You think if you okay, go? Yeah, it'd be like three more cycles. But I wouldn't do—I'd probably do it in oh, my mid-40s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think like— <laughs> Three more cycles. I think I, I could like, make it interesting enough where I could win. Okay, well, how? Well, give away all my money and just like, you know— I know how to get people's attention. You know? yeah, 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 I'm like, yeah. I can't say too much because then I'll regret it in the future. I'm like, yeah, I'll just trick all the fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what Trump said. <laughs> Trump said okay. that word for word. Okay. <laughs> what, 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 so, and, and and before you do that, Pornhub, would you take over that? Oh my god! I would like to do the thumbnails. I feel like I, could, I, feel like I could really crush it, and you know, get, just boost the CTR. Yeah. No, here's an actual more saturation. Question. Yeah. You said uh, about YouTube early on in the interview. You said this is what I'm going to do for the next ten years of my life. You have it's ten years you're doing YouTube, and then what? You said a very specific number. Yeah. Um. Well. I don't know. It just kind of depends how things go. Like if we have thousands of Beast Burgers and Feastables goes well and we start a mobile game company and other stuff like that. I don't know. There might just be a world where I run those companies. I, yeah, it's just, we'll just see. What, right do you like, what do you like better? You like creating or running the companies? I love creating and I also, it's weird. I like both. But you like, like running the companies. Yeah, I do. It's a lot of fun. It's like being like, it's much easier to run a burger joint than to have to like break the internet every yeah. week. You know what I mean? Or to run feastables. You yeah. know what I mean? Because you just get a kick-ass team and you just kind of like point them in the right direction. Yeah. Whereas like this is like I gotta do just crazy shit that's never all been thought time. of, and it's a coin flip, and you don't even really know if people will care. Yeah. You gotta do that every week, and it's all gotta be me. Yeah. All sitting around me every week forever. Yeah. Um. But I enjoy both. I think like. Yeah. Um. Like we just opened up our first physical beast burger, which is crushing it. Um, but that one's doing like 30,000 a day right now. Wow. And then Feastables is in every Walmart now, and that's crushing it. So it's, it's interesting. I, I'm so impressed by your ability to scale. I think yeah. that's the toughest thing for a creator. Scale. like Scale your business. So like hire a team, train that team yes. to do those roles so that you can create more time for yourself. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's like an unbelievably difficult thing. Like for me, I find it incredibly difficult. I often find like I'm the bottleneck for the things that we're doing. 100%. Yeah. And that's not to say that all these guys aren't unbelievably talented and better than me at every single thing that they do. Yeah. But a lot of times it might come down to a decision I have to make and then all of a sudden we're limited in our output. 100%. And yeah, I'm just like. The way you should see it in, yeah. is like, you know, if hypothetically like for creating content, you have like the making the video happen, the production, the editing, camera work or whatever, writing stuff, like even if you split your time evenly, you can only put 25% of your time to each, whereas like an editor can put 100% of their time into it. Yeah. So like even if they're the same skill level as you, they're just going to shit on you because they have more time. Yeah. Same with the camera guy or writer or whatever. Yeah. And so I think that's where a lot of people just don't realize. Like they're like, well, this person isn't as great as me or I can make better decisions. Yeah, but you know, 25% is generous. So you can probably spend like 10, 20 times more time than you can doing it. Yeah. And so due to the sheer extra time, they're going to shit on you at that job. or they Shit just on suck. you means just do it way better. Just do it better because yeah, they yeah, have yeah. more time. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. if I had to edit a video, you know, I'd just, I'd have to put in literally one one hundredth the amount of time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they should be able to do better. Tariq should be a better cameraman than me because he could study it 30,000 times more than me. Now, <clears throat> did you find initially, I think this was our issue as we were starting to grow and we've tried to rectify a bit, but like, uh, that you were hiring people who could do a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. When did you start getting specific in your hires? Um, almost right away. That's smart. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I feel like what we did is like everybody did a little of everything and oh, then yeah. it's hard oh. to fucking scale because yeah. we're all yep. doing a little we're of everything. We're trying to pay less yeah. salary, quite frankly. Oh, really? I mean, <laughs> one guy you can hire to do everything. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not a chief skate. <laughs> oh, did you hear no, he beat Netflix with this special? <laughs> so, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you immediately knew you're like, okay, I just need these guys' camera, these guys' editing, etc. Yeah, 100. percent Yeah, because you wouldn't hire a guy that bops your floors to edit a video, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we didn't do that. <laughs> we didn't do that. But we got the guys to edit to mop the floors. It was the <laughs> other way. You understand? Actually, literally. Yeah, literally. Yeah, that's the other kind way. Kind of how it works. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, no. 
Yeah, it is crazy. Thanks, like, because our main channel's killing it, the gaming channel's killing it. All it's it's yeah. wild. What honestly. part of the process makes you the most like gives you the most dopamine? Uploading oh, one hundred percent. Uploading the video, seeing yeah. like the real time in like the first five hours, it gets like five million views. Yeah. It feels so great. That's my favorite. I always tell them my my favorite part great. of the day. Yeah. We drop an episode or like we drop a clip. I go to the gym right when it drops. <laughs> yeah, and oh, shit. I'm yeah. working out, listening to tribal music, watch like just refreshing YouTube <laughs> yeah. studio, and then you see it hit one, and you're like, oh. Well, what's that <laughs> drug earlier? I imagine that's what it feels like. Oh, Tesla. It's uh, the closest ecstasy. thing. It's ecstasy. the closest thing. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. fun. Exactly. That's yeah. that's my version of drugs. Yeah. yeah. But he still said Tesla was better because he said that's the closest thing well yeah I, I mean Tesla. opposed to like artificially implanting your brains with chemicals yeah the closest Just thing saying. Is like the the, the artificial time. hunt. You know what I mean? That's what it is. Yeah, seeing the number just go up minute over minute. Yeah, feels I'm, great. I'm back in the jungle. I'm yeah. working out. I'm, <laughs> I'm running. I'm on the treadmill trying to get the food, and all of a sudden the views go up. Ugh. The best. Best thing yeah. ever. Now, is it equally painful if it doesn't do well? No. At this point, it's Are you, like, you're like unattached to yeah, very negative unattached. Ac- you, outcomes. You just look, well, because why? What me getting depressed doesn't do anything. You just <laughs> look at it. Could should we change the thumbnail? Change it, doesn't work better. Okay, look at the retention graph. Why did it do bad? Take some notes, move on. You yeah. know what I mean? Like being super emotional over it doesn't really do but anything. But it's, it's it's usually uh, which I used to be. Yeah. Like if I had a bad video, you would know. Yeah. Like I'm like I would literally like cry. You know, yeah. Yeah. especially when like I was betting the farm on every video. Like that's it, huge. You know, then it was like fuck. Like uh, you know, I can't pay Tariq if this doesn't do well. <laughs> Wait, did you ever have have a week like that? Uh, yeah, but I would just take out a loan, and then the next week I'd be all right. We're gonna spend a little less, guys. Um, but now that we're like not as reckless, it's yeah. like yeah, it's a lot easier to not care as much. So you took out a loan to make the next video. So yeah, you we went did like uh, yeah. There was one month where I had to take out like a two hundred thousand dollar loan because we were just like <laughs> we were just spending, against like, what your house or something like that. Uh, well, the way it works is you make money, but it like sometimes like a brand. If so, if I did a brand deal for fucking Lord's Mobile, yeah. like sometimes they don't pay you for ninety days. So it's uh, like so you had money coming in. Yeah, it's like hey, they gotcha. they owe me like two hundred grand, but. I don't fucking know when it's gonna get here. Yeah, I'm. You know, I gotta keep spending money. I'm a goddamn DJ. Like we gotta keep making videos, and so I'll pay you back. Yeah. So a lot of moments like that. Mm. You, I'm just wondering. Sorry, go. Do you still have moments like that? Uh, not as much. No, because now that we're they spending still like millions a month, it's like that. That's a little too risky because I have hundreds of employees. Right. So I can't. It's a lot easier to bet Tariq's job than hundreds of people's with family jobs. You know what I mean? Now <laughs> you don't know every single person that works for you. Just gonna ask. This. Um, in which company? In all of them together. <laughs> like, no. Right? Of course, right? <laughs> like, I don't know the guy who's like packaging feastful bars or whatever. Of course. Got yeah. you, got you. Do you make an effort to connect with every person that is a full time employee? Well, that, it just depends. Like, yeah. Beast Burger, we just hired 40 people for our restaurant. Like, you know, it's hard and to it's do like that. hours yeah. away. We're going to go open other ones that I might never even visit. You know what I mean? So, but on the main channel, of course. Yeah. People who are help making my baby, 100%. Yeah. So everybody who's making the creative decisions with you, you know, because they have to. Because like right. the channel is just an outlet of what I think is entertaining. So if they don't really have much interaction with me, then then it's hard for them to make those fuck. decisions. Yeah. Fuck. And is it true that you train somebody to essentially be you? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. And yeah. where is that person? The CEO. He just runs like the hiring and basically while I'm here just having fun. He's what is it Monday? He's over there working. How did you know he was the guy to be you? Because you um, are, I don't know if you're fucking, aware. He's a lunatic. You are a historically impressive human being. Thank you. I don't know if you're aware like of this. You. I agree. But no, you should, yeah, no, good. I, 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 I had a feeling you know this. Yeah. But uh, how do you find somebody that you're like, no, that guy is special, just he, like I'm special. The big things are, are you coachable? Do you see the value? And like, do you believe in what I believe in? Like, those are like the three things where if someone has those traits, are, and are you obsessive, those four traits, then usually mm. in the long run, you'll work out. Like if someone's skill set's here, and they're like growing like this, and then you meet someone here, but they're coachable, they see the value, they're obsessive. After a year, their skill set's gonna be up here, and this guy's gonna be here. Obsessive so, is big. Yeah, so it's like people who are willing to just like follow me around for six months, learn. They they think we're gonna be the biggest YouTube channel in the world, which isn't really a problem anymore. But like, remember Tariq when I used to pull you guys in a room? I'd be like, give me three years, I swear to God. And they'd be like, you're fucking crazy. Um, yeah, he used to literally when I first worked there, it was like what, 10 million? Remember the whiteboard session? Yes. I would be like, this is you. This is your house. This is whatever car. Make it a fucking Lamborghini. Just if you're here in three years, this is you. And I would like yeah. do that. And they'd just say, like, what is wrong with you? And now that <laughs> three years have passed, how do you keep kicking the can down the yeah, road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three more. Just give me three more. No, they're good. Tariq's rich. Um, <laughs> Tariq's rich. But um, yeah, so it's like people who possess those traits always do well. 
Um, and so he was all those things. He just lived with me for a couple of years. We like literally we would wow. we'd work, we would talk until three AM, get up six hours later, do it. And after two years, it was great. And this is by design. You're like, you live with me and Oh yeah. This beds bedroom side by side. When did you get this idea? And where did it come from? Because if we weren't talking at all times, we'd just go bankrupt. (laughs) Oh, no, no. I mean, like, where did you get the idea, I need a clone of me? Well, it just kind of happened. Okay, this is natural. We just naturally, we were working and working and working, and it was like, well, we don't want to just stay in our shitty little tiny studio we had at the time 24-7, so just live with me. And then we lived together, and we're just inseparable. And so for like two years, every morning, all day, every night, we were just So this organically happened. Okay, good. I thought that that you plotted this, and you're like, I need to create No, but now I want to do it again. I just bought a new house, and we're moving uh, all the their heads of the company in so they can get more like time with me. Because wow. at the end of the day, the more that they know you, the, the better they'll do. The yeah, because like these videos are, yeah. are literally just like my creative extension. Like if I show up and I don't like it or something's off, then we just scrap it. Doesn't matter how much we spent. Is there a time where the Mr. Beast channel is running and you're just not in the videos? Oh, fuck no. Yeah, no. you always got to be there. Yeah, 100%. Okay. And how sure are you of every little piece? I know you're particular, but like once you're in the edit, how confident are you like, oh, this intro has to be like this? Or are you still kind of doing gambles? You're like, eh, I'm not really sure. It's weird. What My threshold has always been, do I find it entertaining and do I watch it? It's And so, which this, this is going to sound dumb, but I've just spent so many years just studying what does well. And I've seen so many hundreds of thousands of videos probably at this point because I don't watch movies and I don't, didn't even listen to music till I was like fucking 20 years old. I would just obsess, study retention charts. You know, we'd scrape a million videos, see where the dip is. Like I know everything. Like if you pee, like how it hurts retention, if you sneeze, like all that kind of stuff. And so I've just like, my brain has just been programmed to like just know I don't know. It just comes secondhand. Like I can just tell you, no retention is going to drop there. If we you should pee, probably, yeah, peeing hurts retention. For it's a turnoff for some people, people. Just don't like to hear it. Uh, well, just in some cultures, it's not as accepted as that America. Mean, that makes so. yeah. You're saying that like it's weird. Uh, sneezing, <laughs> yeah. it's just like it doesn't progress the story. It's kind of like anything where like the story comes to a halt without a reason, just kind of hurts retention. Mm. So, and, like all those things just are second nature to me at this point. Yeah. So I just watch a video, and I don't know. My brain just goes. Alert, alert. And then I just pause it. And I'm like, something was wrong here. Just fix it. How much have you studied story in general? A lot more than I should. That, I mean, that's my whole life. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess like, you know, when you talk about optimizing an intro and hooking people, that is essentially story. Yeah. So like probably 30, 40,000 hours of my life. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like I even look at that with like stand up, the things that we remember, like the most iconic jokes, a lot of times they're not necessarily just premises, but they're stories that a comic told. Yep. And there's just something about humans that we are drawn to story. Maybe our brains organize information in that way. Yeah. I know you said and, something. And it's stories like, you can tell again. Yeah. Like yeah, stories yeah. you can, you want to relive. Well, like machine, if you do yeah. a stunt, yeah. oh, I exploded in an airplane. It's like, okay, that's I, that's cool to see once. But once there's a story where it's like, I can, that kid lived in a, in a place and I was about to, to bring fiance. up the same fucking video. Like that arc, you can watch a million times because you're not, yeah. I'm not watching something happen. You're yeah. telling me something about myself. Yeah. It was, that video was great. It kept flipping, it kept misdirecting, it kept misdirecting. You know what's funny? For that video, we had someone else lined up and we we were like, hey, quarantine before this video. This was when COVID was a little bit more of a thing. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. It would suck if you get COVID. Shows up to set that day. What the fuck? And he's like, I haven't seen a human in like three weeks. I'm good. They test him, positive. No. And we were like... Come on, dude. <laughs> you just blew your shot. <laughs> and so then that guy in that video is actually my editor because I was like. He killed it. Yeah. He was, was great. So it was literally guitar, like yeah. last minute. I was like, anyone want to do this? And then Josh, my editor, is like, I'll do it. And oh, so we just threw him the in there. Proposal. And None of that was, just, was, we didn't even know Josh was doing it until like an hour before he it went It was in. so perfect as far as story goes. I was like, they had to have scripted. I swear to God, we didn't. In that we had so, so the reason there's an astronaut blanket and astronaut stuff everywhere is because the other guy was an astronaut <laughs> and he was going to use the money for astronaut school. And so that was, that oh, was going to be our God. story. It was like, you know, we're practicing for you in space. That yeah. was the whole theme. We're practicing for an astronaut in space. And then the day before, he's just like, yeah, I haven't seen a human in three weeks. <laughs> okay. But, but I got COVID somehow. <laughs> okay, this is really interesting to me. So, so story, can you break down specifically what it is humans want, need, or interested by? It's infinite. There's so many different ways you could tell a great story. But is there, is there like a specific way it needs to start? Is there some sort of stimulus that needs to happen? No. Like, really, so it... Not, they're just like, you can look. I mean, literally billions of videos have gone viral on YouTube. And there's like, yeah, I mean, there are certain things like you hook them at the start, but how you hook them is 
it's whatever. I mean, culture, there's different things, whatever's relevant at the time. Like, different things would hook him than him. You know what I mean? Like, right. a, a Catholic joke or something would get him watching, but I might not understand. It's like literally infinite, you know? <laughs> right, 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 right. So, I just wonder if there's some sort of structure that we're drawn to. Like, because the seen- only structure is really at the start of the video, you got to get them interested and get them watching. And then basically, I mean, it sounds obvious, but just don't have any moments where you veer off story unless there's a really good reason and just end it really quickly. Like, those are the only things that are constant and then how you do those are really up to you. End it really quickly. Yeah. Meaning the entirety of the video is quick. Like, or if you're just like, the- thank you for coming out to the podcast, they're clicking off. And then, and so ah. as you're saying that, I go, no. Thank you all for coming out to the podcast. And then we do that for like a minute. You're just like nuking your attention. People yeah, are already gone. Uh, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah, in a vi- yeah. like in Buried Alive, if at like the 49 hour mark, I'm like, guys, this was a great video. They- they're clicking off. And then I go back to another story. So the second you wind a story down, end it. Like Boom. quickly. Yeah. On YouTube. On movies, obviously you get more lead way. Do you think you could apply this to a Hollywood film? Yeah. Like, do you have any interest in that? Oh yeah, 100%. I want to make a movie. Are you aware yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. of the fact that you are destroying Hollywood? <laughs> Almost single-handedly. <laughs> attention. I don't like. Obviously, there are great films out there. So it's like it's not like I think they're all terrible, but just a lot of times there are parts that are boring. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you know, no, we I got mean, a two X V. You to me, you're like a threat to Hollywood studios. What you're doing is like a completely different thing that fucks their whole model. Maybe I, don't know. I think I think they should just pay me money to promote their movies. Oh. Yeah. That's a sick idea. <laughs> yeah. We're working I mean, on it. After what happened with Squid Game, why is every single movie not asking? If they did it the reverse, imagine yeah. if the video came out and then Squid Game, because you got more views than the actual Squid Game. Yeah, but Netflix <laughs> has subscribers, yeah. Yeah, like imagine yeah. that video came then out Netflix has and then Squid Game on Netflix came I know, out. I agree. I 100% agree. I think like people are coming around and yeah. it's getting there. It's like, yeah. it's weird how slow it is. They still would rather like, Buy a Orange Bowl commercial, <laughs> then, then a YouTube yeah. video, and it's like, how many people are even watching this football game? I don't, Nobody. you know, like, well, I mean, it's probably like four or five million, but is it probably? Yeah, it's like every old person home, they just leave the TV on. That's the what, well, and, and they're opening up TikTok and commercials. I agree, like, yeah. you know, it's low. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Whereas this one, it's like, it's literally the equivalent of you getting a football commercial and Tom Brady in the middle of the game going, pause, let me tell you <laughs> yeah. about experience today. Yeah. And he's just rambling for a yeah. minute straight. All right, you got experience? Yeah. Okay, hike the fucking ball. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Like, whereas on commercials, on TV, they're like, okay, go ahead and pick up your phone right now. Go open TikTok. We'll yeah. see you in two minutes. We're going to bore the shit out of you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, you know, and on YouTube, that's what you get. So it's like, it's more eyeballs. And it's like the person you're there watching. It's just This great. is an age thing. I remember when I was. I, I don't was, even know, like, if it's an age thing. No, anymore. no, I'm, I'm telling you. I, I, I realized this. I was at my cousin's house and my, uh, my cousin's kid, whatever that is to me, second cousin or something like that. <laughs> he was like seven years old. And I asked him to turn on the game. Yeah. And. He goes, uh, I go, it's on uh, ABC. I remember this. I was there. Goes, no, yeah, yeah, you were in D.C. He goes, uh, I go, it's on ABC. And he goes, uh, what channel is that? And in that moment, I was like, TV's done. Oh, I, yeah, I wouldn't even be I actually don't know what channel ABC is. is okay, so ABC, ABC is, there's like a few channels we just all knew growing up. Yeah. Is okay. that like channel one? It, it's it's in the first 10, I know Basically, that. there's like, there was like seven channels that every TV Fox, just had. Fox, CBS, you had NBC. Gotcha, okay, that makes sense. NBC, ABC, CBS, gotcha, gotcha. exactly. And that it was, was one of those four. channels. You're, you're our age. No, for, you I'm, no, I'm 38 I'm years 30 old. Oh, well. shit, I think you said 28. Holy fuck. That's a compliment, though. That's a compliment. Oh, shit. So, I'm watching this happen, and I'm like, oh, TV's uh, done. It's over. There's no way. They doesn't even have a chance because the youth's yeah. not watching it. So you're going into this as somebody who had no value in TV. Yeah. These brands meant nothing to you. MTV Worthless. means nothing, right? All these yeah. things. They, I mean, maybe HBO or like Netflix do based on like certain shows that they have that are popular. But outside of that, the brand isn't as valuable because you're seeing all the views on YouTube. Older people are finding YouTube still. Crazy. I know. Yeah. So like... When these young people look at you, they go, oh my God, that's a star on the only thing I watch. Yeah. Whereas my mom goes, oh, YouTube, that's kind of like uh, MTV or like ABC. And it makes perfect it's sense. It's like poor TV. Well, the most like, uh, the best encapsulation of that moment was one time I was filming for Shark Week or whatever. I don't remember why, but I was with the host of the show, like the shark guy. Mm-hmm. I didn't really know who he was, but he was really cool, super fun. And we see a dad and a kid, they're walking this way and they both like, light up 
And the dad goes up to him and it's like, holy shit, I love your Discovery show. And the little kid comes over and it's like, holy shit, I love you, Mr. Beast. Uh, that's funny. And that, me and him both looked at each other and we were like, that just sums that's up it. America right now perfectly. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. It. And it's going to flip. It's already flipping. Okay, give it I mean, some time. The, my mom the old people only die watches off. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Not only do old people die, it's, what's happening is like, is that's it why nobody? you love COVID. He was exactly. like, finally, finally, finally. My market penetration went up. <laughs> But it is, it is just crazy, yeah. I remember there was some interview that you were doing where you were like, I'm just all in on YouTube. That's that all is you should where I was Rogan. Yeah. Was it Rogan? It's every interview. I sound like a broken record. But. No, but but you have to you have to you have to say it, man. It's it's so true. It's like this is the spot. This is the the place that does the marketing for you. I tell comics all the time. I'm like, if the bit is good, it will find the audience for the 100%. bit. One hundred percent. Netflix can't do that. For Even you? if it's not yeah. done well. <laughs> like, think, about, not. think about your early content. Yeah. Like, it was like the, thumbnail trash. It was filmed. Title the, nothing. Yeah. Seven twenty. One shot. Yeah. But it was the only stand-up on YouTube. And the bit was so solid. What I see and you all bits. over TikTok. You're all, all over my Shout Shifty. Shifty yeah. has been go. killing on the yeah. TikTok. But it's like, yeah, when we were first doing it, we were just putting things up. And it was so, like, new and novel. And I had this feeling, I'm sure that it was something that you were already doing. But, like, I was like, oh, wow, this is where the people are. They love stand-up. And we could do a type of stand-up that you couldn't do on TV. You could be way edgier really? on YouTube because there was no rules back in the day. Now there's fucking rules, oh, right? I was about to say, I don't know. No, because back, this today. was before the fucking, uh, you know, there was- Adpocalypse. Like, yeah, exactly. Gotcha, they were gotcha. putting like a Charmin ads on like uh, beheading videos from ISIS or something like yeah. that, right? And then the ad tires freaked out. Yeah. Before that, you could say whatever the fuck you wanted. So you're getting like the real raw comedy that yeah, I've been like working on forever. Yeah, you're getting like 3X this number here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Different yeah. time. Fucking ISIS, bro. Yeah, dude. Ruins it for everybody. That's the worst thing those guys did. Yeah, yeah. nothing yeah. worse. Yeah, they ruined our ad. <laughs> I hate those guys. Uh, now you talked about there was a group of like YouTubers that you came up with that you guys all like shared advice with yep. early on, and then you kind of stopped. Yeah. What happened to those guys? Oh boy. So yeah, the story is when I had 10,000 subscribers, I met four other people with 10,000 subscribers, and we just talked every day for a thousand days in a row. Uh, I don't know who to look at. Why do you guys all go on different sides? Because <laughs> you're the center of attention. Yeah, but it's like I got to look back and forth. But um, <laughs> it, I don't know. Is it whatever? It's a he's, lot of fuss right here. Yeah, yeah there we go. Now I feel like we're about to yeah, make yeah. out. He's fully <laughs> Asperger. Yeah. He's right here. No, the okay. Beast Burger is Asperger. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good. But regardless, um, yeah. so we started talking every day and we just nerd out and shit on each other. And we all started blowing up. We all hit a million subscribers like a year later. We we were crushing it, and then the reason we fell off, which is what he just asked, is one of them he started doing acid, and he had a really bad trip, and like thought the devil was like cutting his arm off, yeah. and it was regrowing, and it would never end. So he, he, you know, it was it was bad. So, but he's good. He went to rehab, and then another one went back to high school of all things. Um, went back to high school. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> and then uh, another one left the group to go become a pro Fortnite player and it didn't work out. And it was just like, it was sad because we were all on this crazy growth trajectory and we were all like, went from making like a hundred bucks a month to like a hundred thousand. And then I just kept going and they all just got bored and whatever, just found reasons wow. to self-destruct. And Fucking do you keep in touch idiots. with them? Do they ever hit you up? Like, hey, can you help no, me? No, not with really. That? Anymore. Really? Was, uh, one of them does. Who's crushing it? He He went on a bodybuilding phase and just got jacked and for three years did nothing but lifted every day. And then, uh, then he just jumped right back on. And now he's crushing it. But the other three, I lost them. Oh, that's wild. Do you yeah. feel like there's a personality type amongst YouTubers that makes them successful? 100%. You, to be a successful YouTuber, you have to sit in your room and just fucking have little social interaction for a very long time. Yeah. Like, probably a solid three to five years minimum of just being a fucking loser and sitting in your room <laughs> and just filming videos. And if you're, I, that's what it is. I mean, for the most part, like, because your first videos are going to suck. Like yeah. they are, it's gonna take you a couple years to make them good, and it's just like a lot of time. And but who I the fuck like, has that kind of time? I look like Logan Paul. Like Logan's like sociable. Like he's he's personable. He's but really see, nice. He came up as like a Vine star, so it's like a little different. Mm. Um, and then transitioned it over. But sure, you have exceptions like him and Emma and people who are just naturally good personalities. But if you look at like a lot of the top tier YouTubers, it's not that way. You know what I mean? Mm. I would say you have these little unicorns who. Are, just they're naturally funny, but most of us, it just you just gotta beat it in our heads over the course of years. Like fucking, be entertaining. <laughs> Which is also different than TV because TV and movies, the stars are almost this like ethereal quality. You just have this charisma and this yeah. thing that the better more yeah. features, the more features you get. That yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a it is a complete opposite in that way. Yeah. yeah. And now you have all this knowledge, you have all this information. Like you can look at a channel and overnight get oh, it to yeah. a, a million subs. Like and I know you help a lot of people. I think you said that on Rogan. You're yeah. like I just like consult. He is with people. definitely your data guy. Come on, let's he's go. He's a good let's data go. guy. Don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's you get great. rid of him. He's I'm hiring. Him. I got you. 
I'm, I'm, no, no. <laughs> well, let's see what he pays. You know what I mean? Let's find out. Well, yeah, what is it? Is it like, <laughs> it's that number right there. That's oh, really? Oh. Okay, well, I can still know. Okay. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm curious. Like, what is your criteria? I love for how I'm still holding this. Just yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, that, this that's is my your comfort zone. That's my comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The second we get Literally, the computer, it's YouTube analytic. Studio is yeah, open. Yeah, like, okay. They hand me the analytics. Bro. I'm like, hey, guys. This is baby blanket. But, like, what is your criteria? Like, you see a channel and you're like, I'm sorry to cut you off. It's like, I won't do the podcast unless YouTube analytics. Yep. I was like, it's a complete deal breaker. Yes. No analytics, no me. That's the rider right there. You're like, I need an iced coffee, a beast burger, analytics. But like, what is your criteria for, okay, I'm going to help this person and potentially change their life with these little pieces of information. Yeah. That's I mean, a lot I of power. it's not as deep as you'd want, but it's usually just like, don't make shit videos. Most people think their videos are good, but they just suck. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like if we go watch my older videos, they're just garbage. Mm -hmm. But at the time I thought they were great. Like, no, I think he's asking, how do you decide who to help, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, usually it's easier to teach people how to make better clickbait than better videos. Like, if you're not an entertaining person, it's like, that's too much work. Yeah. But if you're making great videos and it's just poor packaging, I can fit that, fix that in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. It's yeah, like, hey, interesting. this nerd right here, just hire him, let him do it, and you're good. Yeah. You know? hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, so you even have people that you can outsource for all these things. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, there's a whole community of people that just, you know, they, obviously, there's work on thumbnail Yeah, there's titles. unlimited money here. They know their oh, value. Can, yeah. <laughs> unlimited money? Can, can, you, can you tell them what you, what you invest per thumbnail? Uh, yeah, well, we probably spend around five to $10,000 a thumbnail, just making wow. sure we get the right image and it's good. Because, like, the thumbnail makes a difference between 50 million views or 200 million, so. And how many uh, thumbnails per episode? Or per uh, video? Around three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cause so. Like uh, <laughs> so, thirty thousand in thumbnails. No, that's ten thousand for all three. Okay, we're not that crazy. <laughs> like uh, this we're newest video, um, <laughs> isn't doing as hot, so we like swapped the thumbnail. I hunted hundred people for a million dollars. We're working on it. I don't like this new thumbnail. We're in panic mode, just switching it out. Um, Is that you? Yeah. Yeah, thirty mil. I don't think it looks like you enough. Sign. Yeah. It's 30 million views? You're a fucking loser. Dude. <laughs> God, dude, that's embarrassing. I know. I, I'm going to hide it. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I don't even watch you on this podcast anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. And do you ever look back on old content? Like, I know you had, like, that Logan Paul video where you said his name a million times, yeah. and now you guys are, like, hanging out at nightclubs together. Do you ever look back on your old content and go, like, ah, that's... I, I feel, like, embarrassed by how I got Oh, no, fuck no. I think, really? like, I'm glad my old what videos What an asshole question shit. that was. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> that was a setup no, no, question. It's good. It's good. Why you hate his old videos? I'm no, my I'm old videos are ass. Does. But I think it's important <laughs> because I think it shows, like, I started making no money and, like, literally making a dollar a day, and now we're the biggest YouTuber in the world. So I'm glad the old videos suck because it shows, like, other people that they can do it as well. Uh, I think it's the perfect example that mm. you can just, like, kamikaze your way to the top just reinvest the money give up all your social life and just fucking go hard and yeah. you can do it you know yeah. you don't you don't really need tons how of money how many videos have you taken down not many if any what okay here's a question off of that i had another one but here's a question off of that what's the like craziest video coolest video that you did you thought was going to be good and then before you put it up you're like now nah, we oh, just scrap this yeah let me find oh scrap oh. i don't know but i know of like ones that i thought would Tark, be a going? banger that didn't we did this one video where we like Saw if 20,000 magnets would catch a cannonball. Where the fuck is it? And it just bombed. No one cared. <laughs> um, and I thought that was like a game ender video. Wait, what do you want to say, Tariq? Uh, into, the, into the mic. Yeah, that, that was the one I was going to say. But where the fuck what? is it? What was it? 20,000 what? Magnets, can they catch a cannonball? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, that's interesting yeah, to me. Yeah, that's I sick, thought, yeah. like, oh, we also saw can 20,000 magnets stop a car? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no one gave a fuck. <laughs> yeah, you had a real thing for magnets. Yeah. Well, so I did have one video that did really well. With magnets? Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, so you were playing off on the magnet? Yeah. So we basically, I bought <laughs> every like magnet. That. No, no. I bought every, you would click this. Every magnet <laughs> in my state. No, no, wait, wait. Every magnet in my state. And yep. I covered a wall with magnets. Okay. And then we, we grabbed a gun and we shot a metal bullet in front of it and can like 20,000 magnets. Yeah. If they're all pulling on it, will it catch the bullet? Yeah. That, that's a banger. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, so that, that video went. Is there a person shit. at the end? Uh, well, That'd we, be cool. <laughs> That'd be great. No, in the video, we just shot it. But yeah. um, So it's we did it. Tarek's at the end with an apple on his head. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fire. Yeah. Dude. There's your thumbnail. Wait, why him, not uh, Carl? Yeah. Well, Carl, too. Okay. Yeah, what yeah, the hell? I put Carl there. Okay. Yeah, I'm no curious why didn't no you apple. start with Carl. <laughs> no, I'm, I, do we want to make America safe? 
<laughs> oh my God. See, you, make, you say these <laughs> racial <laughs> things. You, say you racial said it's racial. Right. I, no. I want it to be safe without Carl. Carl's the one I'm concerned with. What has Carl done? He has, he's, he's a nice guy. He's gonna shoot up a school when he gets in the high school. But so what do you actually think I'm 17? He's not 17. <laughs> no. This guy's slanging Carl's dick 40, all over the city. 40 dude. years old. <laughs> no, you, you, you and him are the same age. Who? Carl. Yeah. You're 38? Yeah, I'm 38. Yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't do it. Hey, I could not. Who the fuck thought I was 38? Nobody cracks. I'm 38. Yeah. I'm 38. Yeah. I mean, he's dressed like Mr. Rogers. Like, he's old, man. Exactly. This is an old guy. <laughs> 24 hours in the desert. That's what I would click. Uh, yeah, we did that. I know. I saw it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we did it. But legit 24 hours in the desert? Come on, bro. It was, we, there are deserts that aren't super hot. Say again? There are deserts that aren't super hot. Oh, <laughs> well, that doesn't count. <laughs> you were just in a desert that wasn't super hot. What do you mean? Yeah, I had an RV. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, I had Persian hot, food. Yeah. <laughs> when right. are you going to come to Burning Man? Uh, I actually, not to change the subject, but I was about to ask, when are you going to just be in one of our videos? Whenever oh, you want. Oh, Would you actually? Sick. In a heartbeat. That's wait, sick. Wait, I'd be see. honored. Let me see what Absolutely. we got coming up. Yes. Wait, let me run some of these. Is yes. there a camera behind us? I just want to let you know, I no. do get, uh, no. <laughs> I do scare, not what it, yeah, I do have fears. Okay. Hi, which is no, way better. No one cares. Uh, we're good. <laughs> I'm kidding, kidding. <laughs> now you just got it where it's funny for me to be mean to you. Yeah. So I have to play yeah. into it. Yeah. That's the show. We're right. mean to each other for, for money. Yeah. The, next, the, one, the yeah. next one is fully booked. You can't come. Oh, but sorry. It's lasted, oh, damn it. It's last to take hand off. Damn. Private jet keeps it. Last uh, to what? Take hand off. Private jet keeps it. Take the hand off a of private oh, that's jet. That's sick, dog. That's a banger. Oh. But he would lose. Like it's not even like. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't. You don't he would give up so fast. But I mean, like the thing with the private jet is it's the cost of like having it. Just sell it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Dumbass. I'll buy it off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's see. Well, may, see how I got myself back in the video? Oh, oh yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, The one after that, we're testing, like, crazy experiments. So we're seeing if, like, a brick wall can stop a train, um, if, like, a, a tank A Lego can... wall can stop a Latino. <laughs> like, there's a lot. I'll yeah, be there yeah, for that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if, like, if you, a tank with, like, um, whatever, connected to a train, which one pulls each other? Ooh. Like, that's interesting. What about a tank and, like, a Chinese person? Stop. And, like, no, see, he does this. He does this. That's now. a historic event. I'm glad we got you. Yeah. That's Come a on, historic bro. event, on, dude. No. We're, we this can't. is why your ad revenue is low. Fuck. <laughs> We're losing money. We're bleeding money here, buddy. Bro, this Come podcast could have had great. You have me, <laughs> the family-friendly guy here. Yeah. We could have had great RPMs. The and you just, hey, hey, you just said no to $30,000. Hey, you know what I do? I reinvest the money, bro. <laughs> I give the money back. Yeah, yeah. all dozens you of those dollars. Exactly. The we don't need those dollars. Yeah. We want content. But yeah. so we're okay. It's, it's stuff like that. So experiment video. I don't okay. know if you want to come. The one after that, we're gonna try to fix a thousand people's eyesight because I think it'd be cool. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. because like just a Can lot I of do people, it? a lot of people just can't see, yeah. and the only reason. That, it is because they just don't have money, which kind of blows my mind. I love that. Yeah, so that's that, beautiful. That's philanthropy. And that's philanthropy. Yeah, yeah, you can come to that one if All you right, want. So, what's the next one? Uh, <laughs> but, see, the problem is, like, if I go any further, <laughs> yep. sometimes, like, uh, I'll just say an idea, and then, like, the, like there's 30 YouTubers watching. They're going to go do it. Mm -hmm. okay. They're like, oh, you're doing that in November? All right, guys, we got to get up in October. <laughs> they do. Uh, so, I, I can only give you like the, you know. I'll be just, honest, I am down, 100% down. I fucking love what you guys do. I think it's absolutely amazing. I would be honored to be in video. So, whatever one, I think it would be funniest if, it, if I was really afraid. Okay. And there heights. are things that I'm quite afraid of. Well, we are. We are going to heights. Antarctica heights. later this year. I will do that. Okay. Everyone says that. We got like, I will. Are you will? I will go to Antarctica. Okay, and we got to, Tariq's our uh, person figure. Post is wanting to go. We might get Logan, Casey. Holy shit. We got to see how many seats are on the plane. Yes. Tariq, th does he get to go over Post Malone? Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. You, you don't have a white Iverson, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you don't have one guy. song. Actually, you know what? I want to, like, rip Post, but he seems like a really sweet guy. No, he does. And I don't, I don't even know if he's going to last he just, Antarctica. He just, say again? He seems sweet, but I don't think he's going to last He's a cowboy. He's well, it's that. not last to leave. He's We're a just Texan, there for dog. Hours. Come on. It's, Wait, it's... Let's, oh. just bring, hey, let's bring everybody. I think, <laughs> I think we got to bring everybody. All right, well, then we need a bigger jet. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to need a bigger jet. Do you mind sitting on Post's lap? Oh. Which way? <laughs> Can I face him? Yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> there, um, one of the things we're going to do while we're there is, like, there's tons of mountains that have never been climbed, so we'll climb a mountain in Antarctica, be the first yes. people to ever climb it. We have to be the first person to do a podcast on an in Antarctica. Oh. I'm down. That means I got to bring the boys. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Although, yeah. I think, 
I think Logan was planning on doing an impulsive there, so. Yeah, but nobody yeah. wants to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants to watch all that. <laughs> Listen, we'll do it at the same time, and let's just see whoever, whoever uploads it first. Yeah. Just like the YouTubers watching this with all the ideas, they're like, let's go. Yes, yeah. dude, we'll bring Starlink. I'll bring Starlink with us yeah. so that we get it up first. Yeah, that's smart. Genius. I like okay. it. This guy's got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got this? Yeah, I think so. Okay, but if we're, we're going, going to go through all that effort, we yeah. got to really optimize it. Talk to me. Like, you know, less going off tangents, a little more structure probably. <laughs> Just really get that retention. Some type of like story at the end that people yeah, guess, watch the whole way. You're really taking the essence away from this podcast. Yeah. No, what is the essence to keep it random? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I don't... I don't want to. You be know, here like anymore. when British people ask questions, they're really just shitting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, that's not, what you do. I'm not. I'm trying to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you. I care about you. Are you trying to have a successful show? Yeah. Like that's. <laughs> I'm trying to get your attention up so you get more views, so you can shit on Netflix more. Let's go. No, but we like Netflix. Netflix is good. Now we well. both we both use them. You know. What yeah, I'm but you make more money on your own. That's facts. Yeah. <laughs> that how, is. how much is that? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Flagrant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Now yeah. they're leaving Wasn't in droves. Wasn't that a good? Now they're leaving in droves. Oh, fuck. They're I mean, we're still in. We're still come in. Come back, come back, come back. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody back. Hey, you lost 2 to 3%. Do we right bleep there. them? What? That? Do we bleep that moment? You should, or you lose oh. viewers. Bro, I, oh, that's, that I'm, would keep them interested, actually. Yeah. Okay, okay. Title and thumbnail for this episode. Uh, what are some interesting things? You were talking about uh, yeah. sexual positions, I think. You were talking yeah, about that. that. Then it'll get suppressed. That'll get dinged. Yeah, it gets yeah. suppressed. Okay. It needs to be like, oh, why God. Mr. Beast stalker or something like that. Oh. story I was telling about Dubai. Mr. Beast like. drinks alcohol for the first time. Yeah. 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 yeah not, I, I think that <laughs> yeah, won't yeah, get yeah. views. <laughs> yeah, that was good. No, was that a good one? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty yeah, good yeah. in the bad bucket. Agreed. In uh, the bad bucket. Yeah, yeah. Best okay. and worst. We're so talking about the good do, ones. Oh, we don't want to do good bucket? Yeah, yeah, okay, we're talking okay. about the ones that, you know, keep my that we, I've, I've never done anything bad in my whole life. Ever once? Never once. Oh, dude. I'm just a perfect person. Yes. Christian. No, I... I <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We got him back. Sorry, Tari. <laughs> Take that, buddy. Crusades 2020. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, how Mr. Beast is making more African-Americans. Okay, that... I don't know. I don't think, though. That might... What's the remember, coming hey, remember from? Remember the goal here was to keep the money the same as I came in. Yes. So right. wait, a, wait. Why? What do you mean by that? I don't know. I just feel like you're gonna just keep taking this and run with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we gotta affect the we brand. Need a, we need to tame, <sighs> tame one. Tame it. Like, okay. I mean, here, just come up with. You're the data guy. Come up with something yeah. great, and I'll just yeah. tell a story to give you the title. Yes. Oh, so start with title, and then yeah. we wrap. Story like ideally, around. we would have yeah, done yeah. this before the podcast, so we could have tricked them. <laughs> oh now, shit! Oh, that would have oh, been genius. Mister B okay. slaps Andrew Schultz. That would be pretty good. Is that a good one? Can I do it? Let's go. Let's go, yeah. baby. Oh. <laughs> I don't like, did he grab his nuts? Yeah, because <laughs> they were hanging down like a bulldog. Yeah. Oh, so I didn't want you I to slap my butt. I might have done it, but then when you grabbed the nuts, I was like, Well, yeah. you could have slapped my butt, hit my nuts, I'm trying to have a baby with my wife. Gotcha. Oh. So I got to be I, careful. Here, can we get like a free, Tariq, can you grab like a free roaming camera? We can get like, yeah, we, we got a free, we got free up there. Okay, oh, can you right just there. punch in on his face? Okay. I don't actually have to slap you. I just need okay. like a, no, face me. Okay. And I'm like, yeah. No, Do no, I go with all, it? Bro, okay. my hand's so cold. Well, oh, look, just deal with it. Okay. So now act like I'm slapping you and okay. look at that You have camera. a cold hand, dude. Know, so He's crazy. a robot, bro. <laughs> so act like I'm slapping you. Look at the camera. Okay. The eyesight makes him click. <laughs> dude, your hand is freezing. I know it is, bro. Feel how cold that hand oh, is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. You don't get ex machina. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Not you. I'm good. Like, you know what my favorite moment of your Rogan was? was Rogan is getting all excited. Or he's like... Watching somebody climb a mountain or some shit, and yeah. he was like, oh, freak, dude, I'm getting scared just watching it. Look, I'm nervous. Feel how sweaty my hands are. And, <laughs> he then, did. and then he just, Jimmy just goes, nah, I'm good. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I was, was like, no, please, was feel crazy. the sweat on my hand. I was like, I really am good, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to feel it. I, I, was, I think I was like, I can imagine what it feels like. Yeah. But you felt it, though. Did I? I yeah. don't remember. No, you didn't. I, I really like, don't. That was I, the most alpha shit. That's when I was like, yo, this <laughs> guy was Rogan. You're on Rogan. You're like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I just. And you were just, I he just, just goes, you literally go, I don't need to feel it. But he hand. was so <laughs> insistent on it. He's like, feel it. Yeah. <laughs> like, if we were this close, he would have been like, feel my hand. Dude, I want to look in uh, your hands. We should look into that. You think, that, yeah, yeah, what is that? This is a problem. It's freezing. This is a very serious problem. Yeah. yeah. Is it Crohn's? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like, or Bro. can you beat off? Or is it <laughs> like well, can you jerk off? Or is what it too is cold? very weird, and yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, here. yeah. My, my right hand isn't freezing, but my left is. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why 
Neither one of them is pretty hot, Jimmy. Bro, I haven't jerked off. I've been sitting here the whole yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. That you we would've. know, dude. You would have saw my dick. Yeah. If I jerked off. Well, you were looking at the analytics yeah. earlier. I saw that. The that analytics is, I I'm think you're like, jerking off. <laughs> That's why this is here. I'm like, oh my God. That there's a hole in the keypad <laughs> when we yeah. take it. There's a, there's a dent at the bottom of this computer. Look at that, bro. Dang. Uh, we got our thumbnail. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. oh, I have wow. one question yeah. about your content. As your audience gets older with you, Ooh. how do you plan on shifting the content to retain them? Uh, we'll just make it better. I don't know. I feel like we need to do something. We've kind of been doing like, like every idea is innovative, but it's like how we go about it. It's kind of the same format. And so I'm ready to switch it up. Any ideas? Bit. Anything you're thinking on? Um, no, that's honestly, when I got home, that's what I was going to do. Just lock myself in a room and try to figure it out. I just, it's, it's been a while since we like innovated. But I guess, yeah, when, when the audience is older, I don't, I don't know. But it, I don't know. I kind of see that happen almost naturally. Like you doing the squid game thing. Yeah, it's like, I just make, an older the demo. thing is like, I don't really make like content for kids on purpose or whatever. I just do whatever I think is funny. So yeah. like, mm. you know, maybe right now my humor might just be childish. But I think as long as I do things I like, because I've spent so much time like refining my taste just to be what I think does well, mm. that just, that's what I'll do. Mm. You know what I mean? So I don't really try to target anyone. I just make videos that I think I would like to watch. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. so... Okay, I'm curious. Who's the most famous person you have their contact in your phone? Oh, that's a sick question. <clears throat> uh, uh, um, that's an interesting one. <laughs> okay, I would have to scroll through it. I've like I have a weird habit of breaking my phone, so I get a new really? phone like every year, just like dropping in water or whenever we're filming, it falls out of something. Uh, but just a kid from North Carolina, you yeah, know what I mean? The all, Rock. All of a sudden, you get a contact uh, in your phone, and you go, wow, I'm doing it. <laughs> Michelle Obama. No, no Obamas yet. Malia Obama. Oh, Michelle. Okay, I keep throwing some names. <laughs> but I'd have to scroll through. I don't even, I don't know. Sasha Obama. Tariq, who's the most famous person we met? I'm drawing blank. Like, met or I don't have know. their number. Yeah, well, t- if we met him, we probably Connected with. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, is it? Who? Who? So just say, say it. it. You say Leo. You're hurting Leo. 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 Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, oh I guess Leo. Maybe. Fuck, yeah. dude. Leo DiCaprio. Maybe Leo and Amy. I'm- oh my God. Why? <laughs> as soon as we bring so, up a guy. Hey, in one year, he's gonna stop hanging out with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have a dick. We're good. <laughs> Wait. So how did you meet Leo? What happened? Um, I was. Well, his at- girlfriends love your videos. They so much cocoa melon. Okay, relax. <laughs> There's just this like. Uh, <laughs> when you go to Leo's house and the girls are all like popping out their retainers, like, oh my god, I love it with a play quack. With a play quack. Oh, you kids are wild. That's funny. Well, I, how'd that happen? I met him at an event. There's just like, I don't, there's, I don't know how much I can say, but there's just like this super exclusive event with just all these really rich and famous people. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. just did not belong there at the time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he was just one of them. And How'd yeah. you get invited to that event? Island? Um, Island in the Bahamas? Well, I think it was... Like, <laughs> Eyes wide shut party. It was like, like I remember pulling... I just can't say too much, but I just remember pulling up and there's like dozens of guys with just like assault rifles and stuff. And I was like, oh, it's like, it's like, it's like that. that high yeah. level yeah. of an event. And... um yeah, and he just was like, I, I, so I ended up talking up there. So it's like, I don't even know how to put into words. Like everyone there was either like ultra famous or just like a billionaire. They were like very, it was crazy yeah. having all those people in that room. Um, and then at dinner, you just they just pair you up with random people, so you meet new people. And he was the one at the table, and we just. I and did you what, give a speech? Yeah, at the, I was you just were like, talking it was because a lot of them run companies and things like that. So it was more just like, yeah. hey. Invest in YouTube. You're like, TV fucking sucks. That's yeah. basically what my speech was. Yeah, and they yeah, love yeah. it. And yeah. so it's great. And do they know what you're doing? Like, when you meet these motherfuckers and you're like, yeah, 200 million people watched this video. Yeah. Most of them know because uh, of their kids, to be honest. So they're like, you know, my kid. Kids are I, the most powerful influencers in Hollywood, by the way. I, yeah, I believe that's it. a good point. If, if we call and we need something and they say no, I just go, just ask your kids. Yeah. And then five minutes later, they're like, no, yeah. holy shit. 100%. Yeah. yeah, it's like, and and but then if they're like, oh, I don't have kids, it's like, fuck. We're not Every getting this show down. that I got greenlit when I was at MTV, the woman who greenlit the shows, her kid was a fan. Yeah, it, it's, it's great. They're the gateway to whatever you need. They are. Yeah, they are. Because, um, so, which I live for the day where it's no longer, oh, my kids love yeah, you, yeah, I love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is like, every time they say that, I'm like, fuck, another one. Uh, but, Wait, what was even the question? Oh, yeah, most of them knew me because they're kids. Yeah. I'm just wondering if these people, like, 
these are people that they would cry if their TV show got two million views. They would, they would be the greatest day of their life. And you're putting out weekly 100 million, 200 million. That's on, bigger than the Super Bowl, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it's like, are they looking at you with, are they looking at you the way that they should? Or are they purposely trying to ignore what you're doing because well, I, it Well, here's where I think it is secure. right now. I think, like, we're still, you know, I think in, like, five years, there's going to be a lot of YouTubers that leverage this influence and just spin off wildly successful companies and just kind of fuck up the status quo. I think we're still at the antithesis of it. Because, um, like, if no one's going to buy these videos or pay what they should, we'll just start our own brands. And it's already showing, like, with what you're doing, Burger and Feastables and stuff like that. So I think, like... There's just, there are people who, like big YouTubers, and now the new wave are big YouTubers that understand how to, you know, use it, to leverage it to sell products. So yep. I think it doesn't even matter at this point. Anything that's commoditized or like like a water bottle or things like that, eventually influencers are just going to sell Dude, it. I love that as your pitch to a company. You're, you're, you're offering them salvation. Yeah. You're not Basically. going, don't buy an ad. You're going, I will make you obsolete. I mean, that's kind of what's that's happening. That's some Rockefeller That thing. is fine. It really, yeah. yo, like McDonald's, you better yeah. buy an ad with me yeah. or you won't exist. Yeah, join Standard Oil or you- Or it's a, over. It's, it's it. like, it's just, I don't know, anything that's commoditized and not that hard, you just, the influencer can do it, but just make it cooler. You know yes, I mean? 100%. Like, like think of Smart Water and this other stuff that popped up. Yeah. Like you Liquid now, Death did a great job, actually. Yeah, Liquid yeah. Death. You have, but you have hundreds of these people that are just- getting bigger and bigger every single month yeah. on social media. And eventually it's just gonna be more of a predominant thing. I am telling you, dude, historic human being. And that's why I love that you seem to still have this goodwill running through you of like, I wanna donate, et cetera. Cause most of the guys like you are fucking Carnegie or at least people who build these uh, empires and <laughs> don't true. give shit. And that's why I look at you and I'm like, yo, this guy should be president. Well, that's- Let's go. That's, no, I, and I, I mean, this is a, a huge compliment to you and Rogan. It's like, it's rare yes. that people that like, have that much power, success, and influence are benevolent. Thank you. And I mean, the thing is you can make tons of money not doing good making content or yep. you can just make tons of money and help people. Yep. And so it's like, this one's just a little bit more fun, to be yeah. honest. So yeah. why but, not? Yeah. Is there a group of people that you're like, I don't want to help them? You don't like, have to answer that. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like yeah. a color people no, 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 or see, like- He's trying to bait you? Don't answer that yeah. question. Okay. Wow, your ad revenue this month. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good right there, okay? That's good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what is something that you want to creatorify that would be like 20 years down the line? Like a university, an iPhone? Like, uh, what is that thing? Well, right now, all I'm thinking about is like selling burgers and chocolate bars. Like, I got to build inventory and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So, I just next thing I want to do is software related because it's like, if I build a mobile uh, game, I can get one download today and 10 million tomorrow. And infinite scalability. Oh, you don't yeah. have to worry about getting buns and fucking meat Exactly. And, all these and so that's yeah. like, these things are crushing, but it's like, you know, you got to manage the inventory of the chocolate bars. And now we're yep. doing cookies and we want to do this thing. Yep. It's just like a fucking ton of money and all this effort. Yep. Whereas like software is just infinitely scalable, no matter yep. where you are in the world. Yep. So the next thing I really wanted to do is get into software. Yeah. Does it have to have a goodwill angle? Like, is there a goodwill angle to Beast Burger? Is that what drew you to it? I want to make a burger that's a little less Eventually, I, well, uh, honestly, I was really hoping to get it where it was plant based, but people just don't seem they to give a fuck. I will buy the plant based. I, I know. So I'm trying to, like, my long term goal is to switch it where it is all plant based. Um, 3D printed meat. That's what yeah, you're going to be. I'm just, like, <laughs> trying to find one that, like, doesn't suck. Like, a lot of people still, like, I like impossible meat, but for whatever reason, like, a lot, some people don't. Um, and some people don't like Beyond, and like there's synthetically grown meat. I'm like, I'm just we're we're like always studying it. I'm waiting for someone to get it where it just tastes the exact fucking same. Mm. The second they do, and I they will switch it over. Agreed. I think yeah. it's only a matter of time. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Within 10 years, the future yeah, is yeah. faster than you think. It's a book yeah. I read once. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> yeah. And another thing I'm curious about. I know you want to be the greatest YouTuber of all time. Who is the other great in a different industry that you look at and you're like, I want to do to YouTube what that guy did to his industry? Well, I mean, obviously, great you, you have Elon Musk. That's know. the one. Yeah. I mean. It's, he's just the goat. Yeah. You know what I mean? And why, why Elon? Why not Bezos? Why not Gates? Um, well, Elon is just doing cool shit. I mean, like taking on like, fossil fuels and weaning us off. We've heard this a million times. Until electric, while also taking us to a different planet, while also coming up with a company to put a fucking chip in our brain so we can talk without having to speak words. Yeah. I mean, it's all badass. And doing it while also becoming the richest man in the world is just fucking crazy. You know what I mean? He won. Yeah, <laughs> there yeah, is yeah. no better person. He's Tony Stark. Yeah, basically. Yeah. He's doing all the cool shit. And he won. He well, won. You yeah. would do that and give it away. Yeah, of course. Which is yeah, cool. Because what's, what's the point? Like, the point is to be the richest, but you. Yeah, but exactly. But like, what money, 
money is just to me like a means to grow your company and help people and things like that. But like, I don't really care to have a mansion or again. A yacht or I remember you saying that on Rogan. What's the point of making more money just to buy a bigger? Which box is why, to live like in? Jeff, you know, I bought that six hundred million dollar boat. Like, why? You know, yeah. that's why it's. I wouldn't look up to him as much because who cares? Right. Like, um, I don't know, like houses, They cars. had to take down a bridge for him to get the boat out. Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. They had to yeah. deconstruct a bridge that was built in like the year 1600. Yeah. What, what end of the spectrum do you fall on? Like, are you the kind of guy that's going to own five Autistic, sports cars? I think, yeah. yeah well, <laughs> <laughs> five I think sports him. cars in a mansion, or are you the one that's just going to live in your studio? <laughs> I have a wife, so that changes things. She can live in the studio with you. No, she can't. <laughs> no, she can't. She, she does not live in studios. Um, but I don't care that much about money. I like what about material experiences. I like experiences, and then I, the, every time I buy some material shit, I get into it, and then once I am able to have it, I go, ah, I didn't really like exactly. this. Exactly. Yeah, one hundred percent. Which I think everyone needs to go through that little phase to like communal experiences. That's what yeah. I'll spend all my money on. Yeah. And we Good. went to Burning Man as a group, and we had this fucking amazing time. I would love for us to go to fucking Antarctica. I want us to go to World Cup. But let's say you become a billionaire. Five World Cup of cricket. Yeah. yeah. Five I'll years have from now, you're tons of those experiences with and, all and you're my not friends. buying like a mansion and 10 supercars? No, my wife is going to buy a mansion. <laughs> my wife is going to buy all these <laughs> That's things. That's a good scapegoat. <laughs> Anything that she has. I, I, I don't need it. I'll be honest. I, I really don't need it. Really. But my wife will buy all these things. And I like them. They're cool. Yeah. But I don't need it. Agreed. You know? Yeah. So it's like, but I liked it. These things might make her happy. So sure. that works and too. And you just want her happy, yeah. And I love making this woman happy. I know that sounds corny, but I genuinely fucking love making her happy. So that works. But in terms of me, I love great, unique, cool, communal experiences, communal joy. Everything I've done has always been collaborative. Like love this it. podcast, we just keep on adding different people and characters and it's just been awesome. These conversations we have. Even stand-up to me is not, it, it, like, you know, I like talking to the crowd. I like them playing a part in it. Yeah, you know, it doesn't need to be just me. Everybody, shut the fuck. What I, I want to know about you. I'm curious about you. So for me, that's what I'll spend my money on. I think, and obviously my children, and giving them, you know, God willing, the you know the greatest opportunity that they have to live whatever life they want mm. to. Why? Why uh-huh. do you have a detachment from money? Like, did you grow up in a way that you weren't as like connected to, where you're like, yo, I need to have this amount to be happy? Uh, well, I think well, money and like materialistic objects are different. Like materialistic objects, I just don't. They're just pointless, like getting nicer cars or things like that. What does it even fucking do? Right. You know what I mean? And why do you think that? Because you got cars and it didn't fulfill you? Uh, well, Asperger. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think build, like, bu- what's more fun than building a business? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, great. The less liabilities you have, the more risk you can take on. Like, it doesn't matter. I can live off a couple thousand dollars a month if I need to. Mm-hmm. It's rare lie. that people feel that way about like uh, material goods without having them. Agreed. So that's I, that's rare. I did buy an i8 for a couple months, and you know, and then just, you realize you're like, oh, this is yeah. annoying to get into. I had to like <laughs> bend down so low. Well, and, it's just like it just doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. And then um, I also bought designer clothes at one point, which is funny because right when I was like, this is fucking dumb, which I said this on Rogan, someone broke in and stole all my clothes. Hilarious. And when I, I like opened my closet after I got robbed, I was like, oh, this is perfect. I was going to get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't think that's a good bag for his buck when he sells this. Yeah. <laughs> like I had some Supreme shirts. That's some lame Miz shit right there. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yo, the candlesticks, take them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, Oh, and he also took my Bitcoin at the time too, but he's a fucking idiot. Um, he didn't move. So I had like a, a, a laptop like this, yeah. and like <clears throat> right here was just written my private key. Cause I don't know, my fucking morons. <laughs> it on, just said Jimmy. Bitcoin private key. Come on, so Jimmy. So he steals my laptop. <laughs> and I was like, I thought that's why my house got robbed. Like the yeah. second I saw that front door kicked in, yeah. I was like, oh, they just stole my, my Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, Cause I also just recently tweeted about it. And yeah. it's like, fuck. And I go in there, I can't find my laptop. I'm like, God damn it. I, they just stole everything I own. Um, and then I just run over to my desktop, which they didn't steal, but my, my laptop. And I just like, I had it also a screenshot of it. I pulled my private key up there and I'm like crying. I'm like, fuck, it's not going to be there. It literally says Bitcoin private key on my laptop. He stole. <laughs> and I'm like, he, they just took it. There was like $2 million, which was every dollar to my name at that point. Because I like, Took like a couple, like a hundred grand one month, put in Bitcoin. Bitcoin like skyrocketed. Yeah, yeah. And then I was literally just about to sell it and fund a bunch of videos. And then that shit went down. And I'm like crying as I'm loading it up. And my heart is pounding. I'm like, please, it, it's there. It's all there. And I moved it real quick. And like that robber's a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> He's busy stealing my TV, yeah. my fucking blanket, yeah. instead of the fucking yeah. Bitcoin that yeah. was sitting right there. <laughs> fucking idiot. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, that's the guy from the Battle Pirates. Hey, thanks yeah, for the stealing same guy. my uh, designer shirt, so I didn't want those anymore. Yeah. 
<laughs> Just because he didn't like any of your ideas, guy from Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, fuck it. I, I think it's great that you realized that so early. I, I realized that later, but I also made money later in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that, yeah, I don't know. I think I, But everyone's different. I think like they're just people who are very entrepreneurial. And if you're entrepreneurial, money is the means to grow your business and just, you know, hire more people and do more fun, yes. exciting things. Exactly. And I think like I don't think that's for and everyone. freedom though. I don't that's how I always look at money. I'm like, I I just want the amount where I don't have to do anything. I can do the things I want to do. I see it as just being able to hire more people and do more fun shit. Uh, but don't you ever go, I want like security. I want enough where everything can be okay and all your oh, guys can be okay. And No? What? You're responsible. I don't know. I feel for responsible the, yeah, now but the, for That's everybody. why we grow the business so I can keep so paying So you can do it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, money yeah. is fuel to grow a business. But yes. I don't think that's how everyone should view it. All right, guys. We're going to take a break for a second because today's podcast is sponsored by Incogni. Okay? Thousands of companies are collecting, aggregating, and trading your personal data without you knowing anything about it. And you have the right to request that data brokers delete what information they have about you and protect your privacy. Here's the bad news, though. It would literally take you years to do it manually. Almost impossible to wipe all of your own personal stuff off the internet. But good thing for you, Incogni can take care of the mess for you. Automatically, Incogni helps you protect your privacy and take your personal data off the market by reaching out to the data brokers on your behalf, of course, and requesting your personal data removal and dealing with all their objections. Now, let me tell you what some of these companies have. Your full name, obviously, that's a no-brainer. Your email, okay, obviously they got your email. Here's where it gets sketchy. They got your home address. They got your shopping habits. They might have your social security number. It's ridiculous the amount of personal information of yours that exists on the internet, and it is so easy to get rid of it when you use Incogni, okay? I'm telling you right now, if you subscribe for a free newsletter, shortly after, you're gonna get some messages that you have no fucking clue where they came from, and that is exactly what Incogni is gonna help you with. It's gonna remove your name from those email blast lists, okay? Some of you don't know found out your home address, your phone number, and personal information about your relatives. Incognito's gonna make that impossible to happen by just searching you on the internet. Now listen here, the first 100 people to use the code Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-Z, at the website below, should be right here, will get 20% off of Incogni, okay? Protect your privacy today. Go to incogni.com slash Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-Z. Use the code Schultz to take your personal data off the market right now. now let's get back to the show. Wait, where did we lose our dude? Oh, yeah, yeah. We kick him out after a certain time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Am I just not nap. doing good? He has to take a nap. <laughs> is this like, <laughs> that, uh, is it your, yeah. tell, wait, hey, your tension sucks. Yeah. The black audience is, this is not enjoying this. telling me I need to do better? No. <laughs> Al, did you have to take a little pee break? I did. My okay. Oh, but pee, the pee fucks up bad. retention, dude. Dude, hey, what did we like, tell you about peeing, dude? They Come didn't on. See it? I feel like we need to give our, our boy over here more screen time. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, me too. Take it away. Yeah. Al, ask yeah. a question. Oh, I got yeah. you. Um, what made you do the food pantry? Uh, ooh, it's a good one. Like started or? Yeah. Like, did you grow up poor? Like, why? Why that? Of all the things you can do. Well, so I do plan on making. The, how do I say this? Or does it sound weird? I just like. I feel like. There's a coin flip chance I make a ton of money throughout my life. So, like, I hope to one day be a billionaire. And when I do, I do want to do just whatever, start charities, ideally find ways to, like, start a business that's ran by homeless people. And we hire them and they make products. And, like, it's a kick-ass business. But just figure out all these things. And so that was just kind of my way of just, like, starting young and just trying to figure it out now. Because there's even that, like, I'm learning new stuff every single month about how to run a food pantry. So it's not like when I have all this money, it's like, okay, let's start now. I'll have, like, decades of experience doing that kind of stuff, if that makes sense. Mm. Did you grow up rich or poor? Uh, I don't know. Like, my mom made 40 grand a year, and there's three of us, so whatever that is. Um, but is yeah, it was interesting, because it was just my mom. My dad left, so I don't know. Have you talked to your dad since? Uh, anyways, new topic. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Uh, wow. You think that guy who didn't get your Bitcoin was a fucking idiot? <laughs> <laughs> This <laughs> you is the Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, I mean like wow. that's where when I first started filming videos, it was just like a shitty, shitty laptop, like a hundred dollar laptop. That's why, like here we can we can go listen to them. I didn't have enough money for a microphone. I didn't have enough money for anything. So like the first three years of me doing it was just like scraping together money so I could buy equipment. So like, like look at this fucking horseshit quality. Oh god, is this how you're gonna take our ad rev? <laughs> <laughs> What? Don't ask. I'm an 11-year-old kid here. From Solve. 
<laughs> it's like a saw Minecraft trap, but this is like running at two frames per second. I didn't have a microphone and I have a bandy cam watermark because I couldn't afford to buy the recording software. <laughs> <laughs> and I basically, yeah, I just did this for like but three can we years. listen to the ASMR thing that you were just doing? Right <laughs> Don't you make me watch ASMR? this. And do you keep these up intentionally as yeah, like yeah, of a, course. a so people, testament? Yeah, so people can watch it. Oh. So I did that. And then I saved up for like six months. I bought a microphone, saved up for a year, bought a computer, saved up. Like, so I actually had 100,000 subscribers before I bought a camera because <laughs> I just didn't have the money. And so people were like roasting me. They're like, this fucking quality is dog shit. And I'm like, bro, I, I just, I don't have the money to buy a camera. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, so yeah, I would yeah. record them on my like really old hand-me-down iPhone. Yeah. And like, that's what I use. So, uh, which that was hard. I saved up a bunch of money and I got my mom to pay for like the other half. And then that's where things really took off. Because I went from this $30 webcam to, which was to like a nice iPhone, yeah. like nice at the time. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I shot up to 100K and everyone's like, get a camera. I'm like, I'm trying. <laughs> Give me a couple more months. Yeah. So that was like the beginning of it. And even then, like when I graduated high school, I wasn't making enough money to move out. And that was a huge problem because my mom was like, go to college or move out. Mm. And I was like, well, I don't have enough money to move out. What, yeah. you, what the fuck do you want from me? And she's, so she made me go to college, which this I did mention on Rogan. You I fake. Was, yeah, and, and I was faking I it. it, blah, blah, blah. And I, I'll never forget, like one day I came home and she's just like, you never do any homework. It's like, yeah, because I'd rather fucking die than do homework. I don't want to. <laughs> and I, was, I just straight up asked her, I was like, can you just do the homework for me? Like, I just, it, it's just not fun. This is like straight up torture. And it was like that every night. Uh, and that's when I was just going really hard. Yeah. And then I had that month where I made twenty thousand dollars, and then I, but the paychecks are delayed sixty days. So like oh. whatever you earn this month, you don't. So yeah, I'm yeah. like, you know, I want to move out, but like I only have like a hundred bucks, yep. but I have twenty grand coming yep. in, and it was just like super weird. So I moved out and borrowed money so I could move out, and then pay. It was like all this just so yeah. I could like let my mom down, and she thinks I'm gonna be a failure. Yeah, um, no and, risk aversion for you. Oh no, I don't. It's weird. I don't really feel risk. It's funny that like. Wow. Alex Honnold was brought up in the Rogan combo because I wonder if you guys have a similar approach. Yeah. My risk tolerance amygdala. is like, yeah. but it's also like, at that point I had spent seven years of my life compulsively studying YouTube, yeah. studying what does well. So, so I also confident. think it's, yeah. yeah, exactly. I think it's a little more confidence and probably what he has. Like, I don't know. It's like, this is my whole life. Yeah. You know, either it works or I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So, yeah, yeah. You know? And then yeah. you paid off your mom's house, right? Oh, yeah. And then she's great. My mom has multiple houses. So how, she how, can have whatever she wants. Have you guys had multiple moments like that? Like any other moments where you guys kind of look at each other and you're like, oh, oh God, mama, like yeah, we're, we're doing Yeah, she would love it. to tell these stories. Like, especially once we started making like good money, like 100 grand a month is coming in. What is that, Did, that I combo? Would be, well, I would be like, okay, good. Next month we're spending 101,000 on videos. And she'd just be like, can you just spend 90000 like, please? <laughs> yeah. And I'd be like, no. I was like, money is a means to grow the channel and make better videos. And it just like broke her heart because she also like lost everything in like the 2008 recession and mm. that kind of stuff. So she's like super risk adverse. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Let's yeah, take yeah, out a loan. Let's yeah, keep yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we just did that for like two years because she had helped me with my taxes yeah. and stuff like that. Um, Doesn't she work for you now? Yeah, she does. Well, she does whatever she wants. But at that time, it was like, <laughs> she just was like, please. Like she was even like, she would be like, because she loves me. She'd like, you know, if we got a million dollars that comes in, like hide a hundred grand as a rainy day fund yeah, in case yeah. I just blow up. Yeah. And then I'd find it and I'd be like, oh, no, no, perfect. We got an extra hundred grand next month. <laughs> like, we got more videos. <laughs> I just like, she just hated it because I just went all in all the time. And yeah. it's like, oh, we got to take another loan out this month. And she's like, why? Yeah. And I'm like, but I don't know. It's not like I was trying to stress her out. It's yeah. just like, that's just who I am. That's how you're you know, maybe, maybe that's the confidence of coming from zero. Exactly. I like, just, I was you know like, you could build it's it either from this yeah. or it's like the thought of money sitting around when I could hire more people or do better videos or give away more money just yeah. literally would drive me crazy. And no attachment to material things. So like if I lose everything, okay, who cares? Mm. I move yeah. back in at home. I but don't she's need... already lost everything. So she's completely different. But yeah. there came a time after two years where like she just, I kind of just broke her and she's like, you know what? I trust them. You're it seems to be it working. Yeah. And I just told her, I was like, either you believe in me or you don't. Like, either you, you think I'm going to make this work or you don't. And she's like, I do. And I was like, okay, just let me do my thing. And now we're great. Wow. And after you paid off her house and like the cameras turned off, did you yeah. guys have a moment like, holy shit? Yeah. Well, that's where eventually I was like, all right, so you don't have to be stressed out. I was like, we'll pay off the house. We'll 
buy you a second house if you want it. Here, you're now no longer debt free. Now she's great because like she doesn't have to worry about this imploding. And you know, she, it's not like she made tons of money. Like she still had 20 years left on her mortgage and stuff like that. But now that that's not like a problem, it's great. Yeah, because <laughs> like at least not only my life's fucked exactly. if I fuck up, yeah. which yeah, is what I wanted as well. That's yeah, yeah that's yeah. huge. Yeah. You're willing to risk your life. Yeah, exactly. you don't want to risk <laughs> my your mom. mom's life. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, so. Yeah. Even though I kind of was at the start. (laughs) But then that's when I took a step back and I was like, you know, there really is a chance this just implodes. So why don't we just take care of you real quick? And then I'll go back to like. That's something off your back too. Now you get to create more freely. Yeah. You're yeah. not going into every month like Oh, I, I was anyways. I mean, because I just fuck. believed in it. There was no world wow. where we failed. If we're, if we're filming 10 times longer, we're spending 30 times longer brainstorming ideas, we're reinvesting every dollar plus extra because sometimes we're out on loans and we're just out working everyone. Why would they not watch the videos? That was just my logic. It was like foolproof. There's no way it's going to fail, you know? Uh, now you're big. Which m- is not the correct logic, <laughs> and you shouldn't, but I was naive and I just, that's what I was convinced. I think that is the correct logic. If you're working that much harder, yeah, I, assuming I, you have the right knowledge of the algorithm, because I've seen motherfuckers work really hard, reinvest everything, and, and just end up with nothing, you know. So, but I had that confidence because I spent seven years prior studying and obsessing over it. Some people like to just jump in and, you know, basically skip the knowledge stage and do it. And, you know, I, I see it happening and I'm like, you know, you, I don't think you know as much as you should. Like, you really shouldn't reinvest everything. Like, maybe you dial it back a little bit. Yeah. Like, because you can kind of tell when people get lucky more like when they actually know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. And sometimes people get lucky and, and they, they think, think they know what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, that's the worst hey, spot to be. In. I, yeah. I would just maybe reinvest half the money. Like, yeah. it's like I, every, every crypto investor. Yes. Until the crash. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. But it's not just crypto. It was the stock market too. It's like everybody was Everyone making money. It's so like, I'm a genius. And then yep. it crashed and it's like, oh, here's reality. You're a genius till you're not. Yes. 100%. Or actually, I like it. The better phrase is like, you're like you're an idiot until you're a genius. Like, you're a genius. Yeah. yeah. Or like you're a loser or whatever. If you're super obsessive. Yeah. Like it's funny how like if you have a hundred subscribers and you're super obsessive and you know life, it's you're just a, like you're, an you're a fucking yeah. idiot, you're a loser, get a life. But if you're that same person with five more zeros on the end, yeah. you're a fucking genius. Yeah. And it's so funny how it changes. And if there's one thing I could How do you change, think it's supposed to work? Uh, <laughs> I, mean, like, I don't know, but I just know it's like, when I was younger, it was just hell. Like, because I didn't relate to anyone. Yeah. I didn't watch South Park or any or movies or anything while everyone else did. Yeah. And like, people at the age of 15 just can't comprehend having drive and wanting to work. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you're yeah. just like this little outcast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and so, now you're probably surrounded by all these people who are just as driven. Oh, and those same people now will call me up and be like, holy shit, you are a visionary. Love this, you fucking, love and it's it. like, yeah, yeah. yo, well, back then, why would you? you know, make my life hell because I didn't watch whatever the fuck was on TV. You know yeah. what I mean? So, which is, I'm fine. I don't care. But I feel for the younger people yeah. that are like that. Like, our system basically beats it out of you almost yeah. in a way where, no, conform. Oh, so there conform, was like bullying crazy. for like just you and your obsessiveness from Not peers. Not bullying, but I just like, I... You didn't I, fit in. Yeah, yeah, 100% didn't. Like, yeah. I would talk about YouTube and it was just an ongoing thing where they'd just be like, do you know anything besides YouTube? Are you capable of anything else besides <laughs> YouTube? And I'd be like, Nah. Well, no, that. but back then I just, I didn't know what to say. Yeah. So I just didn't talk. Like there'd be uh, days where I, I just wouldn't say like a single word in school because like all I knew was YouTube. Yeah. And, and since no one cared, and this was way before YouTube was cool, before you even knew you can make money. Like I just like, what do I talk about? What do I say? Do you wow. think that, do you think you got lucky in that you were obsessed with a thing that became the form of entertainment in the world or did you know that it was going to be like were you looking that at the- was luck 100 percent. because i my obsession very well could have been vine or being uh, hosting a tv show or, right. or whatever so yeah or vine exactly yeah. yeah so agreed the best thing that ever happened to me is i fell in love with youtube at a young age because i also think it takes 10 years to like really master something yeah 10 years and like 10,000 hours is kind of the start, you know, like yeah. more like 30, 40, 50,000 hours. Yeah. And so I just started mine when I was 11. So you had most, that early. Yeah, yeah. Most people start theirs when they're like 20, 25, whenever yeah. they get out of college. Yeah. And so, but what's OP about that is the earlier you make money, the more it compounds, the more the knowledge compounds. Yeah. Cause now when I'm 30, I have like a whole 10 years yeah. of obsession on them. Yeah. So it's like really hard for people to compete with you. 100%. If you find it young. And you're always going to be compared to the people around your age. Exactly. So they're like, why the fuck is this kid 24? Exactly. They just graduated college. And no I, one's going to catch I've it. I've been grinding since 11, so I'm 13 years in this yeah. bitch. You know what I mean? Like, good luck. Yeah. So, but that's the thing, like, that's an anomaly and you're like ostracized from society and you're a fucking weirdo loser every step of the way up until, you know, it, it works. Yeah. And so I wish we could like... 
I don't know, have a, I don't know the answer how you would do it. Because, like, what's the difference between that and just actually being a fucking obsessive loser over something unimportant? I don't know. But I do yeah. wish there was a way we fostered it a little bit more and, like, didn't beat the shit out of people who, you know. Yeah. Maybe that happens uh, now, though. I mean, it's so commonplace that these kids are going to have, every kid has a YouTube page, it feels like. YouTube aside, I'm just talking about everything in general. Uh, anybody who's a little bit outside of the box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think, like, obsession over things, like, we should allow and we should encourage people to be obsessed yeah. if you find that thing that you're like yeah it's like your stuff. soul's way of guiding you exactly yeah. you know what i mean yeah. yeah yeah and some obsessions are okay and then some are weird that's like another... heroin <laughs> I, you know maybe not but like yeah. but like if someone's obsessed with a guitar at a young age people would be like oh that's cool but if you're obsessed with youtube they're like oh you gotta go outside more <laughs> you have to play more sports but again i think that's also exposure now that we see guys like this we're yeah. like oh that there's now it's there's... normalized there's a means yeah. to that. There's yeah, a, exactly. Like, but you yeah, needed one person to break through. Exactly. You need the person to break through. I mean, like, Tony Hawk said the same thing about skateboarding. I know that sounds crazy. Oh, wow. really? Tony Hawk was like, yeah, I was bullied for skateboarding. Yeah. Skateboarding yeah. wasn't cool. Like, they made fun of us. Like, they were calling them names and shit for being a they skateboarder. They were outcasts. I've never heard that story before. I, I, we couldn't believe it. I mean, we're all sitting here like, wow, well, skateboarding is the coolest shit. Wait, you the got Tony shit. Hawk on here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good for you. And we got Mr. <laughs> Beast on here. Right? <laughs> but yeah, so Tony was there, and he's just like, and he was like, yeah, it wasn't cool at all, but I was so upset. It's really interesting you see successful people, and it really I, comes I down to I hear this kind of story from all of them. Every single time, and right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy. You have to, like, your it's obsession, so bad. Your obsession outweighs the insecurity of being an outsider. Exactly. Well, you just, like, if you're not doing this, you, you might as well just be dead. Yeah. Like, what's the point of life? And, the, and most people, the insecurity of being an outsider will make them push away their obsession. If you're young and you're not like slightly being made fun of for your obsession, yeah. you're not obsessed enough. Yes. Mm. Like 100%. And that's yeah. fucked. It's not how it should be. Yeah. But that is just society. And it's okay America. to not be that obsessed. Like not everybody needs to no, have a singular focus. Like, yeah. but, but if you do have that and people are making fun of you yeah. and that thing might be able to make money. Don't be afraid of it. You will be all right. But yeah. it can. No matter what it is, it yeah. can. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, what is it? Like, if you make just like $100, when you break it down, you really need to make like $100 a day to live off of it. And yeah. Which isn't like crazy, crazy, depending on the obsession. Yeah. It's like, if you actually think about something every day for, you know, 10 years, yeah. it's pretty hard not to be able to find a way to like, th for that to be valuable. Not to mention with the internet, whatever your niche is, there's yeah. at least 10,000 yeah. other people that are willing yeah. to pay for you to be a part of your niche. Dude, we would say this about drug addicts all the time. It's like, if they applied that effort, <laughs> towards anything else in life. Yep. Like, $100 a day is nothing. If that's you're like thing. a Nat real drug addict. Natural addiction. Like, that's the thing. You're looking, like, that's what this is. And every uh, every second of your day is, how do I make some money so I can have that thing I love? Yeah. And what if every second of your day is, how do I figure out this YouTube thing so I can make exactly. some money? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, then yeah. with that obsession, are you ever going to not do YouTube? Um, well, I think, you know, you. it's pretty crazy how... Most people, you know, they, they you have to they spend most of their money on like ads, or like startups or things like that, getting the company off the ground. I think it's a pretty crazy place we can be in. I mean, look at all. Let me switch to the newer videos. Like, I can launch a company, and you know, obviously, I love it. This is what I I was put on this earth to do. I, like, I couldn't stop if I wanted to. But it's also just like probably the most lucrative position I could be in because I can like do anything I want and instantly show 100 million people, which right. I, like, there's never been, like, someone in this position ever before. It's just, like, Beast Burger is crushing it. Like, it's going to do over 100 million this year. Feastables is crushing Isn't it. Isn't that Fuck fucking yeah. crazy? And, like, our other stuff as well is crushing it. And so, and that's just, like, the we're just getting started. And so, um, how no, many, I, sorry, go on. I have a question after about this, uh, but go on. Go ahead, hit me. It's how many of these companies do you think you start and become successful before the big companies start going, Fuck, advertise with them. Advertise I think with them. Like, well, I think you're gonna see. I know a couple of people who are just crushing it with companies, and like next year you'll probably see a couple of people who become billionaires off of YouTube, and then I think that's when they'll turn when, heads. When did you say next? What next year probably? Probably towards the end of next year. Can you be say a, who those people are? Yeah, uh, yeah. Mr. I Beast, think we can say. Like, who <laughs> <laughs> but but I think like other ones. Like I'll tell you after. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, there's at there's at least like three people that like in the next year will probably be YouTube billionaires, and that's when they'll start to turn their heads. And then when people start oh, making like ten billion, one. ten billion dollar companies or whatever, they'll realize it, like the power of it. Ryan's toys. No, fuck no. Uh, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, and like it's just so no one's like 
A, no one's ever had this large of an audience on YouTube and other yeah. platforms as well before. And then the, a lot of the people who are getting it are very entrepreneurial. And so I'm, it's it's going to be crazy to see what happens over the next five, so 10 years. So what I understand is, oh, these ad companies are going to be like, yeah, we have to advertise with them. Did they miss the boat? And now it's, well, no, we can't not, even not every YouTuber is entrepreneurial. My end goal is to get it where, obviously, we're only ever promoting our products. Mm -hmm. And like, we have mobile games for one video. The next is our snack brand. The next is Beast Burger. The next is whatever other thing we do. Because yeah. it's basically like a Super Bowl ad every video mm -hmm. and so I can it just gets pretty OP um, and then on top of that like Feastables we just launched in Walmart and I haven't even mentioned it yet because it's not in all of them but it's selling like crazy just because people are like oh it's Mr. Beast I like that guy so same thing with Beast Burger before I ever promoted it once before people even knew it was a thing we were doing like some days like forty thousand dollars because people are just like, oh shit, it's the guy from YouTube when they open up Uber without Reese. you even saying before they didn't even know what it was and they were just ordering it and I'd see people on Twitter like Bro, someone's stealing your branding. And I'd be like, oh, wow. no, 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 just wait a day. Um, really? Because so you needed everything set up before you were going to drop Yeah, because we yeah. needed like to test and train the kitchens. But the point is, like, they see the Beast logo and they're like, oh, order. Same thing that's happening in Walmart. I haven't promoted it yet. And we're still selling crazy volumes. Like, today was pretty wild. Like, we're, not, we're only in a fraction of them. And we did over 100K today on Walmart. Jesus. And we're like, not in all of them on just Feastables. So that's just pure branding alone. So that's the thing. Like, you get to promote them here and you get to drive <laughs> sales. And then also just because everyone knows who you are, which is kind of my thesis. Like, every time I walk in Walmart, I have to take like 30, 40 pictures. Yeah. So if I had a product there, those same people would probably buy it, yeah. you know, which is is working. And I also think you specifically have goodwill with your audience. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that there are certain people who make content, and I don't think that the people like the creators. Exactly. They and, know by buying it, it's not just going to pay a Lamborghini or whatever dumb things. So, yeah, so, like, they're crushing it. Like, we're just getting started. So. Why would someone not want to support you? They're giving you money, I and agree. you're going to give the <laughs> fucking money away. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'll never use it to buy like a supercar or a mansion. It's just to pay my employees and you know, in the end, just give it all away. So if I'm going to buy a Hershey chocolate bar. Which is horse shit. Which is horse shit. <laughs> or a Feastable. Great. Great. Yeah. And the Hershey is going to go to what? What is that going to go to? Some rich guy. Some fucking rich dude. Yeah, yeah fuck that rich guy. Fuck him, dude. <laughs> buy Feastables every moment. <laughs> but... No, so it's like crazy. So, and if you extrapolate that, assume if we can be relevant like this for the next five years, maybe even ten, if I just kill myself, you know, <laughs> um, then it's like it just gets crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, as so somebody saying. being obsessed with YouTube, it doesn't like um, bother you that you don't tap into other markets that like just don't know about you. Yeah. Because like before Mark, and I'll be honest, before Mark brought you up. Had no idea who you were. One hundred percent. What kind yeah. kind of entertainment do you consume? The uh, black Black Panther. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Black Panther? Yeah. He likes that. Yeah. I gotcha. So it's like you gotta, <laughs> and it's like I don't think I know anybody who knows you unless they have kids, and then their kids know you. Yeah. So it's like I, I'm sure as somebody who's obsessive, that must bug you a little bit. Yeah. Well, it doesn't bug me. Content. It actually gets me more excited. So my big thing recently is like. You know, YouTube is the the platform that every month that has the most people come watch it more than anywhere else. So I really did want to try to get as big as possible and need number one on that because it was just kind of a no-brainer because no one has ever captured the audience that is YouTube. So that's kind of step one. I agree we are getting to the point now where it's like, not gonna like. There's no world where we're gonna wake up and have 500 million views of video. Like I feel like 100 million views of videos where it's like it's cap. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, which is where I do eventually want to do that stuff. I want to have like. I don't know, people like The Rock or whatever, people you might know in videos and also do things that appeal to more people. Um, but it's just like one of those things where if you try to do everything, you just kind of suck at everything. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. it's like YouTube, Google owns YouTube. Every time you search on Google, it funnels to YouTube, comes pre-installed on Android. It's like YouTube's just fucking cheat codes. Mm -hmm. And YouTube is the biggest platform ever, and it will be. It's the second biggest search engine behind Google. It's just fucking massive, and it's growing like this year over year. So it's also like, if I'm just number one here, and it just keeps growing year over year, then it's... That's that, interesting, though. That in and of itself is just beyond lucrative. Like, um, yeah, treating yourself as the YouTube show. And that's what that's always what I've wanted to be. Like that yeah, so yeah, the answer yeah, your question, it doesn't great. really make me feel bad. If any I like I'm in the best place to be. And I'm very excited because I see YouTube growing. And if I can just maintain what I have, I'm beyond ecstatic. Because I don't I don't need everyone in the world to know me. Um I just need to be the biggest YouTuber, to be honest. And you you don't have any reservations about Google's plan for YouTube in the next ten years. I mean, you just adapt. Whatever they do, you just Mm -hmm. Go with because I, I trust their ability to make a platform. Yeah, but I don't necessarily trust their ability to know content. 
Yeah, they might change the algorithm, whatever, but you just adjust. That's the thing. I'm not hard set on anything. And you I don't, don't mind adjusting. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Do they, they call you? Do they ask like advice and shit? <laughs> no. Get the Is fuck. Is that crazy out of to you? Wow. The arrogance, bro. Why why would they? Because you mastered it. It's like with fucking Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. It's like you hacked the FBI. We're hiring. Come you. on, we yeah. like. Well, this. I mean, everything I believe is out there on the internet, so they probably will watch all my podcasts and stuff. But like drop that. the yeah, ego. Just, Have a phone call every yeah, once yeah, in a while with crazy. you and say, Come on, what do Susan, people like? Where are Why we? do they and like you? Are them? their number one brand ambassador? Yeah. Nobody at your level speaks about YouTube as glowingly as you do. Yeah, I mean, the, we have a great relationship. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Like, if I have problems, it's not like they disrespect me. YouTube's great. Um, okay. okay, but it's just one of those things where I just, I'm just kind of doing my own thing. And, and you're cool. I right? love the platform. I think they should change nothing and just keep it how it is. I Actually, it. I think what's kind of smart about them is that their algorithm gets to be honest because they don't have their own content. Exactly. Whereas like a Netflix algorithm is not honest. They're going to promote their own shit. Super biased, yeah. I love the fact that they have almost nothing. I, I guess they partner on certain things, but very they don't rare. do that anymore. They yeah, stop that. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever they push out, is, and I, that's the thing. There's no feedback for me to give. I love the algorithm. Yeah. It gives you what you want to watch. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. Yeah. Um, but no, eventually, what would you say your demo is? Like even stuff like this gets it out to a lot of older people. I assume your audience is like high. Yeah. Mark, 55, 60. 55, 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, is it like mid-20s, right? It's like 25, 35. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So like that's why I want to start doing stuff like this in the future. Um, what, what hey, was you're different, welcome, dude. What was, yeah. different about, <laughs> what was different about the Squid Game video? What did you tap into that... I think it's it it just a, well, there's a lot of things. Cause A, it was a mega giga crazy trend, but that was also the first video we ever used CGI. I was like, mm. I at most spent like $2 million on a video up to that point. That one we spent 4.2 million. So like we took, it was like a mega Jesus fucking Christ. ultra trend, supercharged with our biggest budget ever. I, we scrapped all our videos, went all hands on deck, 30 yeah. minutes of just everything. I poured my heart and soul into it. And like that, I think it was just like a right combination of everything. More money, more effort, more time, super trend, stir it all together. How and was the that only day? ad you did was for your bar, I'm pretty sure, on that episode, right? No, there was, no, a, video one yeah, there was, there was a mobile app. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was right. great. The, mobile, the way you guys did the, uh, the, the integrated it with yeah, the phone right, bit, Which I don't right. understand why more people don't do that. Make it part of the content yeah. so it's not boring. Yeah. 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 And how was that day? Like, that day the, the Squid Game video comes out, you push publish. Oh, what is the next, like, 12 hours? It's crazy, because, like, that month we gained on just the English channel, 9 million subscribers. No, actually, I think we gained 10 million subscribers Jesus. that month. Jesus. Yeah, fucking crazy. Across so, all the platforms that month, we gained like 25 million. His fucking warm hand was yeah. warm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Beating that squid. You know what I'm it was wild. Like, but like, what that, was that, that day? Broke the what world was that record day? for like, most views uh, on a single YouTube video in a day. Did you know within the first hour you were like, this oh, is 100%. Shit. Yeah. Did you it know before like, you posted it? Oh, yeah. Uh, before. I had a, so what I did there, which I don't normally do, is I was hyping it up on TikTok, which actually worked really well. So like I was showing the sets well, that's, before. Yeah, that's true. You've never did a promo really. Exactly. For a bit. Because like, I don't know, but that one we were just so fucking balls deep money spent. Like I needed this to do well or yeah. I'm fucked. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This is like betting the farm on the video. So uh, we were pr like showing the sets, getting people hyped. And like we were getting 30 million views on a TikTok just like of people just showing them parts of the video. Not even showing the contestants, just like, hey, look what we built. And they were like exploding. So like by the time we uploaded, there were like millions of people on the channel just like refreshing, waiting for it to go live. Oh. And there were like people begging for us to drop the video. So, which that worked really well. It was like, that's the thing, like Squid Game was us doing everything perfect with a giga trend. It's gonna be damn near impossible to like recreate all that. Like every factor just the fell The perfect into video with the perfect And the turnaround trend. was quick. With the perfect type, with the perfect, Everything. Like, I don't even know. Like, in hindsight, I don't know how we did it. 45 days. It was fucking hell. That's and insane. 150 people working on that video. It was, like, fucking crazy. Yeah. Even, like, um. so, and we were pulling on every connection I had. Like, we had different YouTubers. Like, we put squibs on them, these devices, so we could kill them by yeah, popping this. Remember, yeah. And, like, so, like, that connected to, like, the Wi-Fi center in this giant stadium that we're doing the red light, green light. But the first day we went to film, the Wi-Fi crashed. There was too oh many there. Gosh. Um, and then um, we reboot it, and now certain phones are dying. Fucking hell. So I gave everyone who came out $1,000, all 456,000 of them. I was like, oh! hey, sorry. Ah, ah. So that's why I went from 3.5 million to 4.2. Because, yeah, because basically, like, we had to re-upgrade the system in the stadium to handle 456 individual <laughs> devices it so we could sucks. kill them. $456,000? Yeah, so I gave them all grand. I was like, all right, just come back in the morning. You could have given them $500. You know that, right? Yeah. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> I just, and then, so we did that. 
And so that threw on more. And this was like all these, um, it's actually supposed to be a $2 million video that turned into 4.2 million. And that's when I was like, 2 million was already crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck. By the end of it, I'm just like, bro, this doesn't crush. How much does Squid Game cost? What? The actual the show. show. Uh, I think it was like 9 million, right? Wow. <laughs> and that was 10 Look episodes. Look at the ROI. <laughs> was like eight hours of content. Mine was like a 25 minute video. <laughs> Look at the ROI, bro. That is yeah. insane. So, but bro, yeah. I'm crying. But it's because, like, <laughs> yeah. you spend most, more mo than most than movies <laughs> are yeah. less than that. Like. But, bro. No. It, was, it was a lot, man, because we were like, we're also in bumfuck nowhere, so there's, there's not studio space. There's I love one, that you stayed in North Carolina. Yeah, That's but so one fire. of the negatives of North Carolina is there's not studio space. Infrastructure. Yeah, so it's not it, like yeah. I can just go rent a bunch of like studio so, so I'm like, oh, the red light green light was like in a rodeo station where they like fucking wrangle cows and shit, <laughs> and we're like clear out the animals. Wow. <laughs> we need a we need a fucking set here, and then we're like. Uh, any churches here with open? Because there's a lot of churches in North Carolina, not a lot of warehouses. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so you know, you find like a church here for a set, and then you like we have our big studio, and you do sets here, and like we're like scraping the barrel to find like space to build all this shit. Whoa. Um, and then yeah, and then like you have to build the infrastructure for the Wi-Fi. Just even that system, man, was. So crazy. We had to build a custom, which I didn't. Obviously, we hired people like William Osman and other people, build a custom app. So it has all the numbers of the players so I can tap and kill them when they die. So like their squib explodes. Yeah. But we also have to make sure their squib doesn't light on fire. And That's it's it's crazy, man. All this in 45 days while building these sets, while also doing CGI for the first time. And yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I just like, I was terrified, That's man. what I was thinking. I was watching. I was like, there's no way that one of these didn't fucking light on fire or yeah. something happened. Because so you actually things. have like a mini... Yeah, I don't want to it, call it explosion, yeah, but like... Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was smoke. And yeah. that's how we got the real effect. Yeah, it yeah. was... Uh, Thing was red at first, and then I was like, "Fuck!" It like clicked like before we were about to film. I was like, "We can't have blood. <laughs> we're fucked." Is, yeah. oh, wow. Which is why yeah. we switched the color. Yeah, um, and it was so much. So between that, which we've never done before, and our custom app, and yeah. the Wi-Fi system, and these crazy sets, like walls, like taller than I've ever seen before. Plus, like you know, the top of it's a stadium. And when we're filming, they're like, you know, we're just gonna turn it into blue sky, like Squid Game. We're just gonna CG it. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, You're just, yeah. We're just gonna CG oh, this roof. That up. was your CGI? Was yeah, the roof? Yeah, all, all everything, man. It was fucking, and I'd never done this any before. So I was just losing my goddamn mind left and right because where the fuck yeah, is right there? Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. I like that you did 456 too. Yeah. 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 Well, because I couldn't afford to do more. Oh my God. The fuck is this zooming? Um, this is bad for retention. So, yeah, this that sky up there is not real. Oh, Starting wow. at the end of the blue is all CGI? Yeah, all CGI. Brilliant. We're in a studio. What we did was we took the lights, so we had to install a grid system, yep. and then we angled the lights in a way where it was looking like it came from a sun. So oh, all the lights wow. came from a certain direction to mimic a sun. Wow. Yeah, and then obviously those explosions are real. Yeah. You gotta get a better spot for the next red light, right? Hey, yeah. so Carl. They're all so quiet. It made me feel so weird standing in front of all these people while they didn't talk. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't know. They're just They were all just staring at me. It made me feel uncomfortable. Do you know if any of the people that came hadn't seen Squid Game yet? Oh, quite, sure. quite a few. Yeah, yeah. Really? I think I'm coming up. I asked one of them and they say that. Where is she? Uh. Oh, yeah. That girl. She, she never she, saw it. Yeah, she's playing the main character and she had never seen it. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, oh, that's crazy. And what is this day, like, you wake up, this is your Super Bowl. You spent $5 million yeah, on it. That's everything. What is the pregame ritual yeah. that you have? Well, I mean, well, so we do this, but this is the second time we did it because the first time we had to, you know, fix the routers and right. everything. But, like, do you sleep, like, okay, I need eight hours? Oh, like, no, four? we were dying. We were all dying. Wow. That was, that was a lot. That was that was the hardest thing our team's ever done. I mean, I was just work like we look at all those people in those red suits piled around the yep. side. Yeah. I mean, like wow. everything, man. Like 150 people were working on this video. I just those were the most hectic 45 days of my entire existence. Each one of the red suits is just uh, home team or somebody you're hiring. Uh, bro, I don't even like a remember. day hire. 
the we just I well this was the second day so the second day I, I think we literally just pulled in people like anyone wow. that knew anyone I just needed people because we mm. ran out of people to pull from wow yeah and what is your mood like on a day like this would you would you consider yourself oh, I'm so stressed are you easy to work with on a day like this <laughs> uh, probably, I'm not talking to many people like I'm obsessing over like how do we get this the retention good what like you know like what do I say you how have one to, shot for a lot of exactly this. this I can't redo if I don't like this is a real c- c- uh, countdown going and if I don't like it. There's nothing I can do about it right. after I fail. That's the big thing with a lot of our videos is because they're not scripted. Like if there's like a moment where it's like, hit the shot, you make a million dollars. If you don't get the shot, I have to pay the guy whether or not he makes it. You know, or I have to pay the guy if he makes it. So like if we don't film it properly, there's no like, oh, the cameras weren't right. Yeah, so you're yeah. pretty intense. Are you ever yelling at people? Like after the video, do you have to be like, hey, I'm sorry about that? I'm oh, no, no, no. Obviously not. I mean, <laughs> it'd be dumb if I yelled at people. Uh, so well, you're just calm though. Focus you should try calm. yelling, bro. That shit works. Bro. <laughs> That's how I do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty effective. Wait, it what feels is, good if nothing else. Yeah. Oh, yes. What's some of the other CG? He's just doing this so he can flag the interview if he doesn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I like going through this while he's here. This oh, it's yeah. insane. Yeah. Wait, where the fuck is this mouse? Bro, you guys gotta get a better setup. This is annoying. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what is the spike? Oh, I know. Yeah. Where the fuck is a wide shot? So, like, none of this, oh, that's all blue screen. All, all this background is like CG. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, this is black. Okay. Here. But what, yeah, like, all that is blue screen. Uh, actually, black screen. Uh, the earlier one is blue. So this was just basically what we did was we got this black mat, just super black that doesn't reflect light. And then that's our studio. So it's like a wall covered uh-huh. in all black. It's a super big studio. And then the floor is covered in all black. And then they just lowered the floor and then added poles. Gotcha. So it's like yeah, yeah. I don't, bro, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just praying it looked good. <laughs> this this was all blue screen. None of that's real. So I'm also like, bro, this is going to be horse shit. So we're standing in front of just these blue screens, and they took this and, like, um, CG'd it down. Oops, down here. So what the fuck? Oh, yeah. See down there, right below the foam pit? Yep. That thing's there. So it's like, bro, I didn't even know what these guys were talking about. So crispy are the goats, the people who worked on it. So we're in a different room, blue screen in front of these things where we pick the balls, and they're like, yeah, we're just going to put it below the foam pit that's in that uh, fucking warehouse covered in this, and then we're going to put these spikes here. And and I was like, there's just no shot. So this is two shots Come on, on top of each other. Ah, exactly. It's shit. crazy. And I'm literally, I'm losing my mind. I'm looking at him. I'm like, Micah, you're fucking crazy. If you think this is going to look good, just you're just going to magically stack these shots. And one of these shots is just straight up a fucking blue screen. This and is one of the most impressive parts that's of the video. Amazing. Oh, yeah. It's is great. the altitude. And yeah. I was like, how yeah, tall I was, is yeah. the fucking so, I was just here, wondering this. Here, hey, can you put your hand on that TV? Go up to the, on the left thing. Go up higher. So right there, everything below that is, is f- not, not real. real. So we built that wow. and everything above it. But wow. now move it to the right. Uh, move it to the right. Right there, that is real. Yep. That's the people outside the studio standing in front of blue screens, and they're, they CG it in. So this is the last one, but in the other ones, there's tons of people there. So huh. they're like... They're, bro, they're fucking, I don't know. How was crazy. that feeling giving up all that control? Oh, to I was these- terrified. I was fucking yeah. terrified. I was like, I, I was certain this was just going to turn out horse shit. You'd see like shitty green screen, you know, whatever. Yeah. They pulled through. Um, I felt a little bit better after we finished. There was like a team of like 30 people or something crazy just in there. We had we took one of our rooms and converted it to just a giant editing room. Yeah. Yeah. And once they were just like going ham, I was like, okay, now and I feel a little they better. They were supremely confident when they were speaking to you about yeah, it? They they were, like, they're, yeah, they were, they were, which is why it's great working with professionals because I don't know shit. Yeah. They're like, oh, no, this will be great. And I'm like, what the fuck yeah, do you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, it better be. What do you mean? Yeah, it better be. Yeah. Um, I was like, this just doesn't feel good. Like, how? 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 Are, I'd look over and be like, this is 10 feet in there. He'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, but in the video, it's 500 feet. He's like, yeah. I was like, how? How the fuck do you <laughs> yeah, mean? Yeah, 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 and he'd be like, that wide shot over there. I'm like, what? <laughs> All right, more, more stuff from this okay, video. Yeah, sorry. Go. We're hurting retention. How many views is no, that no, now? I'm, I'm, uh, probably just shy of, well, English or everything. English yeah. and then everything. Uh, 280 English, probably 400 everything. 280 is almost the population of America. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. That, bro. That's crazy. Uh, this this scene wasn't that crazy. Um, we gave them the bag of marbles. <laughs> they do it. Yeah. This I don't know. A lot of them were <laughs> very dramatic, which is cool. It's good content. Uh, some of them, it just didn't even feel real because some of them would play it up. <laughs> I feel like you don't have to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the the ad. I don't know. Was there anything else? Ad cool? was fucking. Glass. Yeah, the ad is. Oh, smart. the fucking glass bridge. Yes, this was. Look great, at yeah. that. This this also doubled. Uh. No, that so everything below the the foam pit was basically sitting on the ground and it. Uh, oh wait, no, no. So the um, 
what is it? The tug of war one yep. was just sitting on top of that. And then when we went and filmed in the other studio for the marbles, here they were pulling the road off of it and underneath it was this. So we built tug of war on top of that. On top of it, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. why it looks uh, similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but n- then we just put that foam pit down. So but every- below the foam pit is, is, is not real. Is not real. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. But so the you jump, you do fall in a real foam pit and then everything below we just did to make it look more dramatic. Phenomenal. Mm. Oh, and wow. then like, these shots are fucking crazy. What? Oh my God. Like, I don't know how they fucking did it. Look at that shit. Yeah, that's great. So that's why I did well, because like I don't I don't even I don't even know how we did this. It's fucking wild. And it was genuinely terrifying when those things fell through. Yeah. Like yeah. It's crazy I, how this played out like it did in the show. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah they the just actual psychology the of it. Was oh, the same. Was on point. Yeah. No, you could jump, skip me. I took the risk on this one. Yeah. You do it on the next one. And I tried not to influence it too much. So like, yeah. How I much just, do you coach the actual contestants? I mean, I was telling them, but they had the full authority to do whatever they want. So I'd be like, "Hey, you should really go. Time's running out." And they'd be like, "Okay." <laughs> Have you ever had that where contestant just botched a video? Oh, all the time. Really? It's, it's annoying. Like sometimes you'll give someone a hundred grand and they'll just be like, "Thanks," and I'll be like, "Anything else you want to say?" And I know, like, if they don't say something... Please they, have a dying they, mom. Please have a well, dying mom. Well, not that. Please have a dying it's mom. Like, it's more like, anytime I upload a video where someone's, like, doesn't freak out, people in the comments are like, oh, it's fake. And there's just all these conspiracy uh, theories. And everyone's, like, certain. Like, if I won 100 grand, I wouldn't react. The only explanation for why they wouldn't freak out is Mr. Beast fakes it. Not that this is an introvert or anything. That's why part of the uh, Buried Alive video I didn't believe because you didn't seem scared. Oh, really? And it and seems you like you the were most trying terrifying to hide thing. Because he's in. Alex Honnold, bro. Yeah, yeah. but I'm like, <laughs> yo, anybody in that position would be like... Agreed. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't That's you keep good. the footage of you being stuck, man? I just... You didn't think it worked in the video? No, I just like, I don't want to scare people. Because uh, like, the, my biggest thing is I knew factually I was safe. And I didn't want to... My biggest thing is I don't want to deceive. Man. So I didn't want people to think I wasn't in a safe position. Because I knew... Like, I'd freak out, but then I'd calm myself down by being like... This is safe. Mm, We've tested it. We spent half a million dollars making this fucking coffin. I know I'm fine. But then if I didn't portray that and people thought I could die, then I'm a reckless YouTuber. Oh, he put his fucking life on the line. Mm. Uh, Yeah, but this part at the end was crazy. Like, I don't know what the fuck was going on here. Like, right here, I'm, like, losing my mind. I'm like, guys, like, because I'm thinking, and I kept saying to Tariq, like, if everyone gets out here, like there is just no winner yeah. but then I was like I was turning around but I was like Tariq but if there's no winner they're gonna think I rigged this to save money this is gonna be blue ball there, there has to be a winner but I can't rig it I was like what the fuck did I do and there's 10 seconds and none of them are jumping uh, yeah and then it came down to here and yeah a bunch oh. of them got out and I was freaking out here too I was like god damn it like now this is really bad for the story like yeah uh, you know cause none of them whatever but it ended up working out. No one cared. Oh, we just all crazy. the people who were still on there at zero seconds got out. You got yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then the very end, instead of a knife fight, you do musical chairs. <laughs> musical chairs. Yeah. What other options did you have where you were like, okay, we can't do the knife fight. What else can we do? Yeah, I just I like simplicity. So everyone knows how to play musical chairs. I could have made it more advanced, but you, you know, we knew this would get a couple hundred million views, and so the more complicated it is, the less you have to explain the game. Exactly, I hate explaining. Yeah, yeah, like ideally, yeah, yeah, things yeah. are just like implicit. You keep the the rhythm going. Yeah. Oh, that's. I would, yeah, I would say one criticism about Squid Game is the last game. I still don't know what the I fuck it was. I don't understand it. But people, but obviously they made it for Koreans who do understand. Of course, it. of yeah. course. But it'd be nice since we're watching. Yeah. It, like, you know crazy. how about you just fucking predict your show's gonna blow up worldwide. in America? Yeah. Why yeah. did you do that? Just fucking <laughs> what the fuck? See the future <laughs> with your unlimited money. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I oh mean, wow. You had the right yeah. title. You had a good you thumbnail. Had it all. Oh man. But, um, anyways, that that did crazy and. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because i got to save you some money. It's going to cost you absolutely nothing. Think about that. I'm going to save you money. It's going to cost you absolutely nothing. You're just going to get honey, okay? You're going to get honey. Honey, not the thing that fucking bears want, not the thing bees want, the thing that saves you money every time you check out when you're buying something on the internet. If there is a coupon for it, they got your back. You're buying something on the internet and all of a sudden you see that little field. It's like, insert coupon here. You never have it. I never have it. Nobody ever fucking has it. Honey has it. It's got your back. This is how simple it is. It's a browser extension. You don't even have to buy it, okay? You can get it at joinhoney.com slash flagrant, okay? You get it at joinhoney.com slash flagrant, okay? And what happens is when you're buying something, when you check out, the Honey button appears, and all you have to do is click apply coupons, and you wait a few seconds, Honey searches for coupons, and if it can find some for that site, 
They literally apply them and you watch the price drops. You save money, it doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is go to joinhoney.com slash flagrant, okay? You join it for free, free, and it saves you money whenever you buy something on the internet, which is the only place we buy things anymore anyway. You are so welcome that we're giving you this opportunity. Joinhoney.com slash flagrant, show support for this show, and save yourself some fucking money. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because uh, some of y'all are sleeping too much, okay? You could be playing video games 24 hours a day, but for some reason you're trying to sleep. Why? You don't have the energy? Why? Because you're not on the SUPS, okay? Gamer SUPS has got your back, okay? Best energy drink on the market right now is the SUPS. That waifu, absolutely amazing. Reselling on eBay, two, three hundred dollars. But this powder right here, not only does it save you money, okay? It also saves your health. All those other energy drinks are absolutely horrible for you. This one right here, zero calories, it's got nootropics, it's got zero sugar, it's got organic caffeine, it's got no fillers, and it's got six of the body's most crucial vitamins and minerals, and of course it got electrolytes because your ass need that to stay up gaming, okay? Gamer Subs has got your back. And right now, even with all that that I said, I can't believe I'm still gonna offer a discount for you guys. I really can't believe that. But if you go to Gamersups, G-A-M-E-R-S-U-P-P-S dot G-G, and use the code flagrant at checkout, you're gonna get 10% off your order. That's G-A-M-E-R-S-U-P-P-S dot G-G. I cannot believe I just made that offer. You better go get it if you need energy or if you don't before I relinquish that. Relinquish it? Take it back? You know what, if I had some gamer subs, I'd probably get that fucking word right. But I'm a little tired. Maybe that's the sign that I need to get my sup on. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to my subs. You get back to the show, peace. So it's it's crazy just to see it, because uh, the other channels as well, this video like in Spanish, I think popped off. And that's what's funny is I visited, um, I sometimes, because our videos, we end up going to places that don't speak English. And it's like so interesting because before, no one and would now. see me. And now it's like, they're just like, gringo, and they just run up to me. And, like, <laughs> yeah. and then there's like hordes of them. Is it interesting what videos work well in specific cultures? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, like, oh, it, this video about like pizza worked really good in Italy or something like that? Yeah, for the most part, though, it's always the same. Like, he, even here in Spanish, it's me burying myself alive, this 100 person video, wow. Squid Game, this. It's like. So it's just tapping into basic human emotion. Yeah, all basically. humans react the it's same just the thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. A video is not going to get 100 plus million views in English if it doesn't appeal to just a broad audience. Yeah. So you translate it, it's going to do the same thing in other cultures. Yeah. Like, because not mo most of our jokers, jokes aren't American specific. They're right. like anywhere in the world. Yeah. So that's what's great because then, you know, it gets 74 million views here. It gets. Are you flipping the thumbs for the different places at all or no? Yeah. yeah. So, like, see how that says 100 personas? Yeah, but outside of just the, the words on there? No, the you... thumbnail's already great, so we don't really need to change them. Mm. Okay. Yeah, they're working regardless. Yeah. And I'm so curious, are there places that you go where you don't get recognized? Like different countries and things like that where you're kind of like relieved? If we're not dubbed in them, then it's great. But that's where I am fucking myself in the future. Yeah. <laughs> then there's going to be no escape. No, no anonymity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we pulled you're going to need that island, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's funny too is like, so we also do the same thing on our gaming channel and our React channel. So it's just like, it's doing better than I even thought because this is our, our third channel dubbed in a different language. And even this, like look at the views Holy it's getting for a video. Yeah. It's something you did that I thought was so clever, and correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like I read this somewhere, but you, for your reaction channel, hired someone that was high up with the it? Fine Bros, right? Uh, what, to have people react to it? They're, that was running the reaction channel. You hired people that were working within other reaction channels. For our English one or these? For the yeah. English one. Yeah, yeah, exactly, 100%. You mean, tons of people have done it. Just Wait, what is that? What is that? So like, the, you hired someone It's not from, as revolutionary as you think. We just, when we started a reaction channel, we just hired lots of people who worked on other reaction channels. And they were already experts at yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But it's just so clever to me. Like yeah. you would do that within instead like, of working out yourself for two years. You would do it within it traditional out. business. Like oh, yeah. we're starting like uh, you know an entertainment division. We're going to hire the head of entertainment at Warner. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They did it with almost like, reaction everyone content. who works on these YouTube channels. They their end goal. Well, now this sounds arrogant, but most of them want to work for us. So it's usually not hard. Yeah. It's of course. Like, yeah. yeah. Like why would you work for a channel with the that gets a million views of video? Like Apple yeah. or something yeah. like that. Like everybody, if you're going to be in tech, you want to. Well, work if you're going to make yeah. content, you want to do the one that gets the most views, and so it's yeah. an easy sell. But same thing with this. This is our reaction channel in Spanish. And look at the views per video. Unbelievable. And this is just the sub of the that's channel. Unreal. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. And unbelievable. so then you do the same thing in Portuguese, Arabic, Japanese. You go down the list. What was and, the most surprising language um, for views? 
Uh, well, French is great because French has really good RP. It's like this one doesn't make shit. Mm. Like, um, I, I could show you because it's like it doesn't really matter that much. Like, how much do you? Let's see. If uh, the Mr. Beast Espanol channel gets 150 million views, how much money do you think it makes? How much? How, well, you guess. What do you think? If it makes in, in a month, yeah. 150 Just million how much, in a month. 150 million views. How much do you think that would bring in? Or let me 132. 132 million views. How much do you think that brought in? 130 in Spanish. Yeah. It's gonna be less than I think. I'm gonna. But well, we say, have long videos, mid rolls, everything. What do you think? I'm gonna say eighty five thousand. Yeah, you're basically on the dot. Wow. Yeah. So that's it's like because I would have guessed one hundred ten, but as soon as you say it's less than you think, I'm like yeah, eighty. Wow. 85. But French, on the other hand, is like a lot like American RPM. So it's like it's it's weird because when you go in these other languages, the more listeners they have, typically the lower the RPM. Right. But the less listeners, typically the more you make. So like. You, you could get hundreds of millions of views a month in Spanish and Portuguese, blah, blah, blah. But you can get like 30 million views a month in mm. French and German. You're doing like and, Flemish. And you're making more yeah. money. Mm. And because like, you it's also more disposable income in fr yeah, the first world. Yeah, it world, makes so. perfect sense. Yeah. It's not like a revolutionary finding. Yeah, yeah. But that is what's interesting is like. It's so smart to do this. We were, you know, Mark, Mark had this idea about dubbing the yeah. stand up. And yeah. doing it in different languages. And what we've found out is that people were already doing it. Like even the special that I put out, like somebody had put it in Portuguese. There's like a place, not on YouTube, they have like a, a, a torrent site for it, where people just put the subtitles on mm -hmm. it. They're not even I dubbing mean, yeah. it. toured Russia. Yeah. Off it, of a couple clips that someone put in Russia. That's something crazy. A buddy of mine who's a Russian comic told me, he's like, hey, the Russians are going to put out your thing subtitled. And I'm like, can you just ask them to like wait two weeks because we're almost <laughs> done selling it? He's like, okay, I'll ask. And then and they came back, he goes, they said they waited two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the Russians aren't that bad. They're reasonable <laughs> people, you know what I mean? But did you want them to wait so they didn't know your material? Or? No, I didn't want to, I didn't, we were, we were, we were doing a window on Moment House, so we were basically selling the special for two weeks. Yeah. And uh, I didn't want it to also be available just on the internet. Gotcha. Yeah, more exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, yo, just wait a couple weeks. I mean, yeah. you can put it out. But yeah, it's just so interesting. Like, you can tap into these markets. Yeah, man. Yeah, I insane. love that. And we this gotta is get so on clever. It. We got to get what on it. What percentage of your YouTube knowledge would you say is public? Almost all of it. I just go on podcasts and say it all the time. Which but is, there's nothing proprietary that you're like, ah, I don't want people to know about it's this very little, simple. You this just little make hack. make videos that people want to watch and YouTube promotes it. It's like, to yeah. a T, like, yeah. disgusting yeah. how simple it is. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like, yeah. really yeah. is. Yeah. Um, and, but the funny thing is people will fight me on that. And they'll be like, no, you don't just make videos people want to watch. You got to, like, play to the algorithm and you do this and that. And it's like, no. You just... Well, I mean... You're very good at making videos that people want to watch because you've analyzed what people yeah, watch. Yeah, exactly. Right? You and spent 30,000 hours you, you figuring out what people want to watch. Stop studying the algorithm and start studying human psychology and you'll crush it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Which is people are too busy studying the algorithm and they'll be like, this video and this video. Because like, they're trying to chase success and try, instead of chasing yeah. greatness. Like we've had yeah. a one minute video get 100 million views. We've had like a four minute video get 100 million views, an eight minute video, yeah. a 12 minute video, a 25 minute video. We've had every range. Like, yeah. doesn't fucking matter. But yeah. I sit, I, I'll listen to someone be like, you know, if you want a banger, it's got to be 10 minutes or above. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's, and all these things. Do you, like, do you ever watch YouTube tutorials of people saying how to get views oh, in their videos and just fucking laugh it's at it? Well, <laughs> recently it's gotten better. Everyone, oh, really? A lot of people now understand. Like, oh. But like three years ago, everyone was just not correct information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's kind of wild. Yeah. yeah, it's just crazy, man. It doesn't matter the length or anything. It's just got to be something people are interested in and they want to watch. Yeah. And so That's how right. many total employees would you say? Like, are these people remote or are they in North Carolina? Uh, they're remote. Because sometimes what we'll do is we'll cut a joke and then we'll, we'll have them localize the joke to like so it's more funny for their culture. So because of that, I want the people working on these to live to be in indigenous that to that smart. place. So they understand. Because like That's smart. if someone speaking Spanish lived here, they wouldn't understand it. Right, Mexico. Right, right. Oh, it is using Spain. a reference that yeah. people just don't get. Exactly. Oh, we don't yeah. have that restaurant. So we here. we only hire these people in their local countries so they can change the understand jokes. the culture. Yeah, uh -huh. localize the jokes is what we call them. Is it tough to get people to move to North Carolina? Uh, depends how badly I want them. If I want them, no. If if I don't, yeah, I mean. It's just a money equation, huh? Yeah, well, it's also just, I mean, like, the housing is cheaper, and you yeah. know, it's just in every way, it's, it's cool. It's just like the certain type of people. But yes, yeah, so you do have those typical people who are like, but I have a private tennis membership. And I'm like, well, <laughs> you're not fucking getting that here. Yeah, and yeah, they'll yeah. be like, well, I don't know if I can give that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But usually the, the people I'm looking for aren't those kinds are of guys. Are willing to give it yeah. up. How long before? Or just don't care in general, yeah. you know what I mean? How long before TV is completely on YouTube? Honestly... I think, I think the 
there's just a lot of easy money there and there's a lot of people who don't want it to die and are going to figure out ways to juice numbers, whether it be playing in the back of fucking taxi cab or on an airplane and things like that. And sports is the thing. It would have already happened if it wasn't for sports. Yeah, Sports. So like, as long as they're shilling out these crazy contracts, probably another five years, it's going to be really falling off. Ten years, completely dead in my opinion. Done, right? The only thing that changes that is sports. Mm. So and I guess it's not even worth it. Maybe or YouTube for, TV. Yeah, yeah, like I pay that's, for YouTube TV that's just what to I watch too. like yeah. Golden yeah. State Warriors, LeBron's playing. Yeah, I'll pay whatever yeah. fucking package it is. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, but that's why you I take that YouTube out of the TV. equation. Done. Yeah, I wonder if they would just make the move and just buy up the rights. But for if, basketball, that's where I football, think eventually like, it'll reach the point where getting the bigger audience will make more money than these lucrative cable contracts eventually, mm. um, because if if. Lakers and Golden State Warriors were streamed on YouTube, there's just no doubt in my mind that shit would have like 20, 30 million people watching because easy of access. Yeah. Whereas like it might only have 2 million on cable. Dude. And so there might be a time where they're just like, you know what? Like we don't want this fucking $10 billion deal. We're just going to go for the eyeballs and the money will just come. I Uh-oh. found myself... Uh- What's are, you, are you going to dissent? I know Dove is like old. Oh, hit us, business I, I, guy. I agree with it to a point. Right now, it's happening where the actual channels, like ABC, will own also the production companies making the shows. So while they can make it on both sides, that'll still propel it. So to your point, I'm just agreeing to your point. Yeah. But until it's completely, they have no ties to it. Like Netflix being just Netflix and yeah. eating what they kill. It'll it'll still. I think streaming houses will still exist, but traditional just like TV with ads. Well, there's no reason that that shouldn't exist on uh, on uh, on YouTube. So like right. prescriptive just break away and just keep doubling. I mean, down Amazon could theoretically buy the NFL. They're already doing Thursday games. Right. So like they could be the new Fox, CBS, which I think whatever, is what will happen. Or should. the NFL just does their like instead they of letting them fucking- make their. Oh, like fucking money on cables. Just have yeah. an NFL package that you pay twenty, thirty dollars a month for. There's the uh, UFC. NFL be the new Netflix. Yeah. yeah, literally overnight it would be. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, I was watching, and I do this all the time with UFC, and it, it is just so convenient. And convenience is going to propel everything. There's a UFC pay per view. I'll get home, and I'll realize, you know what? I am kind of interested in that last fight, and I'll pick up my fucking phone. And I'll order on my phone right there, and it's so simple and so That's seamless. That's where I don't know if I agree because I wish I wish they just put the fucking paywalls on YouTube. Like it's not about saving money. It's just I'm tired of making accounts. Like KSI's fight will be on one app, and Logan and Floyd yeah. will be on a different Yo, one. It is true. Making then, the account, and then UFC's yeah. over here. I don't. I just I can't be fucking bothered. But yeah. if they're like whatever the UFC fight that just happened, if it was just like a more convenient fight. YouTube. Well, that's pay-per-view. the genius of Apple Pay. Is Apple Pay. I just want to type in my email. And, but it doesn't. Apple Pay does it for some you. Some of these things, like these shitty sites, which the UFC one probably has it all figured out, but yeah. I think it's more the YouTube or boxing ones because they're all on different ones. Some yeah. of them don't like Chromecast or this yeah, stupid shit I'm much. buying on my phone yeah. and there's no app on my TV and I would just want to die. Yeah. Um, I feel that's why sports hasn't just uh, detached from everything because it's too much of an, a barrier for people to be like, okay, let me buy season pass. Especially old like, people who might yeah. not understand it, yeah. right? Like, Either that or you don't love it that much to pay for it. It's like I'll watch it if it's free, but I don't know. Love they're it enough 100%, to pay hundred dollars for it. There should be like a. So it's like they're uh, always uh, going to stay on networks. Well, they uh, should start like a Netflix, but for sports. So like roll up uh, baseball, NFL, NBA, mm-hmm. all of it, and it's just like this one thing has every sport, yeah. and it's just like thirty bucks a month. I bet you that shit would crush. Well, ESPN kind of is doing that. I mean, they don't own every single sport, but like, I mean, they have you got basketball, football. They have every sport the no UFCs. one cares about. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say Sorry. UFC? They have UFC. Yeah. Oh well, never mind. They have Monday Night Football. And Disney owns them. That's the thing. Why I think Disney's doing the right thing. Disney it's has like, played it, dude. They bought ESPN like twenty years ago. Bought ESPN. They have Hulu. And they have obviously Disney. Fox so they Studios. Have, yeah, Marvel. I mean, they're, they're fucking, they're doing the yeah. right thing in hey, the Disney, streaming space. You want to just find me? There you go. I'm, make my way I'm shocked. Would you cash that out to Disney? They have not offered you yeah. it's well, crazy. the craziest check I in have, history. I have been What's offered a number? pretty crazy one. What's, what is it? Um, Like, there's people, not like official term sheets, but, you know, like people that would actually like be able to afford it. Like, yeah, you know. A billion dollars, if we could own the channel and the companies and stuff like that. Like, and I'm like, oh, that sounds enticing, but <laughs> I don't know if I want to work for my YouTube channel. Yeah, um, but I, yeah, I'm pretty but sure. But you've been offered a billion dollars for your YouTube channel. Well, with all the companies, yeah, but not like again, not a term sheet, but like wow. people who would, if I if I took it serious, they would have been like, okay, oh. let's figure it out. Would that make you the youngest billionaire? Would that beat Zuckerberg? Uh, I think the youngest he was, self-made billionaire. Yeah, because yeah. there are a lot of people who are handed down wealth. And Kylie Jenner, yeah. but yeah, yeah. If you count her, she was 21. But outside of her, if you Google, it's like some guy's 26. Wow. 
Yeah. So you you got offered a B, bro. Basically, in passing, but and I know I, I could have pushed for something around there. Streaming company or I can't I can't, I can't go any further than that, but I mean I feel pretty confident someone would I mean just look at it. Like I told you the beast burger number. At I, but it's just a time thing. Like if you sit channels. for ten years, it'll be five bill. Or hopefully more. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your number right now? Uh it's so crazy I don't even want to say it because it's just I'm thinking where I want to be. Like if we have a mobile game company and I can just, you know, we got 100 million people playing it and we got 1000 physical beast burgers and Feastables is in 20,000 stores and we So have then it's not stuff. crazy. So say, it. what's the number that's going to take mean, it would, See, I'm going to sound dumb, but yeah. like probably like 10 billion, 20 yeah. billion. At least. Like that. I, yeah. I thought yeah. if you have 100 million reasonable. people playing well, I mean, the yeah, mobile game. Like, yeah, but that's where, if they give me the money now, but obviously in the future, I think we could be worth way more. Yeah. But not that that's like the end goal, but it's just- Then you know what's crazy? Like, You're worth more than WhatsApp. <laughs> not right now. Well, I, uh, that's your number and it's reasonable. WhatsApp no, but was not 9 right now. billion. I'm nowhere near that, but obviously, yeah. Can you let me fucking do this? No, right? because it's an inaccurate <laughs> comparison. Give five years, yes. Yeah. Wow. Or 10, maybe. Let's I'm see. just shocked that Disney hasn't said, can we have back catalog? Can we have access to back? Just a license. Just a license. Think about it. If I'm a parent. A licensing dog. Fuck. But if I'm a parent and I know that I can just give my kid an app, I don't want you searching all the crazy shit on the internet. You end up watching a flagrant video. Right? <laughs> Heaven I, forbid they're but watching I this. I want an app that has all this content that I know that will be okay for my kid to watch and it won't yeah. be too, too fucking crazy, whatever. Yeah. Like, are you telling me that isn't worth a few hundred million just to have access to the catalog? You're, so you're worth more than Pixar. Not, I can keep it on YouTube. It's but yours just still. They also have it, and they can do whatever they want, monetize yeah. it in whatever way that they want. They can put, put together, it on the streaming put it on the streaming whatever. services, yep. put an app. Like, well, I think we're going to do a Netflix show eventually. We've just been busy. I think after we do that, that's where it'll be interesting. Or maybe I'll do one, and then I'll sell it on my own. You already <laughs> did one. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's, that's the Coco Melon thing, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, I just want to do one because there are just a lot of older people that watch Netflix that don't watch us. Yeah. And YouTube's not great for episodic content. So like, if I wanted to do something where I fill a stadium with 10,000 people and it's 10 episodes and every episode we eliminate 10% of them, like that would fit better on Netflix than You have YouTube. to do something that fits the magnitude of okay. the space. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. I can do episodes because people go to Netflix to watch multiple episodes. Yeah. People go to YouTube for like... Right now. Like that. Give yeah. me the fuck off. So... I have a bunch of episodic stuff like that that I would love to do on Netflix because it's just a better platform for it. Um, and I just love to hit a new That's audience. right, because you might not get the retention if you have an eight-episode arc of a YouTube Bro, show. You're going to open up YouTube and be recommended episode four. Yeah, no, I hate when they do that. That always mm-hmm. happens. Part three, and I'm like, where the fuck is part exactly. one? That's the one yeah. reservation so that, with YouTube is like for scripted stuff like that. Like if you were to do a scripted show. Well, it's show, not even scripted, but yeah. Right, but just, if you were to do a scripted show, yeah. YouTube is prioritizing that retention, the click-through rate, the watch time, that might not necessarily land I, itself. Well, I also do want to do animations because I think I have some funny-ass ideas <laughs> that I think would do really well if we made some short films. Yeah. Um, like... like uh, <laughs> Fuck. Well, let me pull one of them. This one's a short and easy one. Obviously a banger. I think I should do it'd be an animation. <laughs> Obviously. Where, yeah, yeah. Well, if if it was like an animation where it's just me and I, I fly like a hundred YouTubers down to an island for like a paintball battle royale, which is what I did before. But in this animation, instead of giving them like paintball guns, it's real guns. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's like an evil, like yeah. Saw Mr. Beast one. <laughs> and it's like you know, if, if someone doesn't die every hour, I just pick someone random, they die. And I'm, and it's whoever wins, wins the island. So that, so it would start off with me, like, that's how I lure them all there. $100 million island. Winner walks away with the island. We got Logan, KSI, yeah. everyone there. Yeah. And then it's just like, you know, like a Saw level story. Where, yeah. And then whoever ends up winning. Oh, I love the dark. Yeah. I love yeah. this. It's going dark, dude. Yeah. I think that would be good. One. I have a couple others. The only problem is I told you them. I know for a fact. Don't let people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like an anime? Like, I know you like, like, yeah, I would love to like make that. An anime. Yeah, it's like, um, well, here, just cut this part. I'll tell you it, and then at the end, show Mark, his reaction. Kick-ass story. It's and a great story. It's yeah, a movie it's, too. Yeah. It's like ten episodes. We're back in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're back <laughs> in. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Exactly. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I have a ton of those that I'm sitting on that I think would be great for like. So these are all time. episodic concepts that you have. Yeah, exactly. I want to do animation in yeah. the future. Yeah, like, yeah. do basically like Pixar because I think it would be great. Yeah, and that would be fire. Has there been an episodic cartoon? 
like a long form, not like a. I don't think it's called episodic. Uh, I mean, any like anime. Yeah, everything. Anime yeah. is like that. There's yeah, like yeah. a oh, yeah, ten Dragon episode. Z, Death Note, Dragon Ball. There's Ball Z. infinite. You're gonna look like yeah. you. there's probably twenty million examples. Yeah. Anything in English? <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm saying that we grew up watching. Like for example, like The Simpsons isn't really episodic. You're not follow. Every episode is not like dependent on the last Spider-Man, one. Man, X Men, like all those. Yeah, there's, really. There's, no, but that's not like I'm talking like about. Dragon like, Ball Z would be one. Yeah, there is one storyline that you're following Bro, for Pokemon, the whole season. Dragon Ball Z, yeah, yeah. it's a perfect example. Because yeah. okay. Marvel is one episode, you fight one bad guy, then he's done. Then the next episode, you fight another yeah. bad guy, it's then he's there's, done. There's, there's episodic, then there's another procedural. Procedural. I think most of our cartoons were procedural because they knew the kids weren't going to maybe tune in one Saturday yeah, and they well, didn't want to the be fucked. Because you got to be able to just run it and you can't yeah. just run it all at the same time. I way. like this, this episodic idea. I think that's fire. Agreed. So I want to do a lot of that and actually show that I, I know how to do storytelling. Because yeah. a lot of people confuse our lack of conforming to like what does well on this platform to yeah. like not knowing how to tell a good story and slow yeah, it that's down. That's what does well. Exactly. Is that you yeah. know how to tell the story. I, and I think uh, I, credit to Logan Paul on this as well. Like, Logan's a great storyteller, too, yes. with his content. Yeah. The I 99 think, Originals is so good. It's phenomenal. Yeah. And it really separates it. And you watch it, and you know that there's something different. And the average person maybe subconsciously is drawn, but they don't know how to explain why. But at the end of the day, it's fucking story. If you're yep. locked into outcome in any way, if you're, if you're, like, feeling relieved at the end of anything, you were locked into a story. Yeah. yeah. If you feel an emotion at the end of anything, that story right there. One hundred percent. Biological yeah. reaction. That and also if you just don't even realize you're watching it, like you get into yeah, a yeah, 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 that's, yeah. That's when you know you've won. Yeah. When they just don't even realize it's going yeah. on. Hmm. Watch the next one. Binge. That's what happened replay. with the guy in the fucking. Um, you should have been the astronaut. The astronaut. Guy. Yeah, yeah. When he yeah. lived in that in the room for. Oh, gotcha. That video. That's days. fucking. Yeah. That, I, did I message? I messaged. You messaged me and goes, "This is the best piece of content I've ever seen." <laughs> Dude, I, it was unbelievable because I found myself like reacting. Like that, that's, I, that's the best compliment I could ever get. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, we should bring up that text. Is there a way that you yeah, can yeah, yeah. I'll find it. I'll find it. I, I mean, mean, I was blown away by that one because it was misdirect after misdirect. And I found myself, I brought it up on my phone like this, and I knew I liked it because I was like, all right, let me see what this <laughs> yeah. going. It's I went horizontal. Over. I was like, let yeah. me give it the whole screen. Oh, I love well, it. It's funny. Didn't you say that video wasn't planned because you had to switch the guy at the yeah, last minute? Yeah, we switched it the day before. So- it Best thing really. that could ever happen. The guy, the guy had COVID. That fucking nerdy astronaut would have sucked it up <laughs> too. He's watching this. Apologize. Hey, me. hey. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> he, <laughs> was biggest a, opportunity he was a nice. Life. He was wow. a nice gentleman. Eddie makes him apologize. <laughs> yeah, that that was crazy. Crazy, <laughs> crazy, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy, bro. I genuinely <laughs> felt bad because that guy <laughs> so, is probably watching and he's heartbroken yeah, he's right like, now, dude. Damn, it's bad enough he lost half uh, 300k. <laughs> I couldn't find the exact one, but can I leak another one of your texts? <laughs> okay. This, this is one he texted me where he just sent you giving the people all the money. He goes, Oh, the be- short? Beast the goat. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, was that TikTok or a short? That was a short on YouTube. Damn. Wait, yeah, yeah. this is the one where it's yeah. in the grocery store? Yeah. Do you want to give people $1,000? I love this. Or do you want $1,000? And then you reward the guy who gives it anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was I'm, a good one. I'm locked in. I like it. <laughs> we, um, we could go do something like that after this if you want. Oh, fuck oh. yeah. Oh, that'd be so fucking Let's fire. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you want $1,000 or do you want to give it to someone? He's just going to take it probably. Uh, <laughs> you're just like, oh, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. I've just seen someone do it, but they start off at like $5. It's like you could take the $5 or I'll give it to someone and double it. And then yeah. it keeps doubling. And there's a number that that person will take the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like uh, $8,500. Yeah. Bucks. Anyways, I couldn't yeah. find the videos. What's the most emotional reaction you've gotten where you've given someone money and the reaction was oh, not what yeah. you expected? Um. It was actually early on when I tipped a pizza delivery guy 10 grand. Yeah. And then he just, he didn't really react too much. But then the next day, he came back and I was like, oh God, what is he going to ask for more money? I was like, fuck. And I, I didn't want to answer, but I answered it anyways. Um, and because I filmed where I slept, which was very weird, but that was when I was poor. Um, <laughs> and he just was like, I opened the door and he just started crying. And he was like, I didn't even think this money was real. And he's like, I just took tomorrow off work and I haven't seen my kids in so long because I work every day. And like, I just got to spend a day with my daughter. And he's just like, this is the greatest day of my life. I'm so happy. And I was like, oh, wow. and then he hugged me and he's crying and tears are going down my shirt. And I'm like, oh. I don't even know what to like do. I was just like, wow. 
Um, and so that was that was like even I'm tearing up a little bit just thinking about it. you're yeah. tearing up. I, dude, bit. it's touching, man. Yeah, yeah. So like that was like the craziest it's reaction. Not Ten grand, you gave him a day with his kids. Exactly. And I'm like That's opening priceless. the door, about priceless, to be like, bro. bro, I don't have more money. Yeah. And then he hits me with that, and I just like 180, like so quick. I was like, fuck. Feels better crazy. than any car. Feels better than any shirt or any yeah. fucking expensive pair of pants. Still better than when I give people a million dollars, a hundred k. Like that nothing one. beats that one. Yeah. yeah. Do you find yourself chasing that a little bit? Like, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah it's fun. It's yeah. like. I think people overplay it. A lot of people in my situation would be like, yeah, I just, I love giving and it's the greatest thing yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. And it brings it about, and like, and even like PR people, when I do talk to them, they're always like, you should play it up more and act like, and it's just like, no, it just, it like, it just feels good. Yeah. Like, it's not like this crazy thing. I'm sure if I did heroin, it'd feel better. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> yeah. in the moment, it feels good and it makes me happy. And yeah, yeah I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I love That's that, amazing. dude. I, and you don't have video of when he came back, huh? No, I didn't. Even better. <laughs> That's what makes it pure. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's that. But it's also like when we do the, oh, now I get exposed to a lot of it because our food pantry. And what's interesting is like, you know, a lot of people, their thoughts of this are like, oh, it's freeloaders or people who could get, like, why don't they just get jobs or they're just leeching? But yeah, yeah. like a lot of them, um, when, I, the, when I'm there and working on it, it's like, you'll see like a lot of old ladies who yeah. back when they um, came up, it was just normal for the guy to work the job. They raised the kids. Yeah. Mm. And then now here they are 80 years old. Their husband just passes oh, yeah. and their income's totally gone. And so it's like, all right, I have food, rent, uh, phone bill, this and this. You know, one of them's got to go. But if you give them free food, then they can afford the other four things. And yeah. so it's like, they're always really emotional because it's like literally like, do I stop paying for my phone bill or rent yeah. or food? And like, obviously you got to pay for food. But if you give them like $100 worth of food for free, now they can, you know, put 50 towards rent, 50 towards their phone bill and they're great. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you are fucking amazing. I mean, that's yeah. awesome. That's so, that's so fucking uh, amazing. Whenever you get to help, like, this might be personal, but like whenever you get to help like a single parent or like a single mom, does that connect with you in a different way because you can empathize? No, I think all of it kind of hits the same. It's I just like when they smile and they're really happy, it just makes me happy. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, I mean, it's the greatest feeling ever. It's I, I, this is what I live for. I'm only gonna help people. No, I, I can play it up, but no, it just makes me feel good. And how often are you helping people, like personally, like not through like the other branches, but like off camera, where you just like, do you ever like just see a homeless guy and you're like, yeah, bro, here's well, hundred bucks. Yeah, tons. But like I feel like people the, don't see that and people will judge you and they'll be like, Well, that's oh, what is what's funny. And they're like, if only does a, it for views. They're like, if there, a camera's not there, he wouldn't be doing it. And I'm like, how do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Also, so what? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, are you doing it? Yeah. But even, yeah. You know and that's I mean? where it's like, you I know can how much content here. I got to make, dipshit? Yeah, but, <laughs> and, but if I listed the things I do, but I want camera, you to speak on that because no, I, I, I think then it's it important defeats to the know. purpose because then it looks like I yeah. just did it. Yeah. So I can stand here and say it's it. Fine, Tarek, can but, you do it on his behalf? Like, have you ever seen him just like, yeah? But that's the thing. It's so funny when they just like, Twitter. It's Twitter of all the places uh, where the, like, they just make crazy assumptions and like, um, they're just like, nah, if a camera wasn't there or or Mr. Beast is evil and it's like yeah, only yeah. nice guys or people who want to look nice, they're all evil or yeah. whatever like things. That, it's like, what do you even mean by that? Yeah. Like I'll see a tweet sometimes with like a thousand likes like, you know Mr. Beast is evil. Like no one's that nice. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> what does that mean? They're normally yes. not. <laughs> you are a unicorn. You're so rare. But, you, but are rare. You, you are rare. You are rare. You are a unicorn. Well, I don't take compliments well. I'm like you. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think you are rare and that's good. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah. Does it ever get you down though? You read a tweet and they're like, Mr. Beast Evil, and you're like, bro, I just spent all day building a food pantry and now I'm reading this shit. Like, not as much. No. Honestly, like if you're not getting hate, you're just irrelevant. So the fact like uh. it's just part of it. So I've I've actually gotten really numb to it and probably to a, a fault where I just it does nothing to me. Because mm -hmm. it's like if you know what you're doing is what you want to do and brings you fulfillment, and you're not doing anything wrong, why does it matter? You right. know, like I don't I don't need to prove to this guy that it is. Um and so yeah, I'm like super numb to it. Right. And that's where sometimes people will show me things and I'll read it and I'll be like, okay. And I'll just keep going out. It's like, what do you want me to do? Sit here and fucking cry, you yeah. know? Because mm. you probably do that with the good compliments too, where they're like, Mr. Beast is saving the world. And you're like, you're taking that in stride too. We're like, oh, I can't believe Most that too much. Influencers, 98% of their comments are great. They don't remember a single one of those. They just remember the one to two percent yeah. that are bad. And like proportionately, like a 90 plus percent approval rating is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. You're Killing it. You could be president with 50%. yeah. I mean, you could. That's like unheard of before, yeah. like you know, modern times. And so, um, yeah, I think like more people need to just take that mindset. If majority like me, the criticism I get isn't even valid. Who the fuck cares? Keep doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. If, assuming it's actually invalid. You know. Yeah. As long as you're proud of what you're doing. 
Yeah, well, and you're not hurting people and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. you're not secretly evil when Twitter claims you're evil. <laughs> Bro, when you put out these cartoons, they're going to be like, I told you that motherfucker was evil. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can't wait for Dark Mr. Yeah. Beast era. Oh, well, you gotta That's blur that crazy. again. Dead oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 yeah. sorry. He got it. He got it. Just bleep it. Just bleep it. Bleep the. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say it. He got it. We got it. We got it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Oh, man. Uh, this is dude, so cool. bro, we just, three months from now, if we he doesn't believe it, we just see that as a thing. I'm like some <laughs> Russian YouTuber. <laughs> it's a bro, I've been sitting on it for years. <laughs> well, there's that. I Russian. have like a hateful spite towards you forever. <laughs> this guy goes on to win a fucking grand. You put him in a video. An Oscar. Yeah. He's just, like this guy he becomes a world renowned filmmaker doing it and he's just like oh yeah I just heard it on the Schultz podcast <laughs> Christopher Nolan's new movie yeah Dude, I mean, that's fucking crazy. Michael Bay is listening <laughs> I mean are you upset with that Russian kid that bites all your shit oh, yeah you know what I'm talking there's this Russian kid that yeah, literally there's... copies every video word oh, for word steal my thumbnails scene for and scene. everything oh well it happens really I mean it's like everyone I don't know. Like they do be taking other people's shit. Oh, all, a lot of people. Not even just like other countries. Just like <laughs> yeah. even, even here, it's like I upload a video and like 200 people instantly do the same thing. Like the next day, like wow. intro verbatim and everything. But it's also like, who? I don't know. That comes with success. Yeah, like obviously it works. What I'm doing works, so they're gonna copy. I can't be yeah. like, hey, stop making money. I mean, yes. like it sucks that they can't put their own creative twist on it and come up with an original way, but. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. it's yeah. like there are better things for me to worry about. Like, I feel like of all the problems, like people copying me because I'm winning is a good problem. Yes. Right. You know, mm -hmm. do you yes. feel like it impacts the platform? Like I've heard people talk about, oh, the beastification of Agreed. YouTube. I, I think people need to take what I do and put their own twist on it. Because yeah. there are a lot of people who are just exact ripoffs of me. Mm -hmm. And it is annoying. Like, I don't care <laughs> that you do what I do. It doesn't matter. But it's like. Just in general, put your own twist on it. Because yeah, like yours. It, it does annoy people. Like these videos get enough views. We don't need more me. We need more original people. We need like, more you. Yeah. Like take what you like about me and mm. do it. But don't just copy my intros verbatim, my thumbnails verbatim, and just be a rip off of me. Like it just yeah, as a whole, it just makes the platform seem repetitive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, uh, that is. So it's like, yeah. but also part of why it's so bad is because I don't care and I let people do it. Yeah. But I think I've done it to a fault where now so many people do it. And it's I'm, lucrative probably. Yeah, it is. Like yeah. there are people who make millions of dollars just literally ripping off what I do. So it's like, if I'm letting it get to this point because I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to stay in my lane, do yeah. me, like Jeff Bezos says, focus on your, yeah. your viewers, not your competitors. Yeah. And then I look up and now there's tons of them. It's like, you know, yeah. maybe someone should roast them a little bit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> someone needs, like, everyone's like, oh, Mr. Beast is never going to put us Dude, in check. Can you react to them? Yeah, bro. Nah. <laughs> What's funny is the algorithm, that probably helps them out. Because, like, say if somebody finds one of those people first, and then they're going to be like, oh, well, if you like this content, you're you'll like, like this, this oh, other yeah. video that's uh, way better than this. <laughs> All real sweet here. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. You're they're Nike, bro. Nike? Yeah, I think it would be different if they made videos on the same level, but agreed. Like, most of them don't. A lot of them do fake it. Like, I mean, you could just look. Like, the channels are making like 50 grand a month based on the viewership, and they'll give away like 100 grand. It's like, no, you're not. I, I, I know you're not. Like, uh, if you were, you would be like talking, you would, you would be telling people, there's no way you're just going in debt and just being like, ah, yeah, it's great, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and so those are funny. Those have died down, but there was a point where a lot of people were faking it. And so it's like, it would make mine look less impressive because it's like, oh, this guy with the everybody's year, giving it away. Yeah, a tenth or something <laughs> just gave away a Lamborghini. Like, and yeah. yeah, it's like, you yeah, just well. killed the algorithm. I mean, oh, I sneezed. Yeah, yeah, just killed the algorithm. Hey, to do? bro, we have him peeing. We have you sneezing. Shh. Guys, get your shit. This episode is fucked, dude. Damn it. <laughs> oh. How long have we been Mark going? Market, edit that up, bro. Oh, let's fucking okay. go. Oh, nice. Um, Jimmy, we know we have to go do some philanthropic things. Maybe even eat dinner. Feed ourselves. Mm -hmm. I know you feed other people, other but people you can feed pull yourself. Pull okay, yes. we can feed them first. We're going to go so buy fire. food and give it to someone. I like this. The this guy that was just banging on my window as I pulled into here, just smashing it down. Wait, Wait really? Really? Yeah. He wants, is, is that a normal thing here where you just have people? Well, we usually food? send Dove down to to meet the guests. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he did good. It was like before we pulled in. You let uh, someone attack their car, Dove? Yeah, why didn't you follow us five miles down the Come road? Come on, <laughs> fucking asshole. Jeez. No. When I pulled here, I just opened the door and a guy just rode by going, holy shit, that's Mr. Beast on his little bike. <laughs> I was like, hey. And I saw him turning around. I was like, get me inside. <laughs> I can't believe you don't have security with you in New York City. We do, but I knew we would be here. Yeah. Oh, I'm curious. Where did you meet your girlfriend? Uh, oh, God. That one was... Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> No, the Mile High is. I was going to Antarctica. Mile High. Oh, hey, yo. Oh, you don't want a mile. Do you know Why what the Mile High yeah. Club is? <laughs> uh, 
No. Yeah. That's yes. when you uh, yeah. fornicate on an airplane. Mile ah, high. Gotcha. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, 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 the mile high is the transition, not the club. Um, okay. No, I was, we were going to Antarctica. So we're in South Africa, yeah. about to go to Antarctica. I got yeah. Logan, I got Casey Neistat, I got yeah. the entourage. We're doing it. They're your entourage. And, and then, yeah. And then yeah. we wake up and they're just like, everyone in Antarctica has COVID. And I'm just like, what does that mean? They're like, every single person in the base in Antarctica tested positive for COVID today. Because it's like this thing where they let like billionaires come in and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And so the billionaire before us was just like, Riddle fuck everyone, it. we're just going to yeah. give them all COVID. God. And so they're like all in Antarctica. They had to all be medevaced out and all of it. And so like we were like about to board the plane, fly there and do 50 hours in Antarctica. And now it's just a wasteland. There's no one there to like, like clear off the ice runway or anything. And so... We're like, you know, maybe we can figure it out. So we're like chilling in South Africa for a couple of days. And then um, I was just at dinner with a friend. And then her friend, who is my current girlfriend, just stopped by. I was like, she just stopped by to say hi to her. And like within five seconds, I was like, holy shit. That's this, the this girl is beautiful. And then, go. but I have to go through the test because like, I don't, I don't really get along with women if like they don't love learning, they're not obsessive, they don't have a hobby, they don't like their job. Like there are just certain things where if you have these traits, we get along really well. Yeah. And if you don't, like it's impossible for us to hang out. Yeah. Um, so I had to put her through the ringer and start asking questions. Yeah. What do you do? And then she was like, I'm an author. And I was like, fuck yeah, good. She has a hobby. And then we started talking and I just tried to get a feel if she likes learning. Like, you know, whatever. What do you like to do? You know, sounds cringe, but you know, like what kind of content you consume. And it was more like documentary educational yeah. and like the type of stuff she does. And she has multiple degrees. You could tell she likes learning. Yeah. She's about to get a neuroscience degree just for fun, not Fire. even to get a job. That's okay. amazing. Because like she invested in Bitcoin and did well, so she doesn't even like need it. And every, she was like checking all the boxes. And I had like these 10 things where like, if I meet a girl that's like beautiful and they have these 10 traits, like we're gonna be literally best friends. Right. Checked every single one of them. Nice feet, like, nice feet. Uh, no, that was 11. <laughs> okay, I, was gonna, I can, like, gotcha, gotcha, I can gotcha. give on that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is, my, my nerdiness yeah, yeah. is showing because now it's you, like. Now I'm here. Yeah. This, is where I, this is where I come in. <laughs> oh, no, I'm saying for you. Like, I'm like the true definition of a nerd. Like, I just need a partner who loves learning, you know, and just wants to improve. Like, for us now, like an idea of a date is just to like take an IQ test and then study and see if we can get it higher. Like, Hilarious. I love it and I love watching documentaries and like we'll go buy two books, we'll read it and like quiz each other. Absolute nerd. I'm a fucking nerd, but that's what I needed. Someone like that. Yeah. And it's like very hard to find someone like that. That's also like <laughs> obviously very beautiful. Hot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and so, yeah, the second she like checked all those boxes, this is probably like, the like 40th different girl I had talked to since my ex. And I was just waiting till I found someone that, like met all these criteria. The second she checked them, I was like, "That's it." Come on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, so then I waited a couple of days, and then I just DM'd her. I was like, "Oh, so your book? Can I read it?" She sent it over, read the whole book, and it was just like acting like it was the greatest book ever, asking her questions until we hung out again. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And then uh, you officially ask her, "You go, do you want to be my girlfriend?" And you guys just talk. Well, for that's a while where it's then... weird because she's in South Africa. Yeah. Which is like a thirty-hour flight away. She can't come to America because she doesn't have a visa. Yeah. So like. This is how you know I'm into her because I like a 30 hour flight there. And oh, a you 30 hour flight back. You've flown crazy. to go hang? Yeah. So I just fly out there to hang out with her and show that like I'm a real human because I literally saw her for like 20, 30 minutes at dinner. Yeah. And then I instantly flew back because the Antarctica shoot's canceled. Yeah. And so it's like, it was, it was a little weird at first because it's not like, oh, let's just hang out. It's like, hey, can I spend 30 hours on a plane to see you? Yeah. And then I instantly have to spend 30 hours the next day to fly back because yeah. I have a company to run. Yeah. And just flying there takes three entire days yeah. on a plane. Yeah, fucked. So then yeah. like the visa, pro oh, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, to get a visa, they're like, oh, it'll take two years. Like even like a tourist visa. Yeah, um, same with India to here. Yeah, it's, it's brutal. Yeah. But one thing that's interesting is if you, when people can't, so it's a website, you see all the dates. It'll be like, the first date's eight months down the road. Well, when people cancel, it's first come, first serve. And so when we found that out, so like, we'll, we'll, we had our appointment like eight or nine months out, but when someone canceled six months out, we just paid someone to sit there and refresh and then book it for <laughs> when it came out. Wow. So like someone would cancel six months out, Genius. ours, fucking Genius. ours. Now it's like, so it's like, great. All right, now I get her in six months. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking perfect. Fuck flying over there. Yeah. And then like <laughs> two days ago, bot. like we just, yeah, we, we just hired this uh, person to do it. And that's all they did. Like Brilliant. all day, just refresh that page. And then we get it four months out. And I'm like, fuck yeah, this is great. 
three months, every day I'm waking up and it's getting a little shorter. And then it's like a drought, like no cancellations, no nothing. I'm like, God damn it, I still gotta wait three months. That means I gotta fly to South Africa like four times. Who hire her and sponsor a visa? Copywriter. I don't know. All that shit takes time. Um, but this, this is the quickest method. That seems like a great solution. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know about all that. that cut that from the end. Cut that from the end. I'm yeah. freshing you, scream, shorty. <laughs> 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 she starts giving you attitude on the phone. You're like, eight months. Oops. <laughs> Weird. But then, then we, uh, then I wake up one day from like 20. <laughs> we, we have like no, one missed phone. No, shut up, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> he says, shut up, Doug. He tells me, shut got up, Doug. system here. <laughs> Romantic I, ass. I had three of these attorneys looking. I, those were options. They just take longer. Yeah, yeah. Um, but <laughs> shut up, bro. The flight, <laughs> and, and, and. jet lag. I didn't. I want, was looking. You don't think you got visa attorneys, dogs? Yeah, we had, yeah. We were paying out the ass on the attorneys. <laughs> yeah. But then I wake up one How day. Unless you have to pay them to lie to your girlfriend. <laughs> 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 I mean, she comes over just a bad date and I'm like you know what hey tell her she can't come back <laughs> uh, tell her the borders are closed I, I, did, I did think of that cause like I could fly over there and if things didn't go well I could just stop answering her calls and there's nothing she yeah. can do about it yeah. I, which I did think about that at one point I was like yeah. if I just like just didn't respond to her text. Like, what's she gonna do? It's over. She can't fly to America. It's over. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, America. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, I wake up one day to like 20 missed calls, and the person's like, "Yeah, we got an appointment like five hours from now, but she needs to go there." And she was still asleep, so I'm like calling her no. family to like go wake her up. And someone literally canceled like that day, and she got in there. And oh, then, oh wow. she got in. Yeah, she got in, and then we. It was like nine months down to like two weeks because we just took spots when people canceled. Mm. It was great. Um, and then there you go. <laughs> so now she's on the way. Uh, yeah, but then we used up like 80 of the 90 days you get on the tourist visa. So now we're having to figure out something else because now she can't really come because yeah. I, we're trying to save some days for Christmas. And I, I just can't fly to South Africa. It's so far away. Why does she just fly here? Because she can only come here 90 days a year. Oh. Tourist yeah. visa. But they don't really. That's, well, I know. Yeah. And so that's why we're about to push it. But there is a chance like she could come here and they're just like. Nah, fuck you. Go back to Africa. Yeah, you don't want to risk that. You go a few days over, they check the books, and they're like, oops, you can't come in. Yeah, well, the worst part is yeah. you don't know till you land. So she can land, go through everything, and then the border agent's like, nah, go back to fucking Africa. Yeah, but and at least she's flying. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Fuck her. Do you want to yeah. see me or not? Like, that's what yeah. you got to say. So that's what I'm currently You don't trying like to miles? Do. You don't like frequent flyer miles? <laughs> <laughs> you can use them to upgrade next time to a late flight. Uh, oh, man, that's crazy. But it's great because, yeah. like I said, she's a nerd like me. So, like, well, that's just, great. Yeah, it's perfect. So you guys do like Zoom dates and stuff? Uh, on, we honestly we play Scrabble on our phones and really? try to increase our. It's it's dumb. I feel it now that I say it out loud. <laughs> I'm realizing how bad it's gotten. No, but this it's is, great. This is like when you describe Game of Thrones to someone who's never watched it, and yeah. you're talking about what you believe is the coolest show ever. But yeah. you're like, dude, it's dragons and like <laughs> castles yeah. and like. And I'm like, what the fuck are you watching, I've bro? Ever, all I've ever wanted is someone to just read books with me, watch documentaries, and just like. Learn with me. Because then if you're not learning, then it's like, I can make 100 grand an hour or whatever. So it's like, how can I justify spending an hour of time with you yeah. if I'm not becoming a better person? What a flex that so was. So that's why it's yeah. like, I have to be getting better with my partner. Yeah. Or how the fuck am I going to invest <laughs> yeah. 20, 30,000 hours? You literally in know the value of your time. Yeah, basically. Like every time you go on a date with her, you were spending an immense amount but of money. That's where, and that's yeah. why I was so particular because- I would. It's hard because I've I've optimized my life so much in a way where down to the numbers I can't just shut it off and be like oh well this doesn't count I know the value of that two hour date at fucking Red Lobster I know it and so if I'm not getting smarter it's just like it just literally destroys my entire psychology yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. and I just like I like lose my mind I'll have a mental like fucking breakdown I'll be like this is not like if I extrapolate this out over 10 years, I'm fucked. Like, what am yeah. I doing? Yeah. But now that I have someone that makes me smarter and we like learn together, it's great. Yeah. I forward extrapolate, I'm way smarter and it works. How serious does that get? Like when you go to take a pee, are you like calculating how much <laughs> <laughs> time you're wasting well, right now? The problem is like, we're not robots, so we can't work all the time. Yeah. So the way I, I see I said it, that's a problem. It yeah, is, yeah, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> I wish you could. So you gotta, you gotta basically, when you're not working, you have to be full decompression. So like you're either working and going 100 miles an hour or you're like doing nothing you don't like, outsource everything. You shouldn't cook, you shouldn't touch anything, you shouldn't go shopping, you should only do what you feel like doing so you quickly recharge and then you can get right back to it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like there are certain things that are just necessary because you have to recharge, um, like just having fun and not working. What is but, decompression for you? Um, 
weirdly enough, watching documentaries, reading books, okay. that kind of stuff. Like yeah. that's the kind of stuff I enjoy or watching anime and things like that. Yeah. And when you're decompressing, you need to be fully decompressing. Yeah. So then like there's time between you working is as short as possible so you can just keep going. And what's the best documentary you've seen? Um, Loose I mean, the change. last one I watched was like on Alexander the Great. Because like at one point he, he ruled half the world yeah. and the other half was owned by like the... Um, Persian king at the yeah. time. And, and he, he bodied him too. Yeah, well, and they yeah. were like, and he was 23. And yeah. they were like, hey, let's just split the world 50-50. You can own half the world. I'll give you all this money. And the motherfucker was like, fuck you, I want it all. all the and when I heard that story, I was like, that's crazy. So I just like went balls deep and like learning about this yeah. crazy ass motherfucker. He looked at the moon and wept for he could not conquer it. Agreed, yeah, yeah. agreed. It's yeah. fucking crazy. And he never lost a major battle. Just such a badass yeah. in every yeah. way. Um, and so yeah, I watched Where did he die? One. He died in Persia, right? I, he died in a tent of a disease. It was whatever, when he was like 24. Yeah, that's right. He died young. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If he didn't, I think <laughs> history would be different. <laughs> Last 20, one, take it off. 24. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and crazy thing about Alexander the Great um, from Macedonia. In Italy? No, mm-hmm. Macedonia is its own country. Not even part of Greece anymore. So we imagine the most famous Greek person mm-hmm. isn't even Greek. Crazy. Isn't that I, wild? I must have skipped that part. I didn't know he was considered Greek. I never yeah, no. I, I just Isn't always, that the Greek Empire? Oh, yeah, he's Greek. Oh, Greek. interesting. I mean, he's considered I mean, we, Greek. We look at that as what, what, what Empire, year is yeah. Alexander the Great? This is like early Antigone, no? Yeah, I think so. I love You know your history. I like that. I like it a little bit. Yeah. I just think it's so fascinating that like the way that we learn the world is not reflective of how it is now. Yeah. So it's been carved up since. Yeah, it's you run know? by the, the winner and whoever yeah wants to tell the story. Yeah. yeah, like Napoleon to us is this French guy. <laughs> he's from French fucking guy, Corsica. Yeah, 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 also, yeah he's yeah, an yeah. Italian. Yeah, yeah. So when he like takes over Italy, they're like, well, yeah, you're from here. Well, you, you know, know what I mean? It's yeah. like one of the boys. Hitler, the German, who's also Austrian originally. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, it, I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense as you reflect back because, yeah, we keep carving it up. And we also, yeah, we think it's done, but it's not done at all. Yeah. Russia could very well just take over Ukraine, and now that's Russia again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The USSR split, what, in the 80s? Yeah. Like, the Mr. map Beast is might not take done. over South Africa, and now that's just its own country. His. Yeah, add it yeah. to America. And next time we open a Beast Burger, we're marching the Canadian border. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby! I was thinking about that when I had all those people there. I was like, if I really wanted to, I could see <laughs> oh, That's the crazy part. This yes, is, you know how you, you, know how you say like, I'm standing in front of a sea of 20,000 people, and I could get them to do whatever you I want. You could be president. <laughs> yeah. Storm a little building oh. here or there. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You know how you tell me, like, oh, if you didn't have religion, you'd be a psycho? Yeah, yeah. That's... A we're little, slowly, bro. If, 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 if Jimmy didn't grow up with Christianity, bro, he'd be leading an army to Canada. <laughs> like, think about that. Like, that's crazy. What Wait, do we got? What well, do we you got? You keep saying president. Uh, when I filmed this clip right here, it looks like I'm trying to become president. Oh. I don't know if you saw this one. Wait, how do I full screen it? Yeah. Does that yeah. look like I'm trying to be president? <laughs> the hand wave? <laughs> yeah. I, I, watching that back, I was like, God damn, that's so yeah. cringe. The queen's, but, the queen's not dead, bro. <laughs> He's right here, baby. Let's go. Uh, stop. That's how so do I pause it? crazy. Isn't that wild? Uh, that was nuts. after we shut it down and kicked people out. We couldn't let anyone else in the mall. Just I mean, is this up. surreal to you? Like, you look back at this and you're like, who is that guy in the video? No, I mean, it sounds weird, but I always knew I would be a YouTuber because I was just like, I'm going to do it or I'm going to die trying. I, yeah. This young? No. But I was like, I don't care if it takes 40, 50 But this years. didn't exist. When you were starting YouTube and Casey yeah. Neistat was vlogging, like, it oh, wasn't yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah, agreed. This is wild. Well, I have a video coming up. So did you see that video where I did Hi Me in a Year, Hi Me in Five yeah. Years? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. yeah. So the next one's Hi Me in 10 Years. goes up three years from now. So I filmed the video and had 8,000 subscribers. I'm a teenager in high school. And I did a video, Hi Me in 10 Years. Um, and that video, I think I, I'm like, when this goes up, I'm going to have a million subscribers. And that goes up three years from now. Oh, wow. wow. And collectively, we're on like 250, 300 million now. Wow. Um, what if you have a billion subscribers by the time Oh, man, up? if I was logged in, I would show you the video. Um, this is my computer. But yeah, it's like, I'm literally like, guys, I got a history test. You know, my mom's making me study. I don't want to fucking study. Like, I, and then I turn it around. I have 8,000 subscribers. And I was like, mark my words, in 10 years, I will have a million subscribers. I just don't care. I don't care. It's going to happen. I'm going to be a YouTuber. I'll see you in 10 years. Also, sorry, mom. I'm not studying for this fucking <laughs> <laughs> And then, boom, I did that. I literally just plugged it into my computer. Just no edit, just raw. Just threw it up there. And then I just hit the schedule button. I hit 10 years oh, later. Oh, you've already scheduled it. Yeah, yeah. So I filmed all those videos yeah. and scheduled it. So Brilliant. 
automatic like clockwork, it's going to go up in three years. Whether you like it, well, obviously you could change it, but yeah. whether you like it or not, it's going to go, oh. Yeah. Are you still making them? Are you going to no, make one? No, I did them all then. So I did high me in six months, high me in a year, high me in, I think, three years, high me in five years, which just this went public. 10. And then high me in 10. We'll be the th in three years from now. Yeah, and then I did high me when I'm 69 years old. And that was just like a fucking oh crazy one. <laughs> I was a teenager and a uh, funny number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that comes out mid-presidency. Yeah. Uh, 69 is sick, dude. <laughs> Feels a little sloppy. Uh, 69, that's going to be like his eighth term. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no. Oh, that's uh, crazy. Wait, Mr. Beast, high me in, f yeah, five years. Oh, it autofills. Yeah, this is me. So this is the same thing, but it's for 10 years is the next one that goes up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes up on October 4th, 2025. The fuck is this music? Numbers to whatever so I have 8, when you watch subscribers. this. What's up, guys? It's currently is that October Dana 4th. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's, little, right now, that's yes. a little baby me. <laughs> I'm probably like a freaking grown man when you see this. I'm still in high school right now, and easy. it's 2015 for me right now. Dude, if I don't have a million subscribers when you see this video my entire life has been a failure <laughs> I, have a million subs. I better have a million and i'm just eight thousand subscribers here no, eight thousand subscribers no no one talks to me everyone tells me i'm too obsessed everyone tells me to get a fucking life this that it, it's just like i'm a fucking small school in north carolina that's not how the world works shut the fuck up and then I schedule out these videos, upload them, and I'm like, fuck you guys. Oh, you're mean, so yeah. sociable when you're talking. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was great at talking to a camera. You were excellent people. at it. For someone well, who- Well, not, bro, watch this. Bro, I sound like a little bitch. <laughs> you're, hold, hold on, hold on. I'm not talking about your voice. I'm talking about how comfortable you are looking into a camera and just having a conversation yeah, with nobody. Experience, yeah. Yeah. That, is a, that is a weird thing to do. That was that was the only social interaction I had in my entire life, yeah, probably which is surprising to me. Yeah, which I would. That was the problem back then is that I could talk to a camera like crazy more but, than you could talk to people. Yeah, I couldn't talk to people. It was that literally was your practice. My, like yeah, my, like yeah, when I go yeah. to social gatherings or like my teachers, like they would legit be like, "Is he deaf?" Like they would ask my mom that, like because I just wouldn't talk in class or like anything. As I just. You like you just you get so beat in your head that like no one gives a flying fuck what you think about or like what you care about YouTube. Yeah. That's like you just don't even talk. And then after a while you just get used to not talking. And that was kind of my life back then, which is weird. Wow. So and the only social interaction you have was is when mostly you're the camera back the camera. then. Yeah. And so like me and my mom didn't have the best relationship because I didn't know how to communicate with her and I didn't know how to communicate. I just didn't know how to communicate. When do you learn problem. how to communicate? Uh did you go to therapy? What? Uh no. No, no therapy. But at I should have. I should have, <laughs> but we didn't we couldn't afford it. But I guess once we started having the boys in the videos, yeah. and that's that's yeah. mostly it. Yeah. 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 But up until the, like probably like four years ago, it was just like it was fun. So even I, those phone calls every night were probably that, huge No, for that's you. when I came out. When I met these other fucking psychopaths. That's when my <laughs> entire life changed. Thank yeah. you for bringing up. When I met these four other YouTubers, 10K subscribers, that's when my whole life flipped on its head. And I went from like I was 19, or no, it wasn't 19. I was probably like 17, 18. And I was like, I went from like, I just don't know how to speak. I hate people. People are the worst on the fucking planet. I feel like a loser to like, oh my God, like these guys are talking great. Talking is fun. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. It's not like, oh, I'm talking an hour a day. Yeah. It's like zero to 18 hours a day talking to these yeah. people. Yeah. Like I fit in. Yeah. I found my people. Yeah. This is yeah. great. How'd you yeah. find them? Just uh, One of them, I saw their videos. One of them come. Weirdly enough, one of them, I made a video talking about how horse shit his videos were and he threatened to sue me. Wow. And then, I was, and then we just started talking and then I realized he was smart. I was like, oh. You don't have to sue me. He's like, yeah, I don't have to sue you. We should just be friends. <laughs> and then it was like so funny because I just like made a little, I deleted it, but I made a video just saying, this YouTuber's videos are ass because I could tell he was trying to gain the algorithm. Yeah, yeah. But then, so what happened was I met these four guys who all were just like, they just made great titles and thumbnails, but horse shit videos. Horrible, horrible, horrible videos. Like, they were just the lowest of the lowest effort, and they would just do the minimum amount of work possible to get as many views as possible. And I'm the opposite. You're I'd make the, the best way. videos possible, but I had no idea how to clickbait. Interesting. So then you just like throw us in a room, and they mm. would just be like, bro, these thumbnails are dog shit. What the fuck are you doing? And I'd be like, well, your content's dog shit. And then I taught them how to make good content. They taught me how to make good videos. And all of a sudden, we it was the missing pieces. We yeah. all blew up together. Wow. And then, yeah, we talked every single, none of us. Like, the, we had three college dropouts, a high school dropout, and a guy who like literally worked at McDonald's. None of us had friends. None of us fit in society. And the second we all met each other, we were like, that's it. We found our people. And we just, we didn't have anyone else to talk to. Everyone else thought we were freaks of nature. How, how weird was it to go from feeling like a freak to feeling like you had so much to share? Oh, it was life-changing. That's when it clicked in my head that 
I'm not a freak. It's just these people don't care about what I care about, yeah, yeah. and they just don't have ambition. And once that clicked in my head, my whole life changed. Because yeah. that was, mm. it was huge, massive for me. Yeah. But it's like, I didn't have anyone telling me that when I was younger. Yeah. So it was brutal, man. Very brutal. Yeah. Did you have any mentor that came along later that was like, yo, Jimmy, you're not weird. You're just no, focused. I had to figure it all. That's why it took me 13 fucking years. <laughs> yeah. So you start so young. I think a lot of times what happens like uh, when people when kids go to college, they break out of the high school mindset, which is Agreed. cool guy, dork, geek, yeah, exactly. uh, whatever. College, everybody has their own little crew. Yep. And you were locked in on this at 11 years old, so you didn't even have the opportunity the to go away and find it. Yeah. Luckily, you find these guys. What a fucking godsend. It was, agreed. It was, that was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. And that's where the you know trajectory was like this, and you just see you go, Whoop. and like now all of us went from like, Fucking deadbeats working at McDonald's to do it. To like, yeah, like. But does all, that help even like you communicate with your mom and like everything changed? Like it just yeah. helped me understand as a person, I'm not a freak of nature that's just gonna die with no friends. Yeah. I just need to find the right kind of people. That and are it's actually, what you're it's a good thing. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. That's mm. like, yeah. And that's such a good lesson too that these people are not your competitors. That you're not trying. They're taking from you and oh, you're taking yeah. from them. Yeah. Yeah. It's that you're all collaborating to all be better. people. Yeah, that was probably like, a foundation of you being so collaborative and 100 yeah. yeah. forward yeah. and given. Because it was like eye opening when we all hit a million subscribers in the same month. We all started 10K and a year later we all had a million in a month. And it's not a coincidence that we all grew at the same rate. Right. But it also it sounds so like like cool and the like looking back like oh he was so driven. He yeah, yeah. he didn't uh, have friends and uh, it's fucking hell. Yeah, like yeah. we're like glamorizing it, but it's fucking hell to think like you know, that no one in the world relates to you and you're just this fucking alien. It sounds like hell. I yeah, wasn't I don't think we're, I don't yeah. think I, I just think like, yeah, to be clear, it is not fucking fun. And yeah. I wouldn't wish it on anyone because I just got lucky meeting those people. Yeah. If not, I don't think I ever would have blew up and I, I don't know what I would have done. I think I... I just can't imagine the euphoria you feel when you finally feel comfortable talking to someone. Like, exactly. yeah. Because, well, yeah. you talk to someone and they don't instantly go, can you talk about anything else besides YouTube? Or can you just stop talking? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the person who listens to what you say and- And they I, go, I mean, say more. Exactly. Yeah, I want to know more. I, I, I would say that the, the moment I, I realized I wanted to marry my wife is I, I really love sharing with her and mm -hmm. I wanted her to share with me. Uh -huh. And- but it was that it was it was like that's what we're gonna do for the majority of our life. We're gonna share. Yeah. And even all your resources. Every <laughs> 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 yeah. But no. But there's something so important about like sharing and and the person you're talking to feeling like they value what you say. One hundred percent. Yeah. Fucking lifts you up. And to go like years without feeling like anybody cared about that. One that's resilience. That yeah. takes a, a different level of resilience. Yeah, so, a lot of people would have quit. A lot of people you break. Got but there's yeah, yeah. just no. The problem is you like shot your whole school, dude. <laughs> uh, my, <laughs> just about action. Like, what's your thoughts on like incels? Like, do you empathize with them? Or? You can see how they get there, incels, though. Like, like people who fuck their sisters or incest, involuntary celibates, <laughs> or, or like the people who maybe they have no friends, they don't have much community, oh, and then gotcha. yeah, they yeah. Can, sometimes they hurt themselves. Men ostracized from society. Women don't like them. It depends. Like, is it because of extreme passion for a certain thing or what? Because I, I don't know. Not, not because necessarily of, of, of passion, but more just not feeling that they fit in at all. I feel like they don't Yeah, that's where it's, it's hard because, I mean, mine is from a place of just extreme passion. I don't, other people, I couldn't tell you because obviously it's, and you I'd have, have to study it. Any, any, it's like um, asking like a, a person in Walmart, like why you have a lump on your side. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I can tell like, if someone with extreme passion, I can That's diagnose really it in good. a heartbeat, but anything else, like <laughs> it's it. I'm, I'm not your guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm telling you, I'm a fucking loser because I did one thing with my whole life and you just asked me something else on the right field. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> What's Game of Thrones? Is that the show with all the incels? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what incels are and you're asking for an in-depth analysis of them. <laughs> but you didn't have any animosity, like once you made it and the people that kind of rejected you or told you to stop talking we're like oh that's really cool no. you, didn't, you didn't feel like any anger you didn't want them to feel the pain that they made you feel <laughs> that sounds like a villain arc but yeah. I think that's a lot no, of like what no, these are like, no, but that's what incels feel I think a lot yeah. of times like, no because you can mark. it's like it's not like they're purposely being mean we just had different wiring like why why is it my like why would I hate them for just being yeah, a I mean, you, human? You were fucking you know weirdo. I mean? you know like it's mean? not like, their fault. I was wired like a weirdo. I am a weirdo. Yeah, I'm just not a weirdo. When you put me in a room with other weirdos, then I'm normal. Which is what I then strive to do: is genius. be surrounded by weirdos. Yeah, exactly. Like people who yeah. chase, you know, making videos and entrepreneurship over happiness. You know, yeah. like that's not normal. Yeah, yeah. But having a bunch of other people 
It feels the same way. It feels oh, pretty bro. goddamn And you normal. just sit there and you just jerk each other off and <laughs> yeah, jack yeah, each other yeah, up yeah, over yeah, yeah, every yeah, day. Yeah. You're just like ramming each other up. Like, yeah. fuck, like I mean, comics after shows, especially same when they're thing. younger, they go to the diner and yeah. it's the same kind of thing. But do that 18 hours a day every day for a thousand days in a row with the same people. Oh, you pretty to be exponential. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. But the, even the thing is like, that wasn't even the, the goal. It's just like, we just had nothing. We didn't drink. We didn't do drugs. Yeah. None of us dated. Yeah. We were just literally like, we're going to do this until we're like big enough where like we can have lives. Yeah. But you are like ostracized if you had a life. Yeah. Like we wouldn't even, like I wouldn't even do Christmas or like anything. We oh, were, wow. Bro, we were, which this was too extreme, but I would yeah. be like, oh, that's a day people are taking off. We can get a day ahead. And we'd just like amp each other up wow. and we'd work all day Christmas. And we were fucking idiots. <laughs> I love it though. Every day, thousand days in a row. I fucking love it. Man. And then, yeah. And then, that's when you know most of the boys were millionaires, had tons of money, and and they started to fall off. Um, and yeah, but still, yeah, it's, that's where it's it's, a, it's hard if you can do that and then go from nothing to millionaires to like tens to keep going and like because yeah. a lot of people like that's their goal. Like not everyone's goal is to like be the biggest YouTuber or be an entrepreneur. Most people it's just make a comfortable living. Yeah, yeah. and so financial freedom. Yeah, exactly. That's where most of the group was. And then that's when they got enough money to buy that nice car and stuff. They're like, oh. Why the fuck am I yeah. working 15 That's hours a five day? Years. The, li- <laughs> yeah. the life cycle of a YouTuber is like five years. Bro. Yeah. yeah if, if you're lucky. Yeah. I'd say most of them, it's like two. Right. Because most YouTubers blow up, but they don't know why they blow up. So they like have to cling on to that one series. And they can never create a yeah. new one. Yeah. And after two years, it's boring. Yeah. Like the ones that are five years are the ones that understand intrinsically how to do well. Yeah. But there's like very few people yeah. that have done yeah. that. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, it, you need to have the balls to change it up. You have to. Or you need to have, in your experience, the confidence. Well, yeah, the confidence. Understanding of what's going on. The thing is, like, it's like Steve says, like, people don't know what they want. They think they do. Steve? Steve Jobs. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't. Ever heard of him? Yeah, Steve Jobs. (laughs) Yeah, 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 I got it. Uh, Turtle neck guy, turtle neck guy. Yeah, he made this. Oh, the phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, yeah. yeah. Um, But, like. (laughs) Thing you film YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, So, like, like an example would be, like. Steve, we're on a first name basis. I thought you were talking about Steve. It was a little weird that you said Steve. I mean. You guys weren't friends with Steve? No, I wasn't a buddy. I swear to God in my life, I thought you were talking about the Jerry Springer security guard. Who the fuck is Steve Wilkins? Steve Wilkins. Jerry Springer? Who's that? Jerry Springer is, uh, he was a guy who would. Uh, Don't bother. He, yeah, 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 I'm going to yeah, yeah. forget it. You know Jerry, dude? I'm going to forget it. You know Jerry? Hey, did Jerry make the most successful product in human history? <laughs> yes. Really? Yeah, paternity test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, go. Like no, Steve I don't said. even remember what I was like, saying. You said, like Steve said. He said, people oh, don't yeah, know. Oh, yeah, people don't know what they want. So, like, what you probably do with your show. Are you looking at your phone? Is no. It, no, it's a boring. I, bro, this motherfucker's got crazy notifications. I know. They're going wild. But go on. They are going wild. Um, well, let me see if I yeah. Damn, you have more than me. <laughs> I mean, we're not competing, bro. No, we are. <laughs> bro, <laughs> Tariq, text me some. I don't even care anymore. Steve. No, it's what was I even saying? He Steve? said, "Oh, people don't know what they want, or whatever. Yes. So you you got to show them what they want." Yes. So, like an example would be like we used to have this series where we'd go to random people that are streaming and just donate ten thousand dollars and film their reactions. Um, it was like so I just like pick a random streamer that's like has five viewers and just donate ten grand and it'd pop up and they'd freak out. People love that. Yeah. And then we would do another one where we just donate a thousand dollars every time people blinked, but we wouldn't tell them. <laughs> and so they would they don't know why these don't. And we just did like. 12, 13 of them, they all went super viral and people fucking loved them. And they were crushing, but then we stopped doing it and we pivoted to doing like Last Sleep Circle and we did another thing. And that's an instance where most YouTubers probably would have done like 100 of those. Like they were getting 10, 20 million views to pop at the time. Um, But the thing is, if I was still just doing that to this day, I'd be a nobody. I wouldn't be sitting here. Mm. Like you have to like, you have to like see the future and be like, you know, I can't do this forever. This, you know, 12, 13, that's probably enough. Sure, I can milk a few more, but we need to start innovating and find the next series. What's the level up? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, and so that, the, um, fucking five hours ago, when we were talking about the life of a YouTuber, like that's how you stay on top, but it's a lot of risk and you have to, it's a lot of guts, you know what I mean? Because like very well, it could go the other way. You try this new series and you have that's this good awesome. thing. Yeah, and you have this good thing going for you. But that's like, if you want to, it's almost like this. Like it's not really like a straight up curve. It's like you have a breakthrough and then you do it and you have a breakthrough and that kind of stuff. And most people, they just have a breakthrough and they just milk it till it dies and they can never ha- recreate it. I love the idea of innovation. I love the balls to do it. And I'm incredibly impressed by you. And a, a wise man once told me, end the video as fast as you possibly can. Goodbye.